guys and gals, and welcome. <coughs> I should have tested out my voice before I started. So, brand new ARPG. Brand new ARPG. Uh, no rest for the wicked. I've been hearing a lot about it. Uh, apparently, a bunch of people have messaged me and told me about it. And they're like, hey, you going to be trying now no rest for the wicked? And I'm like, well, you know, I might as well give it a shot. You know, I'll go over there and take a look and see what's going on, you know. And, uh, and that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to play it today. Um, it doesn't actually officially launch until 12. So if you guys are here early, uh, my apologies. But uh, usually I like to start the streams early for launch days because, uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen. I might find some cool stuff to look at. I might find like a, a build editor, build guide or something. Or not, not build guides, but like like a, a build planner. Uh, we can play around with like a build planner. We'll have to, we'll have to take a look at some of the, the, the stuff for this game too, like read about the classes. Try and get an idea of what we want to do, like for our first character. We'll see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Boop. This is the uh, this is like the wallpaper that's on the website, by the way. It's right. It's kind of cool looking. Not gonna lie. It's kind of cool. It's got like the whole like hands, like holding hands, holding hands, holding hands kind of thing going on. Except they're like starts out as like a human hand, and then it goes into like a a woman's hand, and then it slowly kind of mutates into like a freakish monster hand, and then like the monster hand turns into a mouth and. Like I guess technically, like that's yeah, that's one way to do it. Freakish monster hands. Early bird gets the worm. That's right. Yeah. Let's head over to the website and let's take a look at some of this stuff, shall we? So I got the uh, I got like the official website up here. Let's see. Boop. <laughs> Now, watch our deep dive into the game with the Wicked Inside Showcase on YouTube. That sounds like fun. It's uh, 24 minutes and 59 seconds. I think I have this website muted so that it doesn't constantly come up and uh, and hit me with do janks. Cody, will you quit bumping my chair, buddy? Like, dear Lord Jesus, every time you walk by my chair, you got to bump the chair. Every single time you walk by my chair, you got to bump the chair. Why don't you come up here and say hi, chair bumper? Come on. Come on. I got to crinkle the bag like so he runs over here like a fat kid. Come on. Look, look. See, look. I crinkled the bag. Now he's going to come over. Come here. Come say hi to everybody. Come on. Come say hi. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. This is Kubus the Monster Dog, if you've never met him before. Mr. Chair Bumper himself. Bumper of chairs. Look at his big old face. Look, look at this face. Look at this face. Look at this teeth. Look at them big teeth. Look, look at them teeth and them fangs. Look at them fangs. They got fangs in there. I said, don't show my fangs. Look at all these neck meats. Look, look at all this extra neck meats he's got. Just like ten extra pounds of neck meats. <laughs> All right, get down, buddy. Thank you. Good boy. There. You came over here and did your job, so here you get some, a barbachim chip. Here you go. You get some barbachim. Want some barbachims? Here you go, you too. There you go. Barbachim chips for the dog. He said, yeah, I did my job. Can't forget your vitamins. Got to take your vitamins. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Hey everyone, I'm Thomas. And I'm Gennady. We founded Moon Studios during the rise of independent games in 2010. Back then, there weren't all that many modern Metroidvania games out there, and so we created Ori and the Blind Forest. Ori became a huge success with gamers and critics alike, and it helped spark new interest in the genre. 
our next project was supposed to be something totally different because for over 20 years we've been playing action RPGs religiously and we always dreamt of where this genre could be taken next. At the same time, we felt that we could do even more within the Metroidvania genre and so we embarked on making Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We ultimately shipped another game that was incredibly well received and that we're deeply, deeply proud of. But we had never forgotten about our dream of creating our own action RPG. We have left our mark on one genre before. Now we hope to do the same for action RPGs. Our story begins... So, I gotta admit, before they get into this, I gotta admit that the art style of this game is really beautiful. Like, it's a... I, I know that some people might even call it cartoony or whatever, but like, and I was trying to see if I could pull up like a specific frame. We have left our mark on one genre before. Now we hope to do the same for action RPGs. I'll, I'll just pause it the next time we get to like our a really good... Our story begins 841 years after the embrace. King Harrow is dead and he's to be succeeded by his young and untested son, Magnus. Meanwhile, rumors of the return of a great plague, known as the Pestilence, are starting to emerge. Madrigal Selene, a ruthless figure in the church, sees the Pestilence as a chance to prove herself. These forces converge on the backwater of Isola Sacra, where rebel groups and the provincial government fight for control amid the Isle's crumbling ruins. As a serum, a member of an ancient sect devoted to defeating the Pestilence, you are sent on a merchant ship to investigate. En route, your ship comes under attack from a rebel group known as the Risen. The battle leaves the vessel battered and badly damaged. The ship stands little chance as it limps towards the shore and it is torn apart on the rocks at sea. You find yourself washed up at the shores of Isola Sacra, bruised and unarmed, and end up caught in the midst of both a vast political struggle and a fight for survival. That boy, that boy look like he's ready to throw down. He said, boy, come on at me. Come on at me, boy. With no rest for the wicked, we decided to handcraft an entirely seamless world. Nothing in this game is procedurally generated. Okay, so that's a that's a really big thing right there. They threw that right out on the top, and uh, and that's uh, it might have just like gone underneath a, a lot of you guys' radar, but um, a really big thing right there from the, the get go. They gave us that the game is not procedurally generated; it is handcrafted. Um, so what does that mean when it comes to replayability? Generally, games that are handcrafted usually have less replayability than a game that is procedurally generated. And the reason why is because, like just like Diablo, when you procedurally generate a game, every single time you load up, it's a different experience, right? Well, what they're saying is, is that because this is a handcrafted world, unless they've handcrafted multiple different maps, you know, like to have basically like multiple different experiences, um, chances are you play through this game once or twice or maybe even three times and you start to learn where everything is. You start to learn where all the monsters are. You start to learn where everything is going to be, right? So procedurally generated versus handcrafted. Honestly, handcrafted is better. Like, hands down, handcrafted is a better experience. First time playthrough. Um, handcrafted only starts to wane off when you get into multiple playthroughs. So this might not be a game that you're going to play through multiple, multiple, multiple times. You might play through it once or twice or maybe even three or four times, but eventually you're going to get bored with basically the game because you're going to know where everything is, exactly how to do everything, where all the monsters are, where all the loot is, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, well, let's go forward from there. Instead of moving across a randomly generated flat plane, throughout this showcase you will notice that our world is dense, interactive, uses a ton of verticality, and that every inch was crafted by a designer. You'll be well served always paying attention to your surroundings too. There are secret areas just about everywhere that usually reward you with precious items. 
I like, I like secret areas. Loot in No Rest for the Wicked is randomized. It ensures that every player has their own unique experience and that every time you explore an area, you might just finally get that last gold ore or new bed. Okay, so so that's really interesting too. So, so despite the fact that they have a handcrafted experience, they are saying that loot will be randomly generated, which does mean that even though the map will be the same and the monsters will be in the same places, they won't drop you the same loot and the chests won't drop you the same loot either. So so there will be a little bit of a randomness to it. Bad legs you've been waiting for. We abandoned the old point and click model to move your character around. We wanted players to have ultimate control over their character. Every movement you make should feel tactile and be intentional. For that reason, we designed Wicket to be played using WASD or a controller. I oh, knew it. <coughs> Should've never brought you on board. You'll never make it to Sacrament from here. Instead of going for realism, our goal is always to create games that look like a painting come to life. That's basically what I was thinking earlier when I was when I was saying that the art style looks very nice, very pretty. Like it looks like it looks like a painting come to life. It does. It almost looks like somebody painted a painting of like say somebody painted a painting of me and then the painting started moving. Like the, yeah, that's that's exactly what it feels like. That's, that that hits the nail right on the head. I guess that was their design choice in the first place. But that's what it that's what it felt like to me. Our artists spent years meticulously modeling and hand painting all of Isola Sacra. You will traverse through plenty of breathtakingly beautiful environments lit with natural day and night cycles, immersed in dynamic weather. We also engineered a very special way of rendering our top-down world, where you can always see so much further into the distance. Our goal was to make everything as interactive as possible. If an object looks like you can climb it, then you can actually climb it. And if an object is too thin to walk over it, you might just need to balance your way across. Right from the start, we decided to create an animation-driven combat system. Which to us meant that every attack you make should be carefully considered. We wanted to bring weighty, precision-driven combat to the top-down space. Combat that's inspired by several different genres from ARPGs to fighting games. In order to overcome an opponent, you need to watch out for telegraph behaviors and then punish accordingly. Timing, spacing, and weapon weight are incredibly important in Wicked's combat model. In the rest for the Wicked, every single weapon has its own unique moveset and stats driven by RNG. Hmm. So kind of like Elden Ring? He said that every single weapon has its own move set. So if you guys are familiar with Elden Ring, if you guys did a lot of Elden Ring playing, Elden Ring is um, a uh, a game where literally choosing your weapon is not just about choosing like the style of weapon that you want or choosing one-handed versus two-handed. Um, it's literally about choosing the, the actual, like, attacks that you want so like when you choose a spear you get a lot of stabbing attacks and you don't really get any like sweeping motions when you choose like a halberd you get like big like aoe attacks and you can also stab because halberds have a spear on the end or like when you choose a katana you got a lot of slashing attacks and then when you choose like a big hammer you get a lot of big like smashes and things and, like lots of uh, ridiculous 
stuff like that. Um, in general, like when it, when you if that's how it's going to be in this game, then you're going to want to go through like and and this is something that I'll recommend to all of you is that the same thing in Elden Ring is that if you if you want to figure out what weapon you want to use, you're going to have to use every single weapon, play with all the different move sets, and figure out what move set you like the best because that's what I had to do in Elden Ring. I had to like literally put on every single weapon, play around with the move sets, and be like, nah, I hate that, or or wow, this sucks, or why is this so slow, or you know like and, and then I finally found one that I liked. Uh, a move set that I was I liked. I ended up liking the halberd move set. That was one of my favorites in Elden Ring. Was the um, not the golden halberd, but there was one that came from one of the monsters. It was like a lightning halberd or whatever. I really liked the move set on that one. And that was also the interesting thing in Elden Ring is that different weapons in the same class had different move sets. So you could have a halberd uh, that had lightning halberd, and you could have another halberd that was like the golden halberd. And even though they were both halberds, they literally were two different move sets. Um, do I still have my prop halberd? Um, I think it's at the house, actually. I don't think I have it here. Using this dagger, I'll have a hard time breaking this enemy shield. Let's try something different. If you time it just right, you can parry incoming attacks allowing you to exploit an enemy's opening. Gear in the West for the Wicked comes in four different rarities. White items are common. Unlike in other ERPGs, they're not trash loot. We instead made those the most customizable. Blue items are rare, they offer only positive enchantments. Purple items are cursed. They offer very positive enchantments. <laughs> purple items are cursed. <laughs> he said purple items are cursed. Boys, purple items is cursed, boys. Uh, I, I kind of like that. I like, uh, I like the idea of a cursed item. I also really like the idea of the white items being highly customizable. I feel like they've, uh, they definitely have hit something on the head there. Most other games treat white items like trash. Diablo 2 is one of the only games that treat white items as if they actually have some purpose, you know, rune words and things and such. But like most games treat white items like they're garbage. It'll be interesting to see how white items turn out in No Rest for the Wicked. And I, I actually really like the cursed thing. That's actually pretty neat. Uh, Diablo 1 had a lot of cursed items, if you guys are aware. And cursed items, I think, are really cool features. Um, it's like a kiss-curse kind of a scenario where you get a really nice buff, but you also lose something in the process. And uh, kiss-curse is interesting when it comes to items, not so much when it comes to like skills. But um, I think that this particular tier it could be really interesting. Entments but they also come with a cursed enchantment. Gold items are unique. They are specifically handcrafted by our designers and offer unique enchantments. This rare claymore we found has an enchantment that increases my focus gain whenever I deal damage. Look at that big old meaty claymore. I bet you that thing swings like as slow as a freaking... Yeah. He he ain't uh, guts. He's not Every guts. Every weapon has a chance to drop with its own unique room, <laughs> and then be extracted and used on other weapons. That way, players can come up with their own unique moveset. Wait, wait. What did he say? Focus other weapons. That way. Every weapon has a chance to drop with its own unique room, which can then be extracted and used on other weapons. So every weapon has its own move set, but he's saying that you can take the move sets from other weapons and put them onto a weapon that you would want them to be on. So say, for instance, you had a really cool attack that was on, say, the Claymore. You could remove that Claymore's move set and you could put it on like a one-handed sword or something. Like, that sounds really cool. So you'll be able to pick and choose the move sets that you're interested in and then use those to create a essentially, like, amazing item, right? And I think that's what he was getting at here back with the, uh, the whites is notice he has, there's four slots right here, and these only have two slots, so these are less customizable. 
and the uniques are fully customizable as well, uh, which basically means that, like, for the white items, you would be able to rip off, say, various things, like the healing effect, the slashing pirouette, the slashing dash, the piercing crush, the dual breaker, uh, the double crush, the juggle strike, um, evasive strike, slam down, jump cut. So you'd be able to customize the white item better to give you a full like array of abilities to basically give you exactly what you're looking for, which is pretty neat. So you, so your white items and your unique items are the only ones that have four slots essentially and give you the ability to customize your move set in a, uh, an interesting way. He did say, however, that the unique items were handcrafted, which means that the move set that the unique items come with is probably locked. So the only one that you can customize all of the moves on is going to be the white items. That's, that's rather interesting. Every weapon has a chance to drop with its own unique rune, which can then be extracted and used on other weapons. That way, players can come up with their own unique moveset. You gain focus through combat. It is then used to perform rune attacks. Let's drive on. Oh, you got shot in the face. Then, you might not even need to use your weapons to get rid of an enemy. Yeah, push them off the cliff. Sometimes, all you need is a little push. I love pushing enemies off my office. Every weapon you'll find in No Rest for the Wicked has its own bespoke moveset, custom made by our incredible animation department. Squash and stretch and other animation principles directly inform our combat design. Layered on top of that, enchantments that drastically impact weapon behavior and our deep rune system. Runes? All of this culminates in a weapon system that we feel is extremely fun and engaging and allows every player to create their own style of combat. When it comes to gear like armor, there is a wide range of options, each with their own design and attributes. The weight of such items even affects your movement in combat. For instance, if you opt in for a lighter, faster build, you can quick step out of enemy's way. Quick steps are fast and don't consume a lot of stamina. With medium weight build, your character will dodge roll. Those are slower and consume more stamina. For the rest for the wicked, we designed a soft class system. Instead of locking you into a character class that you then have to adhere to for the entire playthrough, we want you to have the flexibility and freedom to play as the type of character you want to and even come up with character classes we haven't even thought of. So far, we've shown what combat looks like with a more melee focused build. Let's take a look at how combat changes for a mage. This character build uses a two-handed stab. We have three rune specials available. Blink, Fireball, and Nova. Fighting multiple enemies is always tricky. When used right, Nova can be an absolute blast. The Fire Nova? That was a the Fire The uniqueness Nova. of each item you find to craft being able to create any character build you can think of through our soft class system and the randomized loot, all of these systems combine to ensure each playthrough and every player's experience. Eh, hey, I want to go back and look. I want to go back and look. Go back and look. Go back and look. Uh, okay, so health, stamina, stamina regen, focus, focus gain, armor, poise. You, you remember when I said that this was a very Elden Ring-esque kind of system? And uh, an Elden Ring like has their own movesets designed into the weapons? Well, poise is also a thing in Elden Ring. And then on top of that, Elden Ring is also classless. You don't really pick a class in Elden Ring. And this game is also classless. It seems to me like they're going with a more Elden Ring-style um, game than a ARPG-style game. 
Um, and it's not exactly a bad thing. I mean, Elden Ring definitely did a lot of interesting things, right? Or, or Dark Souls. So it did a lot of things, right? Which is basically the classless system um, that goes basically through the process of letting you choose what weapon you want to use, um, you know, what abilities you want to use, etc. You can choose what spells you're going to be using. Um, uh, I mean, poise is also a big thing. If you guys are unaware of what poise is, poise is basically um, in Elden Ring, if I remember correctly, it's your ability to what, knock down other targets. Uh, let me pull that up real quick, just so I don't get that wrong. Uh, poise is a base stat in Elden Ring. Uh, can be increased by wearing armor. Can also be raised by various other equipments. Um, it is the degree to which you can resist collapsing under enemy attacks. Uh, the higher your poise is, the um, the basically the harder it is for somebody to knock you down. And you have kind of like a poise HP bar in Elden Ring. I don't know if it's going to work exactly the same. But that's basically what poise is in Elden Ring, is it's a way for your character to resist being knocked down. And it also, kind of like the opposite, the monster also has their own poise as well, usually. To ensure each playthrough and every player's experience is never truly the same. I farted. That would be fart, I farted. I want to let you guys know. You didn't have to know, but I wanted to tell you anyway. I farted. It felt good, too. I saw a Sakurai's riddle with plagued enemies known as the Torn. As you can see, this Torn has been left to mutate and fester and will prove particularly vicious. Our best course of action is to study his moves and attack whenever we see an opening. <laughs> Bosses are also quite brutal in No Rest for the Wicked. They will punish every mistake you will make. But keep a cool head, make use of all of the skills you've learned, and you just might succeed. As you can see, No Rest for the Wicked is an intensely skill-based game. Your gear greatly influences your power in battle, but whether you die or overcome the challenge is ultimately down to your skill. Even the boss fight looks like Elden Ring. Did I just see a perfect block there? I think I think we're looking at literally an Elden Ring game. Not not only does this have the classless base system of Elden Ring, it also has the weapons um, have their move sets attached to them, basically. Although it goes a little bit further and lets you customize those move sets onto a weapon, um, it also has the same system that Elden Ring does, which is the um, light armor gets to basically have like almost like a dash medium armor gets a uh you know a small jump and then if you wear heavy armor in elden ring you basically get nothing so heavy armor users don't have any kind of like dodge or anything like that they're just like herka jerk battle jitneys um which is which is a whole thing and then the bosses honestly the bosses looked almost identical to a, like an elden ring boss fight i'm watching it and I'm, I'm watching him like dodge the big attacks wait for the thing to happen like you know go in for the the, the attack while the boss is weak like that sort of thing and then and then even further is that i literally saw him just do a perfect block if you guys have never done a perfect block in uh, elden ring basically what happens is, is if a boss comes in to attack you and you block at the exact right moment you do what's called a perfect block and the perfect block will basically stagger the boss for a brief period of time allowing you to apply like massive amounts of damage in return he literally just did a perfect block let me show it to you again So right here, that was the perfect block. He came in for the attack, and the block was ha what happened at the exact moment the attack struck him. And because he did the perfect block, he got that really cool animation where the boss gets, like, knocked way back. And uh, because the block is perfectly timed, right here, it's like, boom, and it perfectly blocks it and knocks him back. 
and instantly, like, head freaking banged backwards, and then the boss falls down, right? So the boss is now weak because the perfect block happened. I mean, I hate to say it, but this looks like an Elden Ring game, not really so much an ARPG. It's like, it's like somebody took Elden Ring and turned it into an ARPG. Chinchilla flew f flying by me. Flew Along your journey, you will come across the town of Sacrament, the capital of Hisola Sacra. Sacrament is a war torn place, but over the course of your journey, you can help rebuild Sacrament to its former glory. Oh, ignore their gates, Saren. They likely never seen one of your kind. In order to demonstrate that, we'll switch to a realm that's already a little more advanced. Our goal is to make Sacrament as interesting and interactive as possible. Now Read about it, Mary Weather. Taylor's at, at your service. service. Mary, we agreed. My name goes first. Don't pretend you don't smell it. Come have a taste. And players will be in control over how Sacrament will evolve over time. For example, after my previous expedition, I helped Fillmore rebuild his smithy. He now sells better gear and is also able to upgrade our gear to a higher level. To that effect, we aim to make investing resources into Sacrament as satisfying and rewarding as investing resources into your character is. Let's take a look at another way you can make Sacrament your own. In Sacrament you'll be able to purchase real estate. Well, if you have the funds to afford it. The city's gone to shit. Property in Sacrament can get a little bit expensive, but accumulate the riches and you can choose from a wide range of properties to suit anyone's taste. Your house is the perfect place to stash your loot, craft items, relax, and plan everything out for your next big run through the dangerous areas surrounding Sacrament. I just moved in here, so it's a little bit barren. Let's fix that. Out on your journey, you'll be able to collect or harvest valuable resources, which then can be used to craft new gear, furniture for your home, or even make improvements to the town itself. Catch a fish, for example, and it can be cooked and eaten, of course, but certain fish scales might even make for some fine arm. While I was on the shores of Sakura, I collected some pine wood. So now let's make use of that and make this place a little bit more cozy. Housing is incredibly cool in No Rest for the Wicked. Since you're not constrained to a grid, you can come up with some really organic looking designs. The table looks nice, but it's missing something. Ah, it's much better. While some items you can place in your house are just cosmetic, our goal is for most of them to be functional and have a gameplay purpose. With a range of properties to purchase and an incredibly flexible interior design system, we hope players will be able to find and design a unique place for them to call home. One last thing we'd like to show you today is a system we call Alive. Although No Rest for the Wicked features a traditional campaign, it was important to us that the Solar Sacra is very much a living, breathing world. In order to show you what that means, we're going to go to an area called Mariner's Keep. This is an area I've previously ventured through and explored. However, since my last journey through here, Nif have overrun the local area. Presenting entirely new threats for me to tackle and resources for me to scavenge. The world of No West for the Wicked is constantly changing around you. 
and each time you visit a region, you'll be faced with a drastically different experience. That guy's got a big weapon. And no rest for the wicked. You never really know what to expect. For those of you who asked about Endgame, yes, we've got you covered. While we don't want to give away too much at this point, once you reach the Endgame, you can enter the Serum Crucible. This is where you'll have to test your memory against some of the toughest enemies with a no rest for the wicked. Our goal is and always has been to create a very different action RPG, one that will hopefully move the genre forward. We believe that Moon Studios is an incredibly unique position to deliver on this vision. We have some of the best talent in the world united behind this, and we're not afraid to take the risks that need to be taken in order to change up the status quo. We've poured an incredible amount of blood, sweat, and tears into this project, and now we're at a point where we need your help to shape and build Wicked into the best game it can possibly be. Therefore, we'd like to invite all of you who love this genre, who grew up with it the same way we did, and who are excited to see a new take on it, to join us on this journey. And so we're happy to announce that we're going to be launching No Rest for the Wicked after all of these years into Steam Early Access next month on April 18th. Over the course of Early Access, we'll be tweaking, patching, and balancing the game with your input. And you will also see major content updates throughout development until we hit our 1.0 release, at which point we're planning to release on consoles as well. Wicked has been built from the ground up with multiplayer in mind. So the first of these major updates that we will be releasing in Early Access will be providing you with an innovative multiplayer experience, allowing you to play Wicked alongside or even against your friends. Our second major content update will bring all new regions to Sakura, new enemies, narrative updates, and so much more. With story, system, and gameplay content updates to follow thereafter. Your support and feedback during this very critical part of Early Access really does make a difference. No Rest for the Wicked begins a new era for Moon Studios, and we're committed to this project for the long run. We're incredibly excited about what will be in the rest for the Wicked already in day one of Early Access, and we can't wait to show you all the stuff that will follow in the months to come. Once the showcase is over, be sure to tune in to your favorite media and content creators for the hands-on impressions of No Rest for the Wicked immediately following this showcase. We can't wait to see you all on April 18th. My boy just got a leg in his mouth. <laughs> you know, I feel kind of bad. I interrupted his lunch. You know, he was having a little bit of fun. He was eating. He was doing his thing. <laughs> Dude, every time he says wicked, it makes me cracks me up because it doesn't sound like wicked and I have no clue what he's talking about. He keeps saying wicked, but he instead of saying wicked, he keeps saying wicked. 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 We love the wicked. Like what <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
It cracks me up. I saw a sacrifice riddle with. Where's the items at? Look at that. White. So this part is really interesting to me. Unlike in other Yapuchis. I like their I like their loot decisions. Um so basically white items are not garbage. You don't throw them away because you can customize them highly. Um blue items are considered rares, apparently. So they're they're these are rares, not magic. Um these are cursed items, <laughs> which is a whole other category. Um so cursed items. And then you have the unique items. He said the unique items are all handcrafted. So they're not random or, or like randomly generated. These are all handcrafted items. So um, very much the same way that Diablo 2 is, where all the uniques are handcrafted. Um, I'm assuming that cursed items and rare items are probably, you know, random, randomized. They're not trash loot. We instead made those the most customizable. Blue items are rare. They offer only positive enchantments. Purple items are cursed. They offer very positive enchantments. <laughs> even the way he said cursed. Like, I swear, even the way he said cursed is freaking, like, it, uh, contaminated with the accent. Purple items are cursed. The purple they items are cursed. Positive enchantments. Purple items are cursed. Purple items are cursed. <laughs> they offer very positive I'm sorry. Enchantments, I shouldn't be making fun of his accent. Cursed enchantment. Gold items are unique. They are specifically handcrafted by our designers and mm -hmm. offer unique enchantments. Hmm. This rare claim we found has an enchantment that increases my focus gain whenever I deal damage. Oh, that's interesting right there. Inventory. Um, looks like that's the map. Hold on. Um, somebody was asking if there's controller support. I mean, it seems to be obvious that there is. If you look down here, it says left button, right button. And then uh, when you go back into the menu, notice how, like, each one of the skills... Look at the skills. They're assigned with buttons. X, B, Y, A, uh, X, Y, etc. Like, they're, they're obviously... There's obviously controller support. It honestly looks like a game that could be pretty fun to play with controller, to be honest. I mean, I, I think I'll probably play it with keyboard and mouse, but I do have a controller here. Maybe we'll give it a try. Has a chance to drop with its own unique rune, which can then be extracted and used on other weapons. That way, players can come up with their own unique moveset. You gain focus through combat. It is then used to perform rune attacks. Let's try one. Where is my controller at? Is it still plugged up? I think it's still plugged up. But every now and then, you might not even need to use your weapons to get rid of an enemy. It's a little dusty. I don't use my PC controller that often. Sometimes, all you need is a little push. Every weapon you'll find in No Rest for the Wicked has its own bespoke moveset, custom made by our incredible... Can you make sure it's plugged in? Wash and stretch and other animation principles direct. Let me make sure it's plugged in real quick. Design. Layered on top of that, enchantments that drastically impact weapon behavior. Optimus Prime. And our deep rune system. That's Power Master Optimus Prime to you. All of or this God Ginra. And a weapon system that we feel is extremely fun and engaging and allows every player to create their own style of combat. When it comes to gear like armor, Make sure this is there's a in wide quick. range of options, each with their own design and attributes. The weight of such items even affects your movement in combat. For instance, if you opt in for a lighter, faster build, you can quick step out of enemy's way. Quick steps are fast and don't consume a lot of stamina. With medium weight build, your character will dodge roll. Those are slower and consume more stamina. Thank you. 
For no rest for the wicked, we decide. All right, can we pause for a second here on this? Why my girl looking like Crow Magnet Woman? Like, I mean, she got some thick thighs. All right, she got some thick thighs. All right, but why do her arms look like they're way too long? Like, I feel like I need to stand up and check. Like, how far do your arms go down? <laughs> I mean, here's a here's a vote. I just I just pulled this up just for just for uh, funny stuff. I <laughs> uh, said a uh, uh, mid thigh is normal. Like mid thigh is normal, all right? Upper thigh, like lower, like people who say that it goes down to their knees, it's like really really far and a few between. I, that's some pretty long arms, man. All the way to her knees, man. <laughs> and then right down here at the first comment, literally four years ago, he said, okay, which of you effing orangutans can reach your knees? <laughs> oh, man. Which one of you orangutans? We got some orangutans up in here. They got the They got the orangutan anatomy going on. She thick though. I'll tell you what, she thick. She got orangutan arms, but she thick. Look at my boy here though with the orangutan arms. <laughs> boy, his his forearms are thicker than his biceps. Like how is that even possible? How do you have forearms and like meaty paws that thick? But then your bicep is like little bitty, get the little little bitty bicep. You get the big thick hands and the big thick hard. <laughs> yes. But then this is tiny. Like look at look at look at my arm. Okay, look look look. Big to little, right? It's supposed to be big to little. That's how it works, right? Why is his arm little too big? Like, he's straight up like an orangutan. That's what an orangutan looks like. <laughs> let's look. Hold on. Let's find a picture of an orangutan standing, flexing his muscles. Hold on. <laughs> I got to find a good, a good orangutan picture here. Hold on. I mean, I don't know if that one, that's his wiener. His wiener's hanging out on that one. I guess I guess his wiener's always going to be hanging out. That's just that's just how orangutans be. Popeye, he doesn't skip leg day? Oh, he totally skipped leg day. He's, he skipped leg day. <laughs> what the hell is this? This is hilarious. There you go. I found a picture of an orangutan. There we go. Apparently his kid doesn't want to go to school today. He's just he's just yanking him along. Come on, Johnny. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> well, you gotta go. Otherwise, you're not gonna be a big orangutan. I mean, the guy looks really. Yeah, I don't know. About him. For the, wicked. the girl, on the other hand, other than having really long arms, she just kind of looks thick. She looks thick. Thick. Hold on. We need capital letters, my bad. Hold on. Thick. She just looks thick. That's all. Thick. <laughs> we just signed a soft class system. Oh, yeah, there's customizability? Okay, there's some customizability here. Hold on. You got face, hair, eyes, nose, mouth, jawbone. Face presets. Instead of lock. Uh, hold on. Instead of lock locking you into a, a character class, that you then have to. She looks constipated. <laughs> <laughs> he looks constipated. Oh God! You can make Grandma. They got Grandma in there. <laughs> in case you wanted to fight as Grandma, guys. 
They got you covered. They got you covered, my friends. Grandma. Grandy Mall. Through, we want you to have the flexibility. Look at that boy over there with the freaking what the hell is that? I don't even know what that is. Ability and freedom, and they got some scrawny legs. Though I tell you what, there's some scrawny legs. They got the scrawny legs. Play as the type of character you want. I like that shield though. That shield's kind of nice. Why's my view counter so effed up? View counter, refresh view counter, because it's not correct. It's never correct. Why is it never correct? There we go. Now it's now it's actually doing something worthwhile. Look at you doing something with your life. Let me make sure my chat box is working too. Oh, chat box is working just fine. All right. <clears throat> that boy got a hatchet. And even come up. That guy's a pirate. He's got pirate pants and a pirate sword, and he's got the full pirate outfit. He's got the pirate bandana. <laughs> With carrot glasses. We haven't even thought of. Ooh, look at that shield. That thing's spiky. That's a spiky looking shield. That's beast looking. He's got like the, the, the pirate captain hat. So far, we've shown what combat looks like. With the more melee fo focused build. Let's take a look at how combat changes for a mage. This character build uses a two handed staff. We have three rune specials available Blink, Fireball, and Nova. Fighting multiple enemies is always tricky. When used right, Nova can be an absolute blast. You only got like three minutes. Three minutes and supposedly it pops up. Being able to create any character build you can think of through our soft class system. create any character build you can think of through our soft class system. He just crafted a claymore? That's kind of cool. Being able to create any character build you can think of through our soft class system. See, look. Claymore. Two-handed weapon. He crafted He crafted a claymore. System and the Okay, so we got health, stamina, strength, dex, intelligence, face, focus, and equipment load. Um, equipment load was also stats for Elden Ring. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure equipment load was a stat for Elden Ring. I just wanted to double check. Uh, also Dark Souls. So we've got HP, FP, stamina, weight, equip load. You know, how much weight your character can comfortably hold, the greater the equip load to weight ratio, the faster and more safely you can roll and backstep. So I'm assuming that this is probably going to be pretty much the same thing because they talked about lighter loads being able to roll like like uh back step away and then medium weight loads being able to roll and then heavy loads basically not being able to move have any kind of movement at all right so 
We've got Equip Load, very similarly to um, Elden Ring. We also have Poise, which again is very similar to Elden Ring. And of course, these stats are in older games too. People are like, they've been in games before Elden Ring. And then they do like the glasses push. Like Elden Ring is just the latest in a long title, a long line of games back from Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 1. And even before that, there were games from from, from Software made that incorporated some of these things. It's a, it's more of a from software thing uh, than Elden Ring specifically, but I just wanted to use Elden Ring because it's the newest in the list, and a lot of people are aware of that particular title. Even people who don't particularly like Dark Souls games played Elden Ring, if that makes any sense. Um, What was the other ones? There was also uh, Sekiro... And uh, what's one of the old, the oldest one? I'm trying to think of the oldest one. It was called uh, like Dungeon something or Demon Demon Souls. That was the first one. Demon Souls. That was back in 2009. Yeah, Demon Souls was 2009. Uh, Dark Souls, which is the first one, was when was, when was Dark Souls released? Dark Souls was released in 2011. So yeah, um, Demon Souls would be the first one in the series. Unless there was something before Demon Souls that I'm not aware of. <coughs> um, it's interesting, though, that we've got uh, a lot of similar stats here. Weight, obviously. We've got Quip Load, Poise, um, a weapon system that determines what abilities you have. But they, they took it a lot farther, though, i got to admit. like The ability to customize exactly what your weapon can do is something else entirely. Let's go back just a tad here. Whenever I deal damage. Hmm. Bloodborne. Bloodborne, yeah. Well, we've got... It's 12 o'clock. Let's see if we can download the game now. Let's go. Okay, super loud live stream. So, it's true. I don't care about you neither. Everybody shut up. Reload the page. I need to get in. Oh, I gotta buy it. Stop playing that, auto-playing that dude. So... Auto playing that do jank. All right, installing the game, accepting the license agreement. Download faster. Download faster. You're not even downloading. Download. 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 48 minutes. How big is it? It's 11 gigabytes? 11 gigabytes. No, no, no. Wait, wait. 34.4 gigabytes size on disk, but it's 11.3 gigabytes download, so it's compressed. That shouldn't take very long. A couple minutes at that. That's nothing. That's nothing. Let's go. <clears throat> Get our Hollow Knight. Ha ha ha. Hollow Knight. Fight. I need to wash him. He's hand he's handmade though, so he's hand crocheted. I'm gonna have to wash him gently. Needs a hand wash. <laughs> let's go, 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 let's go. What's Cody doing? Where's he at? Where you at, Cody? 
Where you at, Monster Dog? <laughs> I crinkle the bag. He comes running. He said, like, you with the what you got? Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, Monster. Monster Dog. You want to come with me and do some and do some ARPG gaming? Hmm? You'll be my dog in the game. I put a virtual reality headset on you and you can run around like a crackhead and you can be a crackhead dog in the game. You want to be a crackhead dog? He said a crackhead dog. What do you mean crackhead dog? That's right. Crackhead dog. Don't you want to be crackhead dog? Well, not. He said I'm not. Don't want to be crackhead. Don't want to be crackhead. Crackhead dog. Be a good boy today. Mm -hmm. You want some more barbecue chips? You want some more barbecue chips? I know you like it, them barbecue chips. Look, watch, I reach for the bag. Look. He said, You gonna get some of them for me or no? I might get kisses. <laughs> Jerk face. He said, what? That is an abrupt twist. This features a Gerber's controllers. Thank you. Okay. I do have a controller. We can test out the controller. No rest for your mom. No rest for your dog. No rest for your wife. No rest for your cat. Fulton's health warning. Seizures. I like that. That's neat. I like that. Let's check out the settings real quick and look at our graphical settings. Alright, we got V Sync. Frame rate cap off. Doesn't really matter. Full screen window. I usually like to do uh, borderless windowed mode. That's my. My favorite is borderless windowed moon. They don't got bordered? They don't got bordered, it looks like. They just have full screen and windowed. Oh, full screen window. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Full screen window. That's the, that's the ticket. Hmm. Motion blur. I don't want motion blur on, please. Let's just turn that off. Thank you. Target FPS for dynamic resolution scaling. 60 is fine, I guess. Ugh, chair bumper. God dang, always bumping chairs. Freaking chair bumping chair bumper. <laughs> Let's turn this down a little bit. I don't know how loud the game's going to be, but... Realms. I didn't really go through all the settings down. Extras with extras. Credits, terms of service, privacy policy, reset tutorials. Um, Contrast, UI brightness. Enemy poise bars. I can look at the poise bar. What? Show damage numbers, show stat numbers. I probably want to see stat numbers. I think. Wouldn't I? Wouldn't I want to see stat numbers? Uh, interact, food picker. WASD for movement as well. Toggle main hand item. Toggle off hand item. Walk cursor. Gesture. I can gesture at people easily. Inventory. Journal. Map. Pretty much pretty solid uh, buttons. C is for sneak slash drop down. Control. Off hand use. Off hand room switch. Sprinting shift. You can sprint. Hmm. Airy, main hand, off hand rune, attack, hold charge, shoulder barge, dodging a spacebar, that's pretty standard. 
Okay, are we making a Hoochina or are we making a are we making a orangutan? Well, I don't know if I want to make the orangutan. He's he's a little orangutangy. I get to choose my skin color. What the hell? Okay. Grizzled face, huh? Hair. Where's my hair at? I got no hair. Oh, there we go. Now I got hair. So many different hairstyles. Right, facial hair, too. Well, let me cover up my ugly face. I need red. Red. Get the red, red hair on a red all the time. The red, red hair, red, red. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. What the hell do I look like? I look back, like look at a side profile on this. What the, what the, what the bald head? Okay. What about eyes? We can. Oh, I can change over eyes. Yeah. Green eyes. I can make my eyes real big or real small. Can I mess up their position? <laughs> can I put them close together or further apart? That looks more normal. I look surprised. Ah! Ah! Okay. Nose. Can I get a big fat nose? Jawbone. Give me a big fat chin. I can't even see nothing because I got a beard on. I don't know why I'm messing with that. I can't. <laughs> I can't even see nothing. Invalid input. Will you? Did you? Select realm. Name your realm. Hell. Okay, this is really annoying. Over the past six years, we've poured our hearts and souls into creating a next-level ARPG experience, one that we hope will push the genre forward. The early access launch of No Rest for the Wicked marks a new era in the Moon Studios. We are grateful to, with you to have you with us and deeply value your feedback and helping shape the game to our road to the 1.0 release. Be prepared for epic adventures. I got Batman picks. When I was a child... Um, God told me stories. <laughs> Said the pestilence turned men's faces inside out. Made them grow limbs where none should be. The world was nearly lost in its wake. And she prayed that the Sarum would never need to return. I'm loving the visuals so far. The visuals are amazing. I like I, I like the art style. I like it a lot. We should 
turn back while we still can. It's an island, not a fairy tale. Oh, this is a fool's errand. There's no sum worth bringing the likes of them to shore. Never thought I'd see a set of money here for myself. Can I talk to you? Can I punch you in the face? I heard you were all seven feet tall and big as oaks. Don't look so tough to me. Okay. What do I got on? Serum hood, serum cloak, serum gloves, serum pants. I ain't got no weapon. I ain't got no weapon. I ain't got no weapon. Hey, hey. Hey, that's close enough. Just keep your distance. There's a dark about you, and I don't want any part of it. There's a dark about Set me. Him. Set him. Set him. I don't know whether you follow the sickness or it follows you. And I don't care to know. I don't know whether you follow the sickness or it follows you. I don't care to know. Not sure what you're hoping to find on a shithole like Sakura. No, you don't know what I'm hoping to find. No, you're supposed to be wieners. Something. Hot dog wieners. wieners. Nah, Nathan's. Na no, no, you know what? Hebrew nationals. That's what I want to find. How about you? Let me be a serum too, huh? Bet that fancy glove would look just fine on me. No, oh, yeah, look just fine on you. You greedy bugger! You sell it sooner than saving infants. Like they're any different. They eat, they shit, they die. Same as the rest of us. Oh, well, okay. A little space, eh? Not just the weather. We have to contend. Plenty of mainland ships go missing off Sacra's shores. <laughs> we're not the only ones on these waters. <laughs> no good will come of this. Should have burned the island to the ground a thousand years ago and never come back. We've wrecked and ravaged our way across half of the Arshan Sea. And you're scared of a hunk of rock. Yes. Keep walking, filth. I'll trade no what? words with you. What? 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 Filth! What? what? Man, they Stop already don't like me. Like you're the only killer on board. Difference between you and me. I don't just kill sick people. I mean, I would. If there was any pay in it. <laughs> well, dang. Yeah. Well, these guys are evil. And they don't like me, so I don't like them either. How Captain about that? wants a word with you. I don't mind the others. It, it's just their way. You go speak with the captain, and I'll check on your quarters. Mm -hmm. What's up here? The captain. Man, I really like this art style. You put the men on edge, sir. We've trafficked in people before, but, well, I won't be sorry to be out of these waters with you off my ship. I was paid to deliver you to Sakura in one piece, and I will. I get to your quarters and stay out of our way till landfall. What will let you below decks? Hey. that what is, what is that I want, it. I want it but what is it is this gold it's a copper coin is that a copper coin oh they got oh they got that system in here though like you got the copper the, the silver and the gold coins I hope you guys didn't need any of these barrels or anything because i'm just gonna punch everything i hope, hope they're not important to you at all because I'm, I'm i'm probably just gonna break everything i think that y'all Oh, there's a big old rat down here. Freaking rats. That's right. Give me the rat meat. I need rat meat for rat meat. 
And I gotta say, the breakable, uh, you know, like the breakables, hey, you know, that, that's, it's nice. I like it. They break very nice, and they have a nice, it, just, it feels, it feels good to break the breakables. They make me want to break the breakables. Die, breakable. If only I had a weapon and I wasn't just punching everything. But... Asking me to do slide, sidle. The hell is sidle? I got it all planned out. A year of this, two of washing the decks, four more in the rigging, another five at the helm, and a captain. Just like that. So one little gripe I'm having right away, hey, and it's just a you. it's just a small one. A help with the meal. It's why is it using the regular mouse? Like, hey, do you guys do you guys see this? It's literally like my regular like Windows mouse. Like I would have expected it to have some sort of like unique mouse, but you know, it doesn't it doesn't have a unique mouse. It's just like my regular Windows mouse. I thought maybe it was because I was in uh, full screen windowed mode, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see my regular Windows mouse sometimes. It almost makes me want to go in and adjust my regular Windows mouse real quick to be a little bit larger. Give me just a second so I can I can change this. It's it's literally just like the regular Windows mouse, and it's kind of odd. Um, where is the additional mouse options? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so I can go to pointers. Um, and I can change it to a bigger, fatter pointer or something. Like, I don't know, there's tons of them in here that are definitely bigger. Uh, we can at least go with, like, a Windows default extra large or something so that it's not so... Tiny. I mean, that's a little bit better. Um, that's not really working either. I don't know. It doesn't seem nothing I do seems to really change it, to be honest. So maybe that that's what the game is actually using is like the default cursor. It did seem to get a little bit bigger, I guess. Yeah, but the direction that you attack is still based on where your mouse is. Give a damn. I'm breaking all your barrels looking for some ham. You got any ham? What's up, buddy? Fetch me the mushrooms from the shelf and herbs from the table. I have to keep studying, or it'll go from burned to ashes. Or it'll go from burned <laughs> to ashes? <laughs> what? Uh, what else did he want? He wanted the mushrooms from the shelf and the something from the table. Um. In you go, along with a little seawater and a lot of sawdust. <laughs> sure, you can eat a mushroom in a pinch, but nothing beats a cooked meal. Sawdust? Yeah. Have some for your sick. Why do you put sawdust in there? Mm, sawdust. 
Captain's quarter key is needed. Okay. What's up, buddy? Our ship might seem thick with sinners, but the church welcomes all. Criminals, heretics, even the Dasher, even you. Even you? Find your cabin below oh, and rest for the myself. night. Real nice like. Don't fret if you can't sleep. First few weeks aboard, I, I, I couldn't catch a wink. Okay. I'm gonna break the rest of your barrels down here first. Before. Breaking all your barrels. Breaking everything. Punching your boxes. I want to punch the box spring. It's over here. More barrels. Really right. right. What happened to our food and water supply? We had we had enough to last us for a journey of six months. All the barrels have been destroyed. The water is completely ruined. They even got the grog. They even got the grog. Not the grog. Is it grog? You're just another job, as far as I'm concerned. The men think you're some kind of legend. Know what all legends have in common? <laughs> They're, They're dead. dead. Broke all your stuff. Still on your monies. That's right. Now I got seven coins. Oh, you guys can't see the coin system because I'm blocking it because I'm a big old fatty. But uh, down at the bottom right-hand corner that I'm I'm sitting on, there's a coin system, and it seems to be um, it seems to be a coin system of yeah. Here it is up here at the top left. So you see it. It's gold coins, silver coins, and copper coins or bronze coins or something. I've got seven bronze coins so far. I'm not sure what those are going to be. But it, uh, down at the bottom, it has this same exact little readout of my, my money. So I guess I'm covering that up. I want to get in there. I want to get in there. Uh. What? I want to open the door. There's a ladder. It looks like, and uh, you could potentially get down from some sort of trap door over here. That's interesting. They did say that there was secrets everywhere. Uh, the developer said there are literally secrets everywhere in the game. So there's probably a secret that we can cover. Let's go see if we can figure out how to get into that. Uh, get into that secret. We can see roughly where it is, so at least we know like what we're looking for. Um, it looks like it was around right here-ish. Certain objects are breakable and may reveal hidden loot or paths. Um, so this is probably where it is. They're probably, this is probably the introduction to secrets. They're telling us that the secret exists here, so we just need to figure it out. Um... <coughs> This maybe? Because it looked like you could go down here. Like this was it right here. Like if I could pull this up somehow. Huh. Or maybe it's something to do with this. tell me that there's a hidden path here. I mean, it keeps popping up and telling me that there's a hidden path here, so I must be missing something. Wasted my time. I don't know. 
It definitely did seem like it was one of these grates. Like if I could pull these grates up, but I don't know how you could do that. I definitely don't see anything else that's breakable, so... Unless we can somehow do like a slam, and we can maybe break the floor piece? Is there like a... Is there a slam that we could potentially do? There was a uh, controls here, let's see. Uh, shoulder barge. Uh, that's V. V is shoulder barge. Um, item picker is Q. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Sneak drop down is C. round object in the middle of the room. That's what I've been doing. It doesn't seem to do anything. Unless I just don't have enough weapon damage to actually break it. Oh yeah, there's like a power attack. Maybe that's what it's going on. Maybe it's something that we're not so we're not supposed to get to until later. I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like I can get to whatever that secret is just yet. Let's go back down there and take another look, though, just to be sure. Why not? I mean, this is the ladder right here that is obviously going up and down. And if you look, this trap door right here leads to this ladder, which goes down into this room. So whatever the secret is, it has to do with this trap door. It didn't seem like there was any way I could activate this trap door, though. I definitely can't open the door. Um, so maybe it's just something that I wasn't doing properly with the trap door itself. I mean, looking at it from down there, it's really obvious, right? It's the it's this trap door. It's right here, because the ladder was right here, and this is the trap door. So it's got to be literally something I got to do to open this trap door. Which I can't open. So, I don't know, I guess I'm just screwed there. I totally ate my food by accident. Food is F. F for food. Alright, let's go. Eh. Well, I lost HP for falling down the hole.
The ship's under attack, boys. Well, he's dead. A blood rusted weapon. You have obtained an equipable item. Spin attack. Combat basics. Attack enemies with the deal bonus damage uh, by holding and charge attack. Evade by tapping the spacebar. These actions consume stamina. Without stamina, you can't attack or dodge. It's open. Hey, we got a shield. I got also shield, boys. Let's put it on. Can we do the blocky blocky? No, I want to go kill these. So why are we going up there? We can't go up the regular ladder? Is that one, that one broken or something? Oh yeah, okay, regular ladder is broken, so we can't go up now. I got some mushroom soup with extra sawdust. Who doesn't like mushroom soup with extra sawdust? Sprint off surfaces and ledges to jump across the small gaps. the wall and press E to slide along it. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Enemy vulnerability. Stagger an enemy briefly to lower their guard. Weapons deal poise damage. Increasing the point poise meter above an enemy once full, the enemy is staggered. Alternatively, parry just before an enemy attack lands to instantly stagger them. Captain's quarters team. How do I block? Oh yeah, that's right. It was center mouse button, right? Let's try and do a perfect block. Block's pretty easy. Small vial of stamina. Eat the food and shut it. Backstab. Sometimes you can use the element of surprise on enemies, approaching enemies from behind to reveal a skull, and then pressing the clip to perform a backstab, a C to reduce the chance of detection.
Poor guy. I tried to fight like you. Ahoy, Mr. Ricardo. Ahoy, me matey. Ransacked over here. Right, I got my chain down. I'm gonna get ransacked. Let's go. Let him burn. What? Show these mainlanders that Sakura is our island. Dang. All right. Just bringing me here. I tried to do a perfect parry, that did not work. Can't even get an attack off. He's getting hit by everybody. His poise meter building up way too fast. He can't even fight back. Poor guy. Oh, big axe McGee over here. Big Axe McGee. You know, your big axe is easy to, to, to block because you choreograph your strikes. That dank is choreographed. You shouldn't be here, Sarah. Oh, I got no more HP potion. It's too late for fairy tales.
it's too late for any of us. Damn it, too late for any of us. Um, both. You can do both, Ricardo. Both. Ooh, that's a pretty city. I like that. That looks beautiful. It's so beautiful. 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 So beautiful. Oh no, is that the king? I think there's the king now. So, it's true. The king is dead. Long live the king. He was a great man, and a good friend. I, I will mourn him. We will all mourn him. Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. I offer my condolences and my counsel, as I did for your father for the many years. The Great Pestilence has returned, Lord Bowers. Uh, yes, I have heard the rumors. They're not rumors. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own shores, turning their men and women into unspeakable things. The pestilence is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. Is it now? How convenient. You question the church? You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it to spread. My father has been weak for many years. I will begin my reign doing what he could not. My king, you are grieving. I must recommend against It's you. already done. Tomorrow, Madrigal Selene and her Inquisition will set sail for Sacra. I promise we will cleanse the island of this wickedness. Our new king's faith in the church is well placed. Our king's faith was never in question. Ellsworth is a strong ruler, your grace. Sacra will recover. No. Sacra will be reborn. This is my responsibility to the kingdom. He said With God's army. hands, we will reach into every corner of the island and bring it like a newborn babe. Screaming into the light. Oh, my clothes got all ripped up. I'm alive, though. I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm dead alive. I lost my weapon and my shield. But I'm alive. I'm not dead. Stingray. Oh, horseshoe crab? Delicious. Some mushrooms. Right. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. Die, crab. What you got for me? Crab meat? Give me the crab. Delicious. Sacrament from here. This coast is crawling with the risen. <laughs> oh. The waves. Can you feel them, Father? We're back at sea. I think he's dead. That guy's definitely dead. Can I go into the water? I can swim? Oh, 
secrets. I found a secret. Small vial of focus. I found a secret. Na -na -na. Swimming in a water. I found something cool. Mm, I mean, a fishing rod. There's some places to fish here. That's pretty neat. It's just like uh, Zelda, like Breath of the Wild. If I run out of stamina, do I instantly drown? <laughs> Behind the waterfall, I knew it. Now mm. oh, we got some gold, blade oil. And Kindler's Braze, heavy, coarse trousers soaked in soot and flame oil. Way better than my tattered serum leggings. Yeah, let's get naked. Let's get nakedish. That's right, I got pants, boys. Pants, pants, beautiful pants. You guys are jealous because you don't got pants. I gotta break in the pants. Ah, okay, yeah. All right, the pants are broken in, guys. I have claimed them as my own. <laughs> Thieving drifter trousers. Rooms, some more money. I'll take all the loot. I'm a raccoon, so I mean, obviously. Chalk, copper, wood hook, cutter's axe. Oh, that's not a weapon. That's a uh, that's a tool. It's a tool. These thieving trousers are way worse than mine. <laughs> Artesma root and Artesma herb. Interesting. Why does this look like sewage water? Am I swimming in sewage water, guys? This is grody. Is this poo water? Am I in poo water? I think I'm in poo water. I'm pretty sure this is poo water. Yay, poo water! I'm in the poo water, guys. Welcome to the poo water. We got lots of poo water. I rinse off in the non-poo water. Mm, poo water. Yeah, hey, clean me off. I got a turd. I've got a turd between my toes. You get that out of there. Right in between my toes. It was not, it was not, uh, it was not pleasant, that's for sure. Seems to be some sort of secret up there, like a ladder, and there's a whole pathway and everything, look. You can see it, like you can clearly see that there's something there. How do we activate this? Is there any way I can, uh, I can activate the doodink? Can I make the ladder come down? Maybe this is somewhere that you gotta you gotta come down from there, like it's a shortcut. It could be one that I gotta activate from from above. I mean ninety percent of water may have poo in it, but at the same time, ninety percent of water isn't poo, so like, I'm pretty sure that water was 90% poo and 10% water, which is a very bad poo-to-water ratio. <laughs> it's 
a very bad poo to water ratio, guys. All right. You don't you don't want 90% poo, 10% water. Okay. That's that's a, that's that's just muck at that point. Right. How the hell do I get up there? Apparently, I've got to go into the poo zone. Can I break this? No. Can I get up here? No. Poo water. Don't forget your poo water. Get your poo water here. Yeah, the ratio is very important. The poo water to non poo water ratio. It's a very important ratio. I mean, if we're only talking 1% poo and 99% water, I mean, at that point, it's not too bad, right? But when you get 90% poo and 10% water, that's when things go, go downhill. You go downhill real fast. I'm not really sure where to go from here, to be honest. Got a map? I do got a map. Look at that. Yeah, there's definitely something up here. How I get that, I don't know. Oh, there's something here? There's something here. Okay. I see it. We must traverse the poo water again. Oh, no. oh, oh, I fell in. Oh, I fell into the poo water, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know, it says there's something here, but I guess there's not something there. Like that. Oh no, oh no, I ran out of stamina in the water and I drowned. Oh, oh, they just washed me back up at the beach. Okay. All the way back here. I didn't lose my pants, did I? No, I still got my pants, okay. Let's go over here. Let's see what's over this way. Wait, what's that? Brother's Keeper. Two-handed weapons. Double-wielded dual dagger. Okay. check and see what Cody the monster dog is doing the bork for. He's doing a bork. A heckin' a heckin' bork.
Chainmail's got me. That's my beautiful lady. You want to come say hi? Why not? Okay, well, don't say hi then. I don't know these people neither. How about that? <laughs> Francis. Well, give me a kiss. All right, well, fine. Fine. You want to? Yeah. Just 110 of my closest friends. Hello, so oh, God. Um, he did. Focus and runes. Spend gained focus by unleashing your weapon's runes. Runes are powerful attacks unique to every weapon. Press R to toggle rune hand. Select rune 1, 2, 3, or 4. What rune do I have? I got a fishing rod. I can go fishing. I can go fishing now, guys. I can fish. I can do the fishing. I can fish real good. I can go fishing in the freaking hood. I don't know how to do it, but I'm gonna try. Got me the raw carp. Eat him with the pie. Look at you, chair bumper. C come here. Come here, chair bumper. Come here. I got you. That's right. I got you. What are you going to do? Can't get away. Got your harness and everything. Okay. Nope. Got you. Nope. You ain't getting nowhere. Nope. Nope. I got you. <laughs> he doesn't want to come over here at all. He said, no, he said, no, I don't care if you got me. He said, I don't care. I don't care if you got me. But stick my finger in your nostrum. How about that? Chair bumping, chair bumper. Quit bumping my chair. Chair bumper. Shovel requires a shovel. There's a chest up here. Blade oil and the money. What does blade oil do? When applied to your weapon, attacks deal additional physical damage. Huh. What is going on with this? There's definitely something in there. It seems to be almost reaching out to me, like like I'm... I want to get to it. That's the question. Maybe I gotta go around. <laughs> whispers. It's at Serum Whispers, you can rest and record your progress. If death should find you, you will incur a durability loss and be spoken anew at the last whisper you visited. <laughs> Boy, you know, I was joking that it was like Dark Souls and it was like Elden Ring, but did we just discover a bonfire? I think we just discovered a bonfire. <laughs> There's bonfires in this game, boys. Got a bonfire, y'all. What's up here? A rat. Got my face ready, ratty rat.
Oh, look at that. There's something up there. Can we get something up there? No. Get, go up at the up at the up. Do the uppins. Uppies. Uppies. I'm so close. What the what what? Definitely say I didn't make it. Did he make it? No. Barrels, 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 breaking all the barrels. Barrels, 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 rawhide. I'm kind of upset that I made it the first time and then literally ended up not getting it because I can't figure out how to make the last jump or something. I don't know what the hell's going on. Like, why won't it let me up there? Just let me up. Is there a jump button? Do I got a do I got a jump button? There's no jump button, is there? Sneak, drop down, shoulder barge, consume food, journal, inventory, gesture, uh, toggle. Mm. No, not really. I think you have to sprint at it, I think, is what you have to do. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, Artesma root. Okay. That seems stupid. Ow, it hurt. Checking the loot. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, that's just rude. I was checking the loot box. You just, that, that, that was, that, you know what? You're going to get it. You, gonna, I, that, you, you broke the covenant of the loot box. I was in the middle of loot boxing and you, you should have respected that loot box action, but you didn't respect nothing. And so now you're going to get it. Ow, ow. Ow. He hurts a lot. It's, he's got a big axe. And it, it's ouchy. Look, they can't put a treasure chest in front of a raccoon, and I expect the treasure chest, to, the, the raccoon, to rifle around in the chest. I buried that. I buried that too. Mm, his attacks are so exaggerated and not drawn out. I don't like his stupid attacks. And he's breaking my pants. My pants' durability is going down. Maybe I should probably put on the armor too. Even though it's all dilapidated. It's got some damage output actually at least. Oh, oh, hit a brother while he's down. Oh, no, my pants are breaking. No, my pants. They've got a low durability warning. I know you guys can't see it because I'm covering it up. <coughs> my poor pants. My durability of my pants. It's low. It's only 32 out of 100 durability. No. I don't know how to beat this guy. It's so it's such a tight quartered area and he's he's such a punk. I'm trying to go with perfect parries on him, but like it's not always easy to get perfect parries. Unless he knocks me down and then like starts whipping me. Can he push me off the dang cliff too, you little turd? 
Um, I don't even know if dodge really helps with that guy because his attacks are so broad and um, like sweeping, sweeping broad attacks. So it's a lot more difficult to like just dodge, especially with all the, the tiny little space I have in here. Stealing your stealing your dojanks. Dang it. <laughs> now my weapon's almost broken too. I'm a, I'm gonna get it. Hold on, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I could try and jump the gap and see what happens. Is he is he gonna follow me through the gap? Let's see. He's not gonna follow me. Mm -mm. He don't care. He don't care about that. Oh, I'm alive? What? I'm alive. Amazing. They eat some mushrooms. Delicious. Mmm, taste them. Yeah, I could try and push him off. I think I can kill him. I just need to focus on working on my perfect parries. Which that was not it. And that was not it either. <laughs> uh, that boy just knocked me straight into the dirt. It doesn't look like he's going to die if I knock him off either. Oh, 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 no, oh, let me, oh, oh, let me fall down there. Dang it, falling off is embarrassing. I gotta climb all the way back up. He's in heavy armor, he'd sink pretty fast. Let's try this again. Let's we'll see if we can get our perfect parry off on him first. And we failed it. And <laughs> he's so mean. Big old honking axe. I want your honking axe. Give me a axe. I like axes. Push him off. He's on the other side. How am I supposed to push him off? How am I, he's, he's on the other side of me. I'm going to sneak up and do a backstab on him. Hold on. Backstab. Back. Oh, 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 oh. Backstab. No. Class changed to fast. My pants broke. <laughs> I no longer have pants. They're broken. I have I have an auxiliary pair of pants. Here, I got Latif pants. Give him a name. His name is going to be Zoltan the Destroyer. Zoltan the Destroyer of Worlds. The way he has that instant knockdown that he uses is such a pain in my butt cheeks. Oh, he's got a leaping attack! I didn't know he had a leaping attack! I want a big honking space axe. Where do I get a big honking space axe? That's the question. Where do I give the, give the, give, get the big honking space axe? God, he does so much damage. And like one hit is like my entire HP bar. It's awful. 
I don't like the parry button being on the middle click either. Like, oh, my weapon's broken now, too. Now I just have fists. Guess we're going with the daggers now. Ah, oh, he gets me with that thing every time. He has this, like, axe push. And the axe push knocks me immediately to the dirt. I guess because I don't have enough armor and I don't have enough poise right now. But his axe push pushes me immediately to the dirt. And I and I, I miss the parry on that one, like, half the time. Or actually, the majority of the time I miss the parry on that one. Yeah, right there. The stupid axe push. God dang. I'm trying to kill him, Buglands. What part of me trying to kill him, don't you understand? I'm not trying to run past him. I'm not a pussy. I'm trying to learn the combat system and figure out how the combat system works. Come on, I hit the parry button. I don't like the parry button being on the middle click. I need to change this. I don't I don't like the parry button being on the middle click. I need a, I need a different button for parry. I don't I don't know what button parry needs to be, but it needs to not be the middle click button. Can we can we change this? Use alternate scheme. Hold walk cursor. It doesn't change parry, so that doesn't help me out at all. Mm. A little closer for the backstab. Still knocks me down. <laughs> Freaking punk. Oh, I parried it. I parried it. Uh, the parry button's not working at the time. I hit the button. I don't know if it's just that my the, my middle mouse button just doesn't work properly. I don't know what's going on. Like I press the middle mouse button, but nothing happens half the time. I don't know. Maybe my middle mouse button doesn't work right. Like it's like I'm pressing it right now and nothing's happening. Like, is it, is it if I press it too softly? Yeah, see, look, look, look. I'm pressing it. You can you can even hear me clicking it. You see that? Nothing's happening. But if I press it hard enough, it's working. I think my middle mouse button is broken. Because it's, cause it's only working, like, half the time. Okay, so I, I, I just got to press it hard enough. Because if I don't press it hard enough, if I press it too softly, it won't work. That's what's basically going on, is I'm, I'm not pressing it hard enough. I'm not pressing it hard enough. Okay, okay. Yeah, Backstabber gives a lot of, uh, of health decrease. That was actually pretty close to killing him, obviously, with the, with the Backstabber on there. So if we can get him with another backstab before we start the fight, that'll definitely uh, that'll definitely make it easier. Does it contain too much Cheeto dust? It just very well might. <laughs> you're you're probably not wrong. Ah, that's too soon. 
salt and pepper in the mouse button. That's okay, I got this. Now that I know how to frickin' properly... Ow. Use my parry button. Oh, dang it. He gets me with that stupid short push. The short push is way faster than the regular attacks. So the, his big attack is really long and drawn out, and you have to wait a while before you can use the parry button. But his short push is what usually ends up getting me stuck. Oh, all my equipment's broken now. I'm going to break my weapons, too, my daggers, too, before too long. If I don't finish him off. Let's see if we can get that, that first... That first uh, backstab, because that backstab is impressive. I don't know why sometimes it won't work, though. And he got me with a short push. Immediate short push. I hit the wrong button. I hate that stupid short push attack. I'm going to have to get that short push attack, because it's insane. It's an immediate knockdown, and it's really fast. I bet you that's an attack that I can get my hands on, because it's probably something specific to the axe. Alright, let's just go for it. Oh, I can't parry the short push? You little turd. I tried to parry the short push, and it wouldn't let me parry the short push. I don't know if I got the timing wrong, but it's annoying. I mean, he does a lot of damage because I have no equipment, basically. I've got no weapons, I've got no armor, I've got nothing, right? So, there's that. No, 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 you stupid short pushing punk. Hate your stupid short push! I'm telling you, it's very much like Elden Ring. I can already tell. I can already tell this game is, is very Elden Ring-ish, Dark Souls-ish, in the way that the combat works. You can count as much as you want. I've been brand new to the game. I don't know nothing about this game. I'm learning. My deaths are a badge of pride. That's what my deaths are. Oh, how did I not bury that one? My equipment is broken. Now all I have is my fists. I've got no weapons left anymore. <laughs> Time to go in there with my fists, boys. Oh, I can't parry with my fists! I can't parry with my fists! No! <laughs> Why can't I parry with my fists? Why are my fists not made of steel? Is there a weapon in this box? Um... Ah! With fists. The fists actually work better than the swords. And I pushed them off, though. So, that was not intentional. I didn't mean to push them off. I was trying to punch them in the back of the head. I want to go down there and get the loot, though. Is there any loot down there? Did he drop his axe? Did you drop your axe down here, sir? 18 uh, copper bronze coins. 
I had to get naked to beat him. I, I did get naked to beat him. I lost my pants. I lost my shirt. I lost my second set of pants. Lost my sword. I lost my daggers. Fire pits. At fire pits, you can cook meals and obtain resources. Every meal has a different effects. Most recover health, but some can give you temporary status effects. Always be on the lookout for food or recipes and a variety of meals. Okay. Artesma herb can be cooked with other ingredients to create health restoring food. Mushrooms. Okay. Mushroom soup. Yay. That's the lumptious. Delum delumptious. Can we cook this? Can we cook this? Why can't we cook this or this? What is this? A treasure chest? Oh, okay. They gave me some they gave me some stuff to cook with in case I was an idiot and didn't click on anything the entire way up here. <coughs> that was nice of them. Looks like there's a treasure chest over there. Can we get to it? We ain't got nothing to break right now, so dying doesn't mean nothing to us. It looks like there's a ladder over there. Like if I'm looking, kind of trying to see what the hell is going on over there. There seems to be a ladder coming down. There's a chest over here. Um, doesn't seem like there's any way over there. Well, actually, wait a minute. There's a... shard. A chipped shield emblem can be used to infuse weapons and armor and some gold. Okay, so we found one little doojank over here. Alright, we're gonna have to go back up to get this other thing. We gotta use our little scrawny legs because we skipped leg day. Skipping that leg day, skipping leg day. Okay, oh, there's a dead guy over here. What's up, dead guy? Naked. Aw, oh, there's a ladder and I can't get up there because looks like there's a whole doojank up there. How do I, how do I make these things fall down? These ladders. I've seen a couple of these so far where the ladders are like up there, and I can't. Uh, I, I, I guess there you gotta. I'm assuming that you have to put them, make them go down from above. I'm assuming that's the that's the general gist of that. Okay, what we got so far? Coins. This guy's getting eaten by a crow. Some more herbs. We need a shovel, apparently, so we can dig. Is there a new mini map in this game? Like a mini map would be. Oh, what's this? Stats? 
Oh, I'm level. Am I level two? I got two. I got attribute points to spend. Okay. Um, health, stamina, strength, dexterity, intelligence, faith, equipment low. Uh, it feels like my health is really low right now. I, if I had to guess, like it really does feel like I got like basically no health. So maybe at least like two points on health or something. Stamina would be nice too. It feels like my stamina could definitely go up a bit. Do I gotta? I might have to like. Oh, there we go. Okay. Activities. Sacrament. Map. No scrolls. Settings. Exit to menu. Okay. It's hard to believe there's no mini map, though. There should be a mini map, right? I didn't know there was a bad guy up there. And we ain't got no weapons, neither. I guess we're punching him to death. Time to go Ultra Chad. We get that treasure chest. What's in the treasure chest, me hearty? No! His attacks are very linear and straightforward. It's actually kind of easy to dodge his attacks. A little bit. Because he's a very much so, he's a rapier user. He's not using slashes. So all of his attacks are very much so very straightforward attacks. Like, so as long as you dodge to the side, a lot of the times you can avoid his attack entirely. Unlike big old Axe Boy that we were fighting earlier that literally just had big sweeping ridiculousness. Like this guy, it seems like your dodges are a lot more effective against this guy. You just have to make sure that you're, that you're dodging correctly. Can I sneak up behind this guy and straddle him with my freaking, uh... I don't know if I can get him with, uh, sneak attack him with, with bare fists. Oh, I can. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> no weapons needed, boys! Why do I feel like there's a whole fisticuff playthrough? <laughs> Just, just play through with only your fists. What's this thing? Punk. Ain't he got a weapon? Ain't he got pants? Ain't even got pants on. You just got throttled by a guy with no pants. He saw my punch coming. No. Oh, 
Yeah, boy! <laughs> well, I mean, he's got the arms for it, don't he? He's got the orangutan arms over here. Looked like he hurt his punches were hurt. Mm. Scrap bomb. Get them orangutan arms. Oh god! Oh 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 oh! <laughs> All right, what we got? A climber's pick, one-handed hammer, but it's uh, not usable. Maybe requirements: eleven strength, eleven something. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have used my level up points yet. A climber's pick, one-handed hammer. Uh, according to this, it requires 11 strength, and I think that's focus or faith. So 11 strength and 11 focus to use that weapon, which we don't have. Honestly, I'm very impressed with the game so far. I really like it. I haven't even gotten past the tutorial area yet, and I already really I like it. Die. Come on, come get some of this. <laughs> I don't care about your stupid sword, cause I got fists and gas, all you need and more. Cause I'm gonna punch you right in the face. Gonna punch you right in your face. Oh. Out my face. But your stupid dagger. Stupid little sword and your little arm and jank. Alright? Naked. That's right. Naked. I beat your butt with no pants, no shirt, no hat, no shoes, no service. Can I get in? Let me in! What is that? Wires pickaxe. Do I have a pickaxe on? Oh no, I got a woodcutter's axe. Okay, not a pickaxe. For the reason. Oh, he's got a bow. He's shooting me from above. Rude. Rude. He's rude. Oh, there's. Oh, come on down here. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 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 Well, you got a crossbow too? You might want to pull out that dagger. Cause you're going downtown. Where all the demons go downtown. Where everybody knows. <laughs> Kick it, punch it. What else we got over here? What's this? Chop down tree. Foresting. I got some pine wood, y'all. Resource has been depleted. Chopping on down them trees, my friend, cause we gonna use that wood in the end. Gotta use that to make an axe. I need a big old honking space axe. That's what I need. Definitely something up there. Can we get over there? Wait, I don't, I don't know if we can. Maybe I could do a jump from like here to there. No, that's, that's too high. Maybe around the side here, but it looks like I'd probably fall to my death.
coin looker. Oh, is another bonfire? It's another bonfire. Oh, oh, he's got flame! Oh, he got no clothes on! My skin! My skin! Oh, okay. Alright. Alright. Look. I, You know, I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared. Uh, you, got, you, got, you got jokes, huh? You got jokes. What well, you got? You got some jokes. I like this game a lot, actually. <laughs> I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it. I'm gonna punch everybody to death. Sit. I'm calling it right now. There's gonna be a whole thing where people are just gonna try and get through the game without with with just their fists. It's gonna be like the punch runs. It's burning me to death. I can't freaking. Barely dodge that. Ah ha ha, it burned so badly. God, these Bernie guys are ridiculous. I ain't scared of you, Bernie guy. I ain't scared. My skin may be charred, and my body may be bruised, but I'll punch you right in your big old nose. that up there. Kind of crazy looking. What the hell is that? You'll burn alive. Ow, stop burning me. I don't like being burned. It hurts. Resources. A wilding coat. Oh, I found some armor. Hey, I've got armor and I've got pants. I've got pants again. I found a second pair of pants. Look, I got some clothes on now, guys. I still don't have a weapon, but I got clothes. I like my punching abilities. Undoubtedly, I bet you there's going to be uh, probably like punch weapons. I can already, I can already see. They spent a lot of time on this, on this pun, on the punching abilities. Like, there's no way there's not punch weapons in the game. Come on down, let's go. Come on down to Pound Town, get some pounding of man. 
Randomly pounding everywhere. <laughs> I was low on health already. Oh, I was still alive after that hit. I shouldn't have given up so early. Equip the hood. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got a hood toot on. Oh, yeah, look. Now I'm a weird-looking hooded man. Also fire down here. Yes, give us back the gate switch. A way that you have a Please, I don't have it. Wait, what? Who just got bonked? Somebody got bonked. Mess hall key. Oh, look where I am. I'm way up here in the freaking in the doojank land. This is where I started, like way down there. Interesting. Oh, well, there's another big axe guy in there. My nemesis. My nemesis. 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 Oh, well, there's a bunch of guys in there. Can I not open the door? Like what? Every time I go to open the door, the thing disappears. like 16 people here. Retreat! Can they follow me? You guys can't follow me? Oh, I suck. Ah, oh, they can follow me. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on down, guys. Come on, come on down. Come on. Like, it's no big deal. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Two of them fell off and died. <laughs> you guys suck, and your mom sucks, too. She's the best one at sucking. She knows all about the suck. I'm gonna go see what loot your friends drop. Haha, uh -huh, you fell off and died. Oh no, please don't kill me. Come on, come fight, come on. Come fight me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. oh, you guys are going to fall off too? Fall off, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We are the reason. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, you poor unfortunate souls. You, you poor unfortunate. Give me a loot. What do you got? A rune ring and a knave's tunic. Knave's gloves. I got gloves. The gloves are for punching. I got gloves that I can punch with, guys. And a ring. Rune attacks deal 27% bonus damage. Where you at, buddy? Come on. Come on. It's just you and me left. Mano y mano. All your other friends suicided off the cliff. Let me 
it's not my fault they suicided off the cliff. Maybe you should have thought about that before you uh, tried to find me. Check your climbing I'll skills. That, you bastards! Who's squealing now? <laughs> Day 41, surveying his backcountry hovel. Is there no inch of sacra these wretched people aren't able to let fall to squalor? Do they see the ancient ruins all around them and think, let us add to this noble tradition? I make camp in an abandoned coastal fortress, what I'm sure was once a proud structure, a beacon to arriving ships, now a roofless monument to poor masonry. I hope it doesn't rain tonight. Yeah, it's raining right now. What's up, Fillmore? Thank you, stranger. Thought I could sabotage the gate, keep more of these savages from reaching Sacrament's walls. But I got my damn fool self trapped too. Well, that's silly. I suppose there's a reason I'm a blacksmith and not a soldier, huh? Name's Fillmore. If you ever need anything repaired, you come to me. Now here. Hmm. This will open the gate. Get yourself to Sacrament. Through the Auburn Glades to the east. It's the safest place for both of us. But keep a careful eye out. I heard some of these Risen speak of a foul presence outside the city's gate. Uh, can you repair my doojank, please? Repair all, oh, thank you. Uh, did he do it, or did he not do it? Like, uh, sell. Hey, I can sell my thieving trousers. I don't need those. And my tattered cloak, I don't need that anymore. I got two pairs of Kindler Brays, or three pairs of Kindler Brays. Apparently, this is the best pair out of the three pairs of Kindler Braves that I found. Um, I got the Climber's Pick, the Knave's Tunic. The Knave's Tunic is worse than what I'm using. I'm using the Wilding Coat. Uh, uh, I guess we'll... Uh, uh, is there a difference in weight on them? Five, ten... I guess this is lighter... This one's heavier. Uh, I don't really care. Alright, what do you got for sale? Vendor. A cleric's mace. A one-handed mace. A wooden shield. Uh, we got. Oh, there's a pickaxe. We need a pickaxe. That's 32 gold. I mean, I mean uh, bronze. Oh, we got one silver so far. We're actually doing pretty good. We also needed a shovel, too. Alright, so let's grab a shovel and let's grab a pickaxe because we need both of those. Mushroom meat and curry recipe. Crab chowder recipe. Um, we actually have a lot of crab. Um, we should probably grab... Uh, that costs one silver, fourteen copper. So we we have like just enough to grab that if we wanted to grab the mace. A tool for re-education, often used by more enthusiastic Kalin devotees. Hmm. All right. Well, we have a weapon now, and uh, we can go check out those um. <laughs> I should probably grab the shield. We can go check out those things. There was a uh, there was a pickaxe opportunity, and there was also a opportunity to uh, to mine. Oh yeah, we got to equip the uh, we got to equip the items. Copper ore. Okay. It seems like there's going to be quite a bit of crafting in this game, so. There's a chest right there. I if I could make that jump. Oh, 
<laughs> that was not the correct direction. That was not the correct direction. Oh, that was such a terrible jump. My boy just jumped straight to his death. He said, wait a minute, you wanted to die, right? Alright, well he's not charging anything for repair. I guess this is because this is the tutorial area, so we might as well take advantage of that while we're here. There we go. Uh, we got money, weapon shard, and small vial of poise. Okay. I'm assuming that this was the correct path that we were supposed to take to get this chest. We took, I think, a, uh, a cheater route. We cheated, is what we did. Yeah, I think, uh, I think our route was the cheater route, because this was what you were actually supposed to do to get to this chest. You were supposed to jump from here to here, and then you were supposed to take that route across. We did, we did something completely different. And now for something completely different. Some money. AI is just as smart as GGM. What? What? You guys are joking on me? What did I do? I didn't do anything. I wonder if I could jump over there. That is a no. <laughs> uh, yes. All right. There was another uh, mining event over here, and then there was also a shovel. There was something buried in the in the freaking dirt back here too, which I also want to check out. Um, what's up here? I like these areas. They're really cool looking. Um, can we get up there? Because that totally looks like somewhere where you can get up. for the first time. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, there's something down there. You guys see that? I didn't see that before. There's the uh, that's the other mining event. Alright, some more copper ore. You see this ladder over here? I didn't see this last time. Where's this go? Oh, this is this is the ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the ladder that goes down to that thing we were looking at earlier. As I raced through the putrid swamp, the Nith rose up to the, my left and my right, but the pestilence had rotted their minds, the acidic waters their limbs, leaving only savagery and bloodlust. My sole hope was to reach solid ground, draw my sword, and make my final stand. Uh, even if I were to die, I refuse to surrender my corpse to these noxious waters from Adventurers in the Wild uh, by Sulin Froth. Money, money, money. Money. All right, we're going to go down here because the, um, the, the digging event was down here, so we might as well go down here and check it out. It was in the, it was on the beach. There was like a, a hole in the dirt or something, and like it said that I could dig, but I didn't have a shovel, so. Is that another? Oh, yeah! Another pickaxe. What's up, Josh? Yes, I have donned the chain mail! The mail of chain! Here it is. Dig it up, 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 dig it up, 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 dig it up, 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 it's on fire. 
The resource has been depleted. What does that mean? Did I get anything from it? What did I what did I get? Did I get anything? I don't think I got anything. I got the the recipes for the food. I should probably cook up some more food. I got a bunch of meat and stuff that I can cook up. The campfire should be right over here. Wilding helmet. Mesh helmet. Makes me super heavy. Apparently I'm wearing all heavy armor, basically. If I take my armor plate off, I can stay below the, uh, the, the heavy range and stay in the medium range so I can still roll. Mmm, rat meat. Wait, do I have to use these recipes? I do have to use the recipe. Rat meat, rat meat, rat meat. Oh, look at that. I can make 12 of those. Hell yeah. Alright, let's make one of these. And we can make 12 of these. Alright. Um, I thought we had one more recipe. Didn't we buy two recipes? I thought we bought the crab chowder and we also bought something else. Did we, did we not get the other recipe? Huh. I got points to spend? Hmm. I mean, I guess strength is going to help out, obviously, for strength weapons. We also got dex for dex-based weapons. Apparently, there's also faith for faith-based weapons. So, according to that one thing, we need one strength and one focus, and we can use that hammer. Um, let's grab another in equipment load, too, so that we can wear more more equipment without getting overweight. Is it a one-handed? It's a one-handed hammer. Okay. Okay. I mean, it seems kind of nice. He's definitely holding it like it's a two-handed hammer, though. I tell you that much. Let's see if there's any more mining things that we can uh, you down here. I look like there's something hidden right here. Hello, burb. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Okay, so what do we do? Just jump over here? Oh, I see. I see. Alright. That's interesting. Scrap bomb and some more monies. stuff all over the beach over here. Not sure if we missed it or if it's just respawned. Did it just respawn? 
Oh, what's this over here? This looks destructive. No? Oh, I it's not. oh, it is destructible. I tip my hat to this early innkeeper for I wouldn't be needing her services. I had hadn't come to Sac Sacra for creature comforts. No cold ale nor warm bed for me. I'd come to sink my teeth into the Isle's wilderness and see if it would bite back. Ancient ruins loomed. Unseen birds called out to one another. The sun set over the ashen sea. I shouldered my pack and set out through the sacrament's gates from Adventures in the Wild by Sulin Froth. A tiny feather can be used to infuse weapons and armor. Weapon shards. That's odd. It really sounded like it connected with something there. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hey, I was naked. I was, okay? And I'm proud of my nakedness, alright? I'm proud to be a naked Irish man with punching fish or sea. And I'll punch everything you got right in the wee wee. And I'll gladly punch them all again, you see. Don't tell me what to do. I don't need a weapon to kill you. I'll punch you right in your face. Yeah, get my copper. I'll punch you right in the poo. Right in the poo. There was a tree there. I killed it. I killed the tree. Oh, look at that. There's a climby thing there. We went across the bridge. What's under the bridge? Ha ha! See, I knew there was something under the bridge. Knaves bridges. The bridges for a knave. Is it better than my knave bridges? No, they are not. Ooh. I'm afraid to swim out too far because I know I'll die. Let's give it a try anyway, though. Are right, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Is there anything out this way? Uh, half stamina, okay. Might not make it back. Woo, barely, okay. Barely made it back. Burly. We barely made it back. Someone got lucky under the bridge to take his pants off. Yeah, how do you know? How do you know about his pantly duties?
We already looted this chest, didn't we? Like, I'm pretty sure we already looted that chest earlier. But it seems like the chest is back? It's back? Re Relootable? Oh, 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 I missed the jump! Way to go, doofus! You might be wondering why I'm yelling at him and calling him a doofus for missing the jump. And it's because I don't actually get to control the jump. You pretty much just sprint at the, the entrance or whatever you're trying to jump. You have to sprint toward it. And the jump automatically happens. So, like, I, I, you know, it's not really something that I can control myself. Something over there, do you guys see that over there? Is that it's like eh. Eh. It's, uh, eh. I mean, nah, it doesn't look like you can swim to it, but it definitely looks like something's over there. Oh, <sighs> pickaxe. That means I bought one for no reason. seems like I could maybe get up there and like traverse across. It looks like there's some stuff that way. I kind of want to jump down there. Let's, let's okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Ow. My toe. Mm, why did I come over here? Uh, okay. There is something over here. What? Um... No? Yes? Maybe? Ow, ow, my... Ankle! My cankle! My cankle! Ow! My beautiful cankle! Okay, you can like, climb up these rocks. So that's a whole thing. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there is nothing over here. It kind of looked like there was, but... I think it was just this that was shining in the darkness. It kind of looks like it's made out of copper or something. I can't break it. No, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's anything over there. How you guys liking the game so far? I actually think it's really neat. I think this game is freaking amazing looking. I can't wait to get to town. Talk to all the people in town and figure out what the hell's going on. This first whole area is just really cool. I'm having fun exploring this area. I probably could have moved on by now to the next zone, but like... Why do that? Western Bridge Key. Okay, so we need a Western Bridge Key to get past there.
poster. All fall, only some rise. Phelan chokes us and then taxes us. We ask for food and medicine and they send soldiers. Ellsworth, Elias, Grafston, and the Lords of Tyr are just puppets of the mainland. Rise up and take back your home. You have always been risen. Risen? Poor rat. So, digging? I didn't find nothing in the last place I dug. Ship, coal, and armor shards. Okay. Oh, there's Amor. Uh, Artesma. Artesma. There's something down there, too. Yeah, I figured out your attacks already. Next. I'll take that big axe you got, though, that's floating in the ground over there. I want to see what's down here. Just some money. Money, money, honey, money, money, money. Eat to collect loot. Oh, we got some apples. Nice. Mariners keep sacraments. Well, that's locked. Leap. Where do you come from? up there too. I didn't see. I really like the fact that the archers are weak. Like there are so many games that I think do that wrong where literally the archers are like half the time they're like 10,000 times stronger than the actual melee characters. You're like, uh, I'd rather fight, like, three big burly dudes in full armor than, uh, like, one archer. I mean, and granted, I think archers should still be strong, like, when they're attacking you at range, which they, these guys do seem to be, but, like, not when I'm in melee up in your face. Like, you're not strong anymore, right? You got a bow and I got a big old frickin' hammer. Like, get wrecked, unless you're Legolas. Are you Legolas? No, you're not Legolas? All right, well, then not. That looks like something there. Looks like maybe jump to this. Oops, I didn't. I didn't actually jump, but. Oh God! Oh God! No! What? I no. That's not. Definitely not what I wanted. No. No. Can you repair my equipment, Tom? Repair. All. Alright, let's see what he's got. Uh, let's sell our nave breaches. We don't need those. We bought the copper pickaxe already, so we don't need that. Um. 
What did he have? I thought, see, I thought we got the mushroom and meat curry recipe. Mushroom and meat curry. We didn't, we didn't buy this one. We bought this one, but we didn't buy this one. Okay, let's get, let's skip this one. Um... We could probably sell the bombs. I'm not really, like, too worried about the bombs right now. Okay, so now we have the recipe. And I think you can look at the recipes in the book here. I think there's like a little book or something that has like all your recipes in it. Yeah, there it is. So we got this one, which is mushroom and meat curry, rough cut meat, mushroom, and herbs. So we need more mushrooms for this, which we don't have, but it seems like it's a, a better recipe altogether than the mushroom soup. And we've got a lot of meat, so might as well. Alright, so what have we discovered so far? There's still so much more to discover around here. Um, oh look, there's that area right there that we were trying to figure out with the uh, like the toxic poo water. So right next to the toxic poo water is this is this area. That was an area we were trying to get. Let's see if we can figure that out. Okay, so here? Yeah, okay, and then here? Hey, some scrooms. We got some scrooms. Alright. That looks like it goes down. Oh, there's some herbs here, too. Wait, what's that? There's a. Looks like there's a treasure chest right there. I didn't see it until I backed away. You see it right here? Glowing and sparkling in the distance? How the hell do I get to that? Is there like a drop down up here maybe? No. I mean there is something. Some gold right there. So this is the ladder so we can finally get down or get up from here. So that'll let us traverse between these two zones. Some copper ore, nice. So there's, I think we already checked over here and there wasn't really anything here, so... Get up there. It's almost like you drop down from above, is what it feels like. Like there's a drop down, like from above here. And where the hell would you drop down from? Right here? It looks like there's a hole in the dirt right here. This is probably might be the stupidest thing I've ever done, but maybe the elevator will push me through the floor. Hey, I was not wrong. I thought I was going to get squished like a pancake. That's what I thought. Pancake squish mode activate. One-handed straight sword, a zero blade. Requires 11, what is that, focus? Requires 11 focus, it says. Oh, there's the crab chowder recipe. That I, man, see, I didn't have to buy it. I wasted money. I wasted money. I wasted it. 
There's knave gloves. I got another pair of knave gloves. Are they better than mine? They are better than mine. Let's see what's down here. Because there's another way to go besides the, the way for the chest. Uh, another Azure Blade. Day 35, surveying this miserable rut. The Orban Glades smell of rot. All day I hear the wet squelch of my boots sucking mud. All night I try and fail to warm my socks by the fire. Strange figures call this swamp home. Years of bog life has rotted away their lower limbs. Something else, perhaps, has rotted away their minds. It might be time to petition to bring my survey to a close. Okay, there's another ladder out of reach. So we haven't quite gotten to that yet. But this brings us down into the water. Where the hell are we? I don't even know where the land is. Over here, this looks like this looks like land. Uh oh, our first monster. It's not a, it's not an, uh, it's not a player. It's a or a, a person. It's a monster. Some sort of big chicken. It looks like a big chicken. Ah, oh, the big chickens are after me. No, not the chickens. Oh, they die if they touch the water. You guys can't swim. That's really unfortunate. Over here. They can't swim, guys. Rough cut meat. Poor guys. The chickens can't swim. That's okay. I'll take care of it. Holy prisoner leggings. A pathetic pair of trousers belonging to a further, further, former prisoner. Are they better than my knave's trousers? They are not. Oh, we got a tree. Chop it down! Deforestation! Got some jalapenos. I got the jalapeno chips. Them the good ones. New item, chipped quartz. Does it pick up at all? I'm sure it does. I'm spending a lot of time exploring. Apparently there's some pretty crazy boss fights. We saw a couple of them in the, uh, like the preview stuff. I don't know what the first boss fight I'm going to find is. Honestly, I'm really just kind of exploring all over the place. I'm trying to find all the secrets. They said there's lots of secrets in this game, which... I have uh, been taking very seriously, trying to find all the secrets. And there really are. There really is a lot of freaking uh, like stuff hidden all over the place in this world. Like this chest. Basic hide, armor shards. I got a lot, bunch of stuff for crafting. It's going to be fun when I get back to base and I can start doing some crafting.
Yeah, they got fishing in here. It's kind of neat. Can I get up there, maybe? Ooh, maybe I can get up there. Okay. Hey, see? Hidden stuff all over the place. All over. I love hidden stuff all over the place in games. It's one of my favorite things. You got a tree up here, too? For chopping. That's what that's you. Uh-huh. I think that's pretty much it for this area. This little hidden area down in the water. In the Wadhams. Can't get up there yet. That's fine. I'm curious what's over there. That looks really cool. With the freaking light shining through? I wonder if I could just, like, leap it, but I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. Let's do it anyway. Oh, I landed in the water and I didn't die. But good enough. Water saves you from death. Maybe watching your mom would be more entertaining. I <laughs> burn. What you guys do to this little animal over here? What do you do to you? Can I cook some dude janks? Or can I make, can I make, um, hmm. Mm -hmm. I can make some more dim janks. Can I talk to you guys or are you, oh. Sarum. There we go. Forgive my father. He mistook you for one of the Risen. If you make for Sacrament, there are worse things than bandits up ahead. The great beast is loose in these glades. They say it used to be a man. I wanted to go after it, but Father says... Father says the Torn are not to be trifled with. And he's right. Great beast in the glades? What kind of great beast? A beastly beast? Oh, there's a climby thing here. <laughs> now going for the kill shot. Ow. Mantle? Kindler's mantle? It's, uh, what, five? And mine's ten? That still brings me into the heavy category. Holy crap, I want to get a whole bunch of bags and stuff on my back. What if I put on the hood? Nope, still overweight. Stick off the hood. That's 38. The helmet is 25. So I guess technically that's better. Technically. Yeah. 
I'd say the ambiance is really cool with this one too. They've got the um, like the crickets in the background and whatnot. And it feels like I'm fighting at night. Fall off, I want your loot. Dang it. When they fall off, you can't get the loot. Tattered jute trousers. A wretched archer cap. <laughs> I mean, da -da, da -da, fifteen one. These are thirty defense, though. Come on. Come on. Ow. He did exactly what I asked and it hurt. His attack is hard to, to parry because he's got so many strikes. It's hard to tell which one I'm supposed to parry. Another climber's pick. Okay. Definitely something down there. That looks like a death drop, though, so definitely not something I want to do. Weird looking bear statue. And a ladder I can't get to again. Cave, creepy cave. There's some monsters in here. Is that a dead guy? Ooh, what are you? Oh no. He's a big jigalega. Maybe I can get a backstab off on this guy. Killed your ally. Like what? Holy Jesus, he's got the big swing. Oh, oh my face. Oh, he's so fast for such a big weapon. Holy Jesus. Oh, he's so fast with such a big weapon. Hold on, let me let me go repair, I guess, since I'm here anyway. Might as well. Might as well sell off some of these new janks too, I don't need. Sell off the hood. I don't need this. I think uh Well, it looks like the cap is actually better than the hood. We don't need two Azure blades, I'll sell one of these. I think the Azure Blade is better than the 
Frosted Sword, but they have different enchantments, so I don't know which one's better there. I don't need those. Oh, wait, hold on. Didn't I also have something else to sell? Yeah, the recipe, because I found the recipe. He got the big boy weapon. So I believe for this one we just kind of jumped in the water, didn't we? Oh, we can. Oh, we can get this down. Okay, good. Now we can take the regular path. All right. Is that a mine? That doesn't look like copper. Iron, maybe. Nope, still copper. Big weapon like his, I figure staying close is probably the best way, best move. And it seemed like it worked pretty well. A wooden sword? What? Why would I want a sword made out of wood? A training sword for a squire used in combat only by the overconfident, the deranged, or those in dire straits. I think they're literally making fun of people with this sword. They're like, they're like, we know people are going to try and play this game with, like, the worst weapon possible. Here, have the worst weapon possible. Exactly what you always wanted. Breakable environment. That looks deadly down there. I don't even think we found a boss yet. I mean, we haven't. We haven't even gotten to our first boss yet. I'm guessing that stuff's not good to sustain in. Let's go find out. I don't know what it does. Poison, maybe? It's 
not going away. There's a treasure chest over there. Oh, no! Booby trap, booby trap! Oh no, booby trap! <laughs> booby trap! And I'm the booby! Booby trap and I'm the booby! If the first boss was hidden behind a paywall, oh, that would be bad. <laughs> Congratulations for completing the game. If you would like to unlock the optional boss, please pay $2.99. Oh, there's a chest right there I missed. Wildling fingers. Tough but ragged, much like their former owner. Mesh gloves. Leather gloves, or mesh gloves. Oh wow, they pushed me into the heavy status. Maybe I should just go full heavy. Let's 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 do it. I've got like the wilding helmet, and I've got the um, I've got the wilding coat, which throws me into like mega heavy mode. So I'm like as heavy as I can possibly get, basically. My dodge becomes a roll, which is kind of pathetic, but at least I've got like. Uh, and a lot of armor, so I can take a couple of hits without dying. Ooh, a shield. Round shield. Nice. We hadn't found a shield until now. 159 defense. Ooh. Compact and colorful. Built to feel like it's part of your arm. Requirements 10 strength. I kind of want to jump down there and kill that guy, but at the same time, I know that if I jump down there, I'm going to lose all my HP. Let's see if there's a, a better way to make our way down into the darkness. Just down there. Mm, looks like there's a way down right there. Let's go deal with this other guy real quick. Punk. finish this area yet. Hold on. There's a ladder right here. It goes into the water. Where does that ladder go? Journal entries over there. What do I get over there? Um, it looks like you have to climb up there. I mean, I don't mean to backtrack a whole bunch, but. Is this this one? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, never mind. That was stupid. That just backtracked me quite a ways. At least I know what that was. Oopsie daisy. I gotta say, I really like the handcrafted worlds so far. I really do. Uh, I feel like the handcrafted worlds are very, uh, are very neat. They're very interesting. I do like them a lot. I like them a lot. I like it a lot. Um, a monster? Dig it, boys, dig it. So far, it feels like Elden Ring ARPG. <laughs> mm. Tolek Duvain was nine years old when Bola Knights burned him alive in his own home. His crime being a child of parents who adored, dared question their king. There are a hundred Toleks in our province of Sakra. A hundred provinces in the Ashen Sea. We fight for them all. We are many. We are risen. This is death over here. I just don't know. I don't know where there might be land. I mean, we can swim out there and see. Oh, a waterfall. Okay, that's cool. Hold on. I think we might be able to get up there. Um, here. Okay, and then here, and then here. Okay, what the hell did we find? That's the question. A mushroom circle? Mushroom circles are known um, as mythical things. They're called fairy circles. It's where our mushroom grows in a circle. It's, uh, it's an entire thing. It looks like we just found a fairy circle. Fairy circles actually have real mythology. Um, it's actually a real thing when uh, mushrooms grow in a circle, like this. This is a this is an actual real thing that happens, um, and they'll call the fairy rings. Um, I just found a fairy ring. I wonder if it has any significance. I'm not exactly sure why they grow this way. Um, but they do. It's really quite interesting. Literally was trying to chat in another room. Oh. 
How many YouTube chats you got open? Okay, so that goes back down there. Um, can we do anything with this fairy ring? Oh, she got some big boobies. a guy who kind of looks like a rook. A spearman holding a shield and a lady with grapes holding I don't know, holding her boob. She, she thick. I'll tell you what, she thick. <laughs> she thick. And then this guy, I don't know, like a wizard or something? I can't really see the front of him. She got the thickness. that tree or is that tree like too far oh there's a big spot here too and there's a bunch of crap over here this is like a freaking just like a million things here have armor on he doesn't hurt so bad no 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 I didn't mean to fall down where the hell am I falling down to that's the question Yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh, never mind. No, I'm not. Water. Hey, I can get back up real easy. Okay. Do I really not have any, uh, like, really good food left? I thought I had a whole bunch of them. I guess we could do some crafting. There's a, there's a thing right here. We can, we'll just go to the campfire and we'll craft up. You're welcome to our fire as long as you're here. Mushroom and meat chowder. For you. We both know what it's like make to be lost make. in the woods. Nine? All you can okay. think about is a warm meal. We can also make some mushroom soup, but we need mushrooms for the... Mushroom and meat curry. Hi. Let's use the mushrooms to uh, to heal up, and then we'll keep the good stuff for when we actually do the fight. Swam across here, and if I remember correctly, we just simply we we like we tried to, to swim across. That's what we did. So we went across this way, and I think there was like a yeah 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 there was a beach. Okay, 
Alright, and then from here, we use the rock jumps. Um, and we were able to get up. Up here. I don't remember how we got up. Oh, there we go. Okay. And that takes us back here, and then we should be able to get back over there and fight Big Boy. I haven't really used any of my stuff yet. Let's try something like... I got, like, that blade oil that's supposed to make my attacks stronger. Okay. I promise you. Big boy axe. Mm -hmm. You gonna give me that big boy axe? No, of course you aren't. Some more knaves bridges. There's so many knaves on this island. Ooh, a claymore. Two-handed? Oh, buddy. Holy Jesus. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. We are encumbered. So this claymore is too heavy. Time to get naked. Let's get nakedish. You don't need anything but pants anyway. Okay. Who needs anything but pants? That's all you need is pants. All you need is pants. Oh, dang it. It's hard to fight you here. Oh, he's got archers too. Come here, archer. Ow, it hurts. Archers! That's right, die. Leave me alone. I'm trying to swing my sword. Okay, where am I going now? I don't even know. Like, what, what did I even come over here for? Is that a dig? Oh, a dig. Is a dig over here? Radish root. I don't know what that does. Oh, there's a climb down here? Okay, I think I went full circle. Yeah, yeah. Full circle. Two-handed claymore is nuts. Uh-oh, there's dead people all over the place. Boss fight.
Oh, stop beat punching me in the face. better off with a two hand a one handed weapon with this guy. Yeah, perfect fairy pump. He gave me a claymore. Look at that. He gave me a claymore. That's so cute. That's so cute. As if I didn't already have one. <laughs> and he gave me a knave's tunic, which I already have, and the wilding helmet, which I already had. So he basically gave me like a full setup. Eh, eh, eh. What's up, all Legend Seven? How's it going? Why did your last message get deleted? Let's see. Uh, I do not know. Nightbot deleted it. Nightbot was rude. He's a very rude individual. You want Hollow Knight doll rose? Okay. Sorry, I've been too busy. My Nightbot's mean sometimes. Oh, it's probably because it thought you put a link in there. That's why. It dot so probably counted as a link, and so it probably thought you had a link. Mm, Hollow Knight doll. This is Mr. Hollow Knight doll. All right. Well, killed boss. Boss dead. Punk. And if you put dot anything and then you follow it up with letters, it, it's a link these days. See how it see how it turned purple when I repasted what you wrote. The purple thing is what it considers to be a link because you put a you put a dot and then you put something else. It's stupid. If you click on it, it'll try and open it. Yes, you're typo sensitive. Mm, I mean, I don't want to because I want my nightbot to keep people from being able to post links. Only uh, verified people are allowed to post links in chat. Oh, uh, let's see. What did you sign? State your business quickly. Don't think just because you failed the beast, you're an ally. It's all right, Winnick. I apologize for the lack of hospitality. My friend here has his guard up for good reason. Once the raiders took the old fortress, their bloodshed has drawn more and more of those... things towards our city. How did you manage to slay that monstrosity? With my claymore. My god. Your serum. The Watcher's call has been answered. Ha! I told that old coot he was wasting his time. For once, I'm glad I was wrong. Saren, in the flesh and on our island. <laughs> I thought you'd be taller. Your kind's welcome within our walls. I trust you'll find a home here. Seek the Watcher up in the rookery. Welcome to Sacrament. Sacrament! I'm playing on mouse and keyboard all legends. Sorry, I've got scenes and stuff and bosses. 
I do have a controller here. I was going to give it a try, but um, so far I'm actually liking the, the keyboard and mouse. It's working fun. It's working good. I like it. I like it. Mm. Plus you get WASD movement. Fast travel unlocked. What's up, Ellsworth? Sacrament's gates are always open to those in need, or those who keep her safe. Help yourself to our food and shelter. But leave the ale to me. <laughs> the Watcher waits for you in the rookery. Head to the rookery. What's up, buddy? Make sure to get a good scrubbing after wading through the glades. Wouldn't want to end up all rotted away like them neath. And is that sand on your legs? Came all the way here from the shallows in this weather? Can't say if you're brave or just foolhardy. But you won't catch me being either. <laughs> okay. Never wanted you hacked your way to our gates without a moment's thought. Our hero, everyone. Our hero has come. Butchering their way through what's left of our friends, our family, our children. Can't tell if she's being sarcastic or if she's actually like I don't I don't uh, um I think she was being sarcastic. I think. I think it was sarcasm. If I had to guess. Pretty sure sarcasm. There was sarcasm in that. It's pretty pretty mean. That's I don't know. I don't know what I ever did to her. Keep my chin up. Yes, and I heard you met Ellsworth. People say a lot of things about him, but I think he's the best leader in the whole realm. Oh, yeah? Hello, traveler. Yes, you may look upon my work, but it is not finished yet. It is never finished. It is never finished? What are you painting? Huh. I see. You'll never see me grappling with the tone. Oh, what a mess that was. I saw you flailing and sweating down there against that demon earlier. You could have helped me. Why put yourself through it, Selim? Stay here, inside Sacrament's walls. I wouldn't square off against a beast like that for a thousand silver. Glory, Whew. it's overrated. Man, this is a big boy clan more, man. I'll tell you what. It's a big boy. I like big claymores, and I cannot lie. Double bladed is how I die. I swing them with ruthless efficiency, and I'm gonna kill everyone with my claymore. Cause I like big claymores, and I cannot lie. Look at all my claymores, they are fly. I can dual wield everyone. Look at me with my two claymores on the run. Cause I like big claymores and I can't lie. On watch. He ate some kettle chips. I do like kettle chips. Those are delicious. If you're streaming all day, did you eat or do you want? Oh God! I wasn't paying attention. I was reading chat. No, I was reading chat. No, no. Do I want something to eat? Yes, I would like something to eat. I don't know what what to. Uh, Uber Eats is on the way. I have some kettle chips. How's about that?
I looked at chat, okay? I looked at chat. God dang. Sorry. That was a really deadly look at chat, though. I looked at chat and was instantly dead. How scary. Did I finish exploring down here? Like, uh, I could have sworn there was more to explore down here, but... This ladder looks like it comes down too, but I guess I can't get to it right now. Twenty-four cookies for four dollars? That seems like a pretty good deal. It's a lot of cookies. First the tavern. Oh, God's reach what Oh, it's now? a big old lady. Me inn's nothing but cinders, and me husband went venturing down to the shallows and never returned. Oh, but no, that ain't enough suffering to put on these shoulders. Now I've got to deal with some outsider trampling over my livelihood. <laughs> Can you rebuild me tavern? <sighs> Can you find that suit for Brain's Kooka married? Well, in that case, we got doors on all sides now. <laughs> Kindly choose one. You know, I know this is just a video game at all, but but I, you know, I, she doesn't seem the least bit concerned that her husband is missing. Like, I, did anyone else get that from her? Like, that she doesn't really care that her husband's missing. She cares that he's not there to do what she wants him to do. But she, but the way that she worded it and how she expressed it, basically made it seem like she didn't care at all that her husband was missing. She just cared that he wasn't there doing the job that he was supposed to be doing, which is freaking brutal. So this is where her tavern was. Are you feeling ill, stranger? They said that you could rebuild buildings, so we, I might be able to rebuild her tavern. If my patients want the comfort of a prayer, <laughs> she ate him. <laughs> who am I to deny them such frivolities? <laughs> Josh, stop! <laughs> stop! She ate him. <laughs> Okay, that was good. That was good. It was really good. I'm not gonna lie. It was good. Marketplace? Oh, well, who are you? I'll talk to you. That beast nearly made it past our gates before you put it out of its misery. Only a matter of time before something worse comes creeping. I'm getting off Sakura. And I still draw breath. This guy's killing a farm over here. Fast travel unlocked. When you arrest at any whisper, you can now travel back to the primary whisper in each sacrament. Or in sacrament. While resting at the primary whisper in sacrament, you can travel directly back to the last whisper that you visited outside the city. Think carefully about which whisper you engage with from now on, as you will be setting your travel point from sacrament. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Have you been written from the whispers? Um. Are you my death? No. No, you're really here. A serum in sacrament. So the water was right. You came. But I must introduce myself. I am Elsa. And Elsa, historian. the historian. Tell me, can you feel it? That flickering in the air. I'm convinced this spot is the site of some ancient serum remnant. But it lies just beyond my vision. There are relics of your kind all over Sacra. Another was just discovered in the stonemason shot by the cemetery. 
You should see it for yourself. Perhaps it's your temple, your library, your tomb. Uh -huh. I don't hear it roaring anymore. They say you killed the creature outside the gates. You don't see monsters like that in Marin. The city's got a pull to it. Like it draws in all the island. The good and the wicked. I only stay as long as I need to. But those foul brambles in the Marin woods. It's been hard getting home. Mm-hmm. If you make for the These are my scissors. Never. Vendors. These Within Sacrament, you'll encounter a variety of vendors, each offering I unique do. services. They might sell special items and resources, upgrade or enchant equipment, or they could even change Sacrament itself. The vendor stalls can also be upgraded, further enhancing their services. Peter Bowie, and Mary, Weather, Taylor's at, at your service. service. Mary, we agreed. My name goes first. No, 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 Mira. I remember we decided I go first. Fine. Fine. We'll so settle this later. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and sell some of the stuff we don't need. We don't need two shields. Um, looks like the new one that we found is better than the previous one we had, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, we've got another Knaves Tunic. Knaves Breaches that are worse than the ones we had. We got, again, another Reserve Blade. Looks like the new one is slightly better than the previous one. We got two archer's caps, one slightly better than the other. And what else do we got? We got two claymores. This claymore is worse than my claymore that I'm currently wearing, so I can sell that. All right, what do they have for sale? About time you came back. Uh, tattered jute tunic, tattered jute trousers, helmsman jacket, leather body armor. It's 35 armor. It's basically the same as the knave's tunic. Looks different, I'm sure. Uh, helmsman's pantaloons. <laughs> the pantaloons, my boys. They're actually the same as what I'm wearing, except slightly worse. I don't need these knave britches either, actually, now that I think about it. Hold on. Let's sell those as well. This Kindler's Mantle is better defense than this Knave's Tunic, so we can sell the Knave's Tunic as well. These Knave's Gloves are worse than the ones I have on. That pretty much covers most of it. Right, what else do they have for sale? A jute Garment Craft Leather. Used to upgrade or craft leather armor. I mean, that seems useful. How many do they offer? Or is there no limit? They have 20 craft leather. And 38 jute garments. We'll have to see. I haven't found any crafting stations yet, so we'll have to see what crafting stations are available. We might have to make the crafting stations. It looks like the city's pretty is pretty run down. And we might have to actually upgrade the facilities of this town to make the the crafting stations and stuff. Which is a pretty cool way to go about things. If you make for the rookery, it lies above the town square. I fear it's happening again. Monsters at Sacrament's gates. And the Risen pushing farther south every day. My home, my true home, Kaelin, fell not long ago. Did God spare me just so I could watch it happen here too? The Watcher hails from Kaelin as well. Although he left long before I did. Scared bastards always nibble and never bite in. I fucking hate fish! <laughs> but I can't hunt for shit and I can't farm, so... Here we are. <laughs> what a way to start a conversation. He didn't even say hi first or nothing. He just started off with, I effing hate fish. You got some fish out there? Because I'm going to catch them. Like, I mean, I could catch them. You suck at fishing. I don't suck at fishing. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Dude, crack me up. To the rookery, high above. As a child in Marin Village, my parents told me bedtime stories of Saram warriors. In a way, the tales of your kind inspired me to something greater than farming. I took up a sword to defend Sacrament, watching you cut your way through that beast outside the gates. Well, I still have a long way to go. Make your way to the Rookery. Sacrament welcomed Dasha like me. Surely she'll welcome a Sarum as well. So, you know, I, I not, not totally not being sexist or nothing. Like, this is just something that I was thinking about, and I thought I would point out, oh, when you stand in fire, you get lit on fire. Um... Did you notice that all the town guards, for the for most part, I think every single town guard that I've encountered has been a, a female, or am I, or am I not seeing some of them? But like, I swear, like most of the town guards that I've encountered have all been girls or women. If you're one of the mainland missionaries, I ain't got time. Why, Cap? I knew with the best of What's up, returns, Eleanor? It wouldn't be long before She's your kind of cute. She's got, well. little, she got a little cute face. I knew the pestilence returned. It wouldn't be long before your kind did as well. We are all soldiers now, in the one true war, the one my mother and her mother and her spoke of in whispers. Please allow me to enchant your weapons, or you can enchant your own here. A black door was opened a thousand years ago. Perhaps together we can close it. Ah. Uh... Chipped ruby, chipped sapphire, chipped amethyst. Spherin blueprint. Detailed instructions on how to craft a spherin. This item can only be crafted at the workbench. Chipped quartz, gnarled staff. Pulse of health. Slot this rune into a weapon to gain the pulse of health rune spell. Channel. Slot this rune into a weapon to gain the channel rune spell. Heal aura. Repair. Wow, I can repair weapons? Uh, return. Hmm. Pulse of health sounds kind of nice. Costs one silver, though. These things are expensive. The blueprint's only 98 copper, which I think is still one silver. But I guess we probably want the blueprint. Common. The most customizable rarity, but with no enchantments or gem slots. Rare. Enchant enchantments and a gem slot. Plagued. Strong enchantments and a gem slot, but carries a negative enchantment. Unique, unique items and a gem slot cannot be obtained by enchanting. There's a second page. Eleanor. Enchant, transform common gear into either rare or plagued items. Slot gems. Use gems to apply enchantments to rare, plagued, or unique gear. Infuse or extract runes. Modify a weapon's runes. Extracting all will sacrifice the weapon. You cannot welcome young Sprout. I go by Whitaker the Woodcrafter. That's because I craft wood. Craft wood. Simple table. Wayfarer's rest bed blueprint. Detailed instructions on how to craft a wayfarer's rest bed. His item can only be crafted at the workbench. Petaled Spear Blueprints. Oh wow, that looks kind of neat. I'd love to get my hands on a spear. It does cost 2 silver and 21 coins, but... It seems like it might be worth it. There's a short bow on here too. Pine Planks. How many Pine Planks does he have? 20. Trying to get the idea of whether or not this stuff is uh, is something that can Why be used. Not How much does he charge for enchanting stuff? I believe we can take a look at the recipe here. Petaled Spear. One-handed spear. Its fluted tip is as pleasing to the eye as it is damaging to any tissue it penetrates. Requires six spruce planks, three iron ingots, and stag antlers. Requirements 16 dexterity and 16 
Um, faith. 16 dexterity and 16 faith. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at her Life enchantment then. things. So, what does she charge to enchant objects? Like, one silver for each enchantment? That means we can only enchant, like, two items. What's up, Madriol? Nice shirt? I don't know. Yeah, I got a nice little chainmail shirt. Fuse. It costs less to infuse. Blood Rusted Sword has the spin uh, rune apparently in it. I can extract spin. Extract. Did I do it? Oh no, I just switched between the available options. Okay, well, to make this um, recipe, we need a certain amount of spruce planks. We should be able to craft them, though. We have tons of wood that we've been we've been hanging on, so we just need to find the workbench. I guess we just got to figure out where the workbench is. The eyes of the city. Maybe I'm not Dosh after all. Rise at dawn, work the fields, home with family in the evening. A simple life, and a boring one, too. On alert! Have you seen any suspicious activity at God Merritt Station? That's a, a male, but he had his face covered up. That's interesting. Elseworth's headed- Elseworth let the Risen take the old fortress. How long until he surrenders our very homes? Just a bit of sewage. Who's that? What are you doing? Can't you see him concentrating? God's reach. That's a serum, Mogos. Look at it. A what? A syrup? A syrup? <laughs> he said what? A syrup? <laughs> Stupid. Oh, serum. One of the outcast warriors of legend? Never heard of him. Don't care. All I see is an ugly sod frightening the fishes. There are no fish here, and you know it. We ought to go back to the sea. Now that was a proper spot. What? Back to the ship graveyard? The place patrolled by deranged ferals to what breathe poisonous gases? Yes, that's the one. Waters brimming with catch they were. All we have to do is avoid the ferals' territory. The whole bloody place is their territory. I swear you'd be dead five times over if it weren't for me. But I'd have a belly full of fish, wouldn't I? Belly foot of fish and dead. Money, money, money. Are there any fish here? I don't see any fish. Dang it, we jumped in. Why did I jump in? Yeah, okay, there we go. We got back out. Nice. Yeah, there's not any fish in there, that's for sure. Who are you? Oh, I already talked to you. How do we 
get up there? Looks like there's some dude action. like I can go under there, but I guess I can't go under there. That's, I guess it's just the terrain uh, kind of like destroying itself as you walk by. The eyes of the city. This might sound odd, but did God let on say anything about me? This town is absolutely amazing. I love this town so far. As far as towns go in an ARPG, this one is like freaking primo. Wanted Dead, The Plague Doctors, Crimes, Prison, Arson, and Murder. Description, a cabal of former physicians, scholars who lost their families and their minds to the pestilence. Now they wage a personal war against the infected. Very broadly defined, Captain Randolph. I can get up there. I bet you I can. There's looks like there's something up there too. I just gotta I gotta do it right one. Yeah Masterful. Masterful. Okay, then over here. Here. Yeah. Oh, alright. And I'm pretty sure that just brought me back to a place that I could have got to by foot. <laughs> But you know what? I did it, it and it made man. me feel good, okay? It made me feel good. And how do you feel? And dear, you're either freezing your bows off or your ass is in fire. <laughs> Trust me, there's no in-between. There's no in-between? Needs to get me old seat back. Oi, traveler. Have you been to the Dusty Loom? I mean, before she burned down. She was the finest tavern on Sakura. Look at all those sunflowers over there. Huh? A lot of sunflowers. Yeah, I gotta claim more. Are you feeling ill, stranger? Hello there, um... I fear Kaelin lost to the sickness. But I have... Oh, dang it. I can't say I buy into all this mystical claptrap, but there's certainly a plague afoot. Mystical claptrap? What a painting right here. Does that mean there's one of those viewpoint things here? Oh, some fish? Where's some fish? I like fish. Fish, fish, wonderful fish. My hook's not even in the water. Fish, 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 wonderful fish. I'ma catch me a stone. And people ask why I'm leaving. Okay, I already talked to you. What's over here? What's this? What's this? Muskrooms. Muskrooms. Oh. oh, the digging spot. Digging, 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 diggity dig. Gotta dig and dig it, way to dig and dig. We're gonna dig, 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 and we keep on digging. Gotta do the digging all day long. We're gonna dig, 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 and dig and dig. Uh, clay? Oh, okay. Seems like a lot of work for some clay, but. If you don't mind, I'm gonna break all your barrels over here. Like, you didn't need any of these barrels. There was some loot in there. Keeping it. 
Well, there's a blacksmith too, Jack. This thing is kind of unwieldy. It's hard to swing it. And make it do what you want to do. It was slow, a little difficult. Can I jump in the well? How about you? Can I talk to you? What are you doing? 8.33. Now that was a good year. Rain just right. And the gophers were all over at Farmer Coros. <laughs> I made a mince pie that year. A mince pie out of gophers? Mince pie out of gopher. <laughs> Cody the Borkinator. Yeah, it's a good time for a break anyway. We'll take a quick pee break. And we'll see what Cody the Borkinator's borking at. And we'll be right back.
Why is my chair the bane of your existence? That doesn't seem right. I got food, though. You guys blame that. Can you place this one? Mark would get pudding cups all the time. And instead of eating them with a spoon or something, he would just barely open them and he would go and crush them in his hands while he sucked all the pudding out of the cup. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be bringing up the hair bows. Yeah, we have a mysterious ghost in the house who keeps stealing all of our silverware. <laughs> Seriously.
I gave up and I just started buying plastic silverware. If it's going to disappear, it can at least be plastic. He probably does. I've actually found uh, like spoons and stuff in his uh, in his kennel, like spoons and forks and stuff in his kennel. Kid you not. He steals them, probably because they have cheese residue on them. I bet you if I raid his kennel right now, I bet you there'll be a spoon or a fork in there. What's this fancy looking door? Got a burb on it. So I'm you may have landed a lucky blow on that beast at our gates. I'll give you that. A lucky blow? <laughs> but anyone claiming to be a legend is usually something else entirely. Wherever you go in this city, I'll be watching. Someone's got to. Please, do you know what the ancient serum structures were for? Uh, crypts? Altars? Prisons? Have I played Diablo 4? Of course I have. I played just about everything. You want to check out my channel? My YouTube channel. I've got Diablo 2, Diablo 4. I've got a little sprinkle of Diablo 3 in there. Diablo 1. Pretty much everything else in the world you would want to. Why, what's up? Who are you? You know, this island is speckled with the ruins of your kind. Like a robin's egg. Mm -hmm. One I hope to crack open. A robin's egg. So much past. Don't so like the look present. of you. Oh, sheesh, your breath stinks. Why don't you turn your head the other way? Dang, that's... Dang. 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 Rude. Is Diablo 4 good? Um, it's getting there. Um, a patch after patch, so slowly. Seems like they're starting to get to the point where the game is decent. The this newest patch. Is already among us unspoken. It's gonna change the whole game. You've come too late. The newest patch literally changes the whole game. I got a video up on it. Uh, my PTR patch. That's called State of PTR Public Welcome Test Realm. To our little corners, wretched bunch we are. <laughs> but the family of sorts. They're all I've got anymore. Them and old Casper here lost it all to that cursed drug saver. Say. You wouldn't have a drop or two of it on you. Boy is in the gutter and he's still trying to get more. What's up, Casper? You deserve better than this freaking drug addict. Please. I thought he was going to be like, oh, since I've been homeless, I haven't had any drugs and I've become clean and sober. No, nah, he's, he's literally homeless and he's still going. Do you got any drugs? Can't give her any. Day eight, surveying the diverse land island, the sacrament, the island's crown jewel. I confess, her sheen seems to have worn off a bit. In truth, the city has the feel of a ruin propped up by those who fail to realize history has moved on. I feel as though I can hear the city crumbling to dust around me. Still, her people have been hospital hospitable. I have nothing but warm words for the fine ale of the dusty loom. I don't know where I'm going, but... Okay, up it is. 
Where are we going? Up. You don't scare me, Serum. What are you, drunk? Oh, keep your distance, or you'll be sobering up all night in a cell. Dang, why am I rude? Don't be rude. I'm not, I don't drink. On watch. The eyes of the city. O oh, hero, O oh, breaker of the way, where no ship had sailed, no noble foot set, since the days of the great plague, he brought life and light and built his city. O oh, father, O oh, child of the embrace, through these cobblestones and flags plowed the earth and bone, and he brought order to heresy and built this city. Hmm. He built this city. Built this city on bones and dirt. Who built this city? The more houses Maker Danos builds, the less I can charge for me own. Landlord's gotta eat too, you know. You? Oh! A horrible death awaits you. It trails you like a shadow. That's right. I hear the words and whispers beneath all things. I was taught by the Seren, a mystical race, now all but extinct. What's wrong with Huff and Burritos? What is wrong with Huff and Burritos? I like the Huff Burrito. Yes, but the Dasha with you first. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's besides the point. We're talking about great works. Yes, so Catherine Bill's God built Sacrament, I understand. But that doesn't change the fact that the Dasha settled Sacra first. The Dasha were thieves and nomads. They found an empty island and they dropped anchor. Where's the surprise in that? Oh, I'm not saying there's a surprise. I'm simply saying whether or not they built a castle, Sakura belongs to them. Poppycock, don't make me laugh. The only thing that belongs to the Dasha is three gods too many and a bag of sticks. A bag of sticks. And the only thing that belongs to Valen is the extra hand up your bum. <laughs> <laughs> he said you're a puppet. That's blasphemy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, you know. I was typing because I wanted to make sure that my girlfriend saw him. Like, oh, I wasn't listening. I used to see the Watcher sending out his crows every day from my post. Not many of us believed a real Sarum would ever respond to his calls, let alone come to Sacra. Haven't seen many crows flying lately, though. Haven't seen much of the Watcher either.
Where am I going? Is it true? The Risen have taken the old fortress. <laughs> Sacraments learning all the wrong lessons from Havenport. We gave up half the city. The Silverfish's gangs just wanted more. I came here to get away from all that. I hope Ellsworth's not as soft as Governor Grafston was. <laughs> she don't want to, Grant Jim. She don't want to marry me. You've arrived! I knew his letters were not in vain. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, yeah? I've only ever read the ancient texts about your kind. He's got candles on his hat. Have come, Master. From across the sea. The pestilence. It festers. Everything it touches. Did you not hear? The, the serum have arrived. They won't come. Never answer. I apologize. He was, is a brilliant scholar, but oh, it's been so long. God's reach. They're already here. Governor Ellsworth. Madrigal Selene, I apologize for the lack of a formal welcome. If you sent word, it must have been lost. A welcome sight, though, aren't they? <laughs> About time Phelan sent reinforcements. My Inquisition is here as an act of mercy, Baron Winnick. There is an unholy presence on this island. I have come on behalf of King Magnus, who King sent Magnus. me... King Magnus? The boy. I... Forgive me. I thought you had heard. Your brother, the king, has passed. How long? It will be a week tomorrow. You should return to Phelan, Governor. Your nephew has extended his hand. He invites you to rejoin the family. Thank you, Madrigal. But Sacra is my home. Sacra will be in capable hands. My Inquisition have quartered ourselves in Fort Reach, and will remain for as long as it takes to heal this island. Fort Reach? Sacrament's a bit out of your way then, isn't it? My outfit encountered a group of raiders as we came ashore on your coast. We sent all of them to rejoin God, save one. I thought she might be of particular interest to you. We could have left her body by the side of the road with the other animals. Consider this an offering of goodwill from the church. Where was the church when our people were sick and starving? We're done begging for scraps. Yeah. We take what we need. Odessa. Don't. She's scrappy. I kind of like her. Leave her. I'm sure the governor can properly discipline his own daughter. At least as well as he governs his city. My apologies, Madrigal. It's... She does not stand for sacrament. Damn right I don't. Guards. Take her away. This way, Rizin. I should have never taught you that little move. You will arrange an escort from my vanguard to Kaelin. Kaelin? It will be done. Is there anything else we can do? You can rejoice, Governor. Your salvation is at hand. Oh... Inquisition at our gates, and ceremony on rookery. We've prepared lodgings below. A humble room, to be sure, but safe and warm. I hope you've arrived in time to save our fair island. 
Not only in time to witness its ruin. Hmm. The, the hell is that on the wall? Look at that ridiculously long freaking like loot on the wall right there. The loot is taller than a person. What the hell is that even called? What the hell even is that? What the hell is that even called? I have to know. Loot longer or hold on, taller than a person. <laughs> What the hell is it called? A Theribo? It's called a Theribo. No, that's not it, because that's not tall. What the why is this one why is this one so tall? The ones these ones are tiny. They're tiny Theribos. Look. Like I pulled up a I pulled up a, a Google search and it says that it's a Theribo, but look, it's tiny. It's a, look at that little little dwarfish dwarfish uh phallic action on there look at this manly manly super long phallic action going on here like what what the what why would the voodoo do why is that one taller than a person and this one's not even like i don't i don't know what they're able let's see uh let's type in therabo so therabo Super long. <laughs> uh, uh, Therebo loot. Super long. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Long necked Therebo loot. Okay, we gotta see this. Is there a video or something? Can we can we look at this enormous ridiculousness? If you... We're gonna look at this enormous ridiculousness. <laughs> that's not even as big as the one that's on the wall. It's not. It's not even as big as him. Look at this thing. It's ridiculous. Look at how thick and girthy it is, too. It's girthy. Look. It's a very girthy Therabo. <laughs> it's girthy. Get that ears to it. Danos. Oh, who's that? Oh, a visitor. Of course. I've told the Watcher this tower's not fit for livestock. And yet, there he goes, boarding any stranger that comes along. You'll have to head upstairs. There's no way down for now. A fine staircase should be, too. Would get us to the market in half the time. Most days you'll find me not far from there. In the square, by the war room. Maker Danos. I can repair anything with the right materials. <laughs> oh, except laziness. Hmm. Okay. Oh, good. You're awake. Oh, please, sir, you must see this. What's up, Watcher? I dream of them. Their limbs twist, but do not break. Their flesh smears like oil, and, and the hunger in their eyes. Uh, 
Forgive the um, grotesque display. We pruned some of the poor torn soul you killed at our gates. Um, sorry, I, there was somebody asked where the game was, and I'm like cutting these, stuck, stuck in these things that I'm eating, and I'm like doing a bunch of stuff, and I'm not answering you guys, and I'm sorry. Um, it's really good. It's really good. The art style is amazing. The combat style is really good. Very reminiscent of like an Elder Ring or Dark Souls style game, but like converted into an RPG. The city feels very much so alive, and and like, I mean, it feels like a real city that I might visit one day or something. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I like the I like. You know, they got everything voice acted. Um, I like the weapon choices. Like, everything everything seems to be really good so far. I mean, they kind of got me hooked. <coughs> like the boss fight, too. The boss fight was neat. I left a vial of its blood here on the table, but when I returned, I found it altered. The Watcher, he must have refined it, purified it, in ancient technique. Now you just need to... to I apologize. It's my nerves. The ichor must flow through your veins. The scrolls say it gives strength to your kind. Go to the Watcher. This skill is it's beyond me. Mm -hmm. Plus five gear inventory slots. Plus five inventory slots. Plus five resource inventory slots. Plus five miscellaneous slots. Plus one main hand slot so I can have multiple weapons equipped. Plus one offhand slot. Plus one ring slot. Plus one a tool slot. Um, I mean, more rings would definitely be good, right? Not that I have another ring to put on, but... There. Now, if you should encounter any more of the Torn, collect their Ikor and bring it here. But be careful. This island crawls with villainy. I suggest you visit the market for supplies before you leave the city. Oh yeah, super diverse. I told you about this before, babe, that uh, literally most of my viewers are, like, from all over the whole world. Germany, like, Canada, you know, United States, South America, like, Brazil, freaking Australia, freaking, I got people all over the place. All over the dang place. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. Is it true? The Risen have taken the old fortress. Moved to Sacrament after I realized in Havenport we were making more widows than progress. What is this? Is this a bridge or a? Looks like an old bridge that's all busted up. I'll take up. this post any day over my old one in Havenport. Hmm. It's a neat looking tree. Looks like somebody cut it down at some point. Still growing like crazy though. Huh, how do I get down there? Or something down there. I can't jump over this. I can't fall off this either. Looks like there's a pathway underneath. I think you can really get to it though. Get from one side to the other. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna die. You guys watch. I'm gonna die. I think there's an invisible wall there. I think that's what it is. I don't think you can go that way. Is it true? 
the Risen the have Madrigal taken your fortress. Requests your presence. The Madrigal requests your presence. You must make your way through the Nameless Pass and seek her audience. At the Heretic's Gate. At the Pagan Door. This is the will of God. Many lives ago, your kind fought the curse. The Madrigal believes you may be of service again. As God finds meaning even in broken things, so does she. Go east, toward the sound of steel and flesh. Why are we whispering? The sound of deliverance. Of deliverance. Scotland? Who's from Scotland? We got a Scotty up in you. Don't you know? Yeah. I'll say <laughs> what we're all. Oh, what's this? Raining dummy? I don't know. Oh, I'm stuck. Hello. I don't like you. And you don't like me. I hope we meet in Boss Arena one day, so I can wipe that smirk off your face. What? I don't like you, and you don't like me. Hey, I never, I never said that I didn't like you. Okay, I never said that. Who said? That? Who? Who said? Who said? It? Not me. I don't like you now, but that's just because you're a jerk. Now I don't like you. Breaking all the barrels in the whole yard. Gonna break the barrels. Get all the loot. Cause we got the loot. Until we toots. Gotta toot. I mean, if you don't toot, then what? I'm guessing this is an arena for fighting or something. Probably uh, some sort of like, or, you know, I don't know, maybe a paid arena, like winning your way to victory or prizes and money and and the works. What is this thing? Get out of the way, stupid little whispering dudes! Oh, I can't go in here. What? No, oh, they got a rope. A rope fence in the way. I can't go over there. Why, I'm low. There'll be more silver in your sword than in my coffer now, since the damned quarry fell. Touch by God, maybe. Too scared to say it, but Sakura and Phelan are better off apart. I love the king about as much as a wart on my eyeball. A wart on your eyeball. Why would you put that picture in my head? Ooh, ooh, a wart on your eyeball. Ooh. Are you with the Inquisition? Or a servant of the one true God. Those are the conditions set down by Speaker Lucian. Only those who've been touched by Wanted dead. Defenders of Nelap. Crimes, mayhem, assault, and general confusion. Deranged heavily armored knights in service of his house Nelap. Uh, as a matter of record, no such house exists. Claim others are trespassers and invaders on their sovereign soil. Sigil appears to be a chicken. Is there 
even any land under Antarctica? Or is it just mainly ice? I remember some, they were talking about like how the countries couldn't necessarily claim Antarctica because technically there wasn't any land to plant a flag in and that's like, like one of the most basic ways to claim land and you can't actually put a flag in Antarctica because there's no land. And, uh, and they were talking about how they were digging it to get to Antarctica's land to try and plant a flag in it. Not enough inventory space? Uh-oh. In my resources inventory. Only those who be Volcanuses. It's got volcanuses. Yeah, under the ice. The land is under the ice. That's what, exactly what I'm talking about. They were digging to get to the land. To put the flag in the land. You can't put the flag in the ice. That doesn't work. You gotta put the flag in the land. Ice. It's gotta be in the dirt. Does it count if you put it in the ice? Or in the snow? That doesn't count either. Alright, let's go over this way. We need to find, like, the workshop, the blacksmith. We need to find lots of stuff. This place looks cooler in the daytime. <laughs> Cody, your butthole stinks. I said it. I said it. We gonna do. I said it. We gonna do. How about that? How about that? What do you think of that? Give me his noggin. Give me a noggin. 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 You don't even care. Look. You don't even care. Noggin. Noggin. It must not work on you because you got fur. That's pretty much all I must know. Maybe your fur insulates you from the noggin. Noggin. Italy and eat all the pastries? Oh, Italy does gosh. sound fun. You don't scare me, sir. You don't scare me, sir. Um. What are you grumbling for? Oh, don't jump off and die. Wait, what's that? You go down here yet? Or is this where I came up? I think I came up here. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I came up here. Okay, okay. That means we haven't been across that bridge yet. But your head's heavy. You got a big old monster head. Why you got a big fat head, fat head? Why you got a fat head, fat head? Hello? If I might bend your ear, I have a proposition for you. Okay. I saw how you dispatched the raiders in the old fortress. <laughs> You've had a taste. Any interest in the meal? My men spotted the Risen Warlord, Darak, in the Orban Glades. He's been a thorn in Ellsworth's side for too long. I sent a contingent after him, but... If you were to find yourself heading west, you might join them and do sacramental service. They would all sleep better knowing Darak's below ground. Of Sarah. rats and raiders. Look with the tide. It seems our fortunes have changed since we last spoke. I'm afraid we might have to postpone our fight. What if I'm spared the gallows? Perhaps we can finish what we started. Although judgment might take a while. My father would rather play servant to the madrigal than speak with me. Could be worse. We could be at the bottom of the sea. Uh huh. Not much. Or we'll to just let the risen sack the place, and then they'd learn a thing or two about respect. Mm hmm. Day one hundred thirteen surveying. I know not what. 
I'm finished. I'm through. Even if they throw me out of the Surveyor's Union, I will not abide another step on this cursed isle. No more horizons, no more blank maps tempting me to fill in their lines. All I ever wish to explore is the bottom of a bowl of warm soup. Farewell, Sacra. Someone else can complete the damned assignment, and I'm departing these cursed sores, and I will relish every moment of the journey home. Relish. Not much respect for us these days. Ooh, a chest. Put it in the bank. Man, he just kicked the chest open, too. He ain't, he ain't playing around. He just... Mmm. Oh yeah, I really like these graphics. These graphics are like next, next gen. Notice work has been halted on the scaffolding due to the lack of resources. Seek me in the town square once proper materials are obtained to resume the construction. Danos Tivian Makers Guild. That boy hanging. Do you see the outfit? The weapon? Where and how I'm standing? That's because I'm on duty. Well, wow, aren't you rude? If you're so intrigued by our cages, why don't you hop inside one? Okay. Can I cut this guy down? No, no, no. What are you doing? Stop it. Wasn't even the correct direction. There's eggs on top of the roof. Can I get up there and steal the eggs? Uh, uh, a copper shovel. Okay. Of somebody's house. Day 89, surveying this dreary place. A creaking, groaning cemetery of drifting ship hulls and beached whale carcasses poison the waters east of Sacrament. My god, the stench of it. The fishermen here are little more than scavengers picking the bones clean. Why not strap a few hulls together and set sail for anywhere else? Perhaps the mildew dulls their ambi ambitions. The mildew dulls their ambitions. Hmm. A little rude. It's down here. Ow! Wouldn't you like to see Sacrament reborn? To our so, you found me. Perhaps you're developing a fondness for this city then. With my hands and your copper, we can make Sacrament bloom again. Anything you come across that looks like it could be restored, tell me. Why, even the vendor stores can be improved. And for yourself, perhaps you may want a home here one day. There was greatness here once. Let us uncover it from beneath the dust. Building a project. Lodging staircase. Time needed 15 minutes. The lodging staircase inside the rookery can be repaired, allowing for easy access to the Sacrament's marketplace. Whittaker's Crafting Shack. Unlocks the Crafting Shack to level 2. Unlocks the workbench for crafting furniture and utensils, as well as the sawmill to refine wood into planks. Um, how much do we need? 10 pine wood and 5 copper ore to get the workbench running. The city keeps shrinking. Um, I need more pine wood. Um, okay, so I can do this one right now. 
Um, spruce wood, iron ore. Caroline's in. Ten pine wood and five copper ore. Wonder if I can buy some. Huh. Which copper ore do I have? I also have clay. Guess I can go ahead and donate one of those. Get it out of my inventory, right? The smithy. We need more wood. We need to go out chopping wood. I does, take it you saw the mats about time. Does he have anything? Anvil, used to craft weapons and armor. Alchemy table. What? Time to accept. We're not just repairing wood and iron, you and I. We're giving this city new life. Restoration is rebirth. Understand? Alright, well I need wood. War room. It's a map on the floor. It's kind of cool. That's the castle. <gasps> Got dragons, polar bears. <laughs> Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if I can break the bear. Another pathway too, though, wasn't there? Besides down, there was also up. Ah! Destroy all the barrels. Give me your stuff. What you got? Berries? Yeah, put them in my mouth. Resources in my inventory. Why is there an infinite number of barrels here? Like, what is going on with this? Every time I break one, another barrel is in its place, and they just seem to, like, be. I don't understand. Are they. I mean. What? Why is the barrel infinite? Why are you an infinite barrel? Why do you have the power of a god? I can't pick up half this stuff because I don't have enough room. Apparently this goes into my resources inventory. I need more uh, inventory space for my resources. Hmm. Let's see, what is it? Is it, uh...
I mean, it's got to be this one, right? Got to be. What resources are on the ground? I thought I took that, put that clay inside the thing. I was like positive I did. Three more stat points. Um, yes, Kubus. What do as you want? <laughs> I see you staring at me, Mr. Kubus. What do you want? Do you want... Uh, do you got an alum gator? Where's your alum gator? Where's your gator alum? Hmm. 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 Just gatums? Oh, thank you for my gatums. Him's gonna sit with me. That's my good gatums. That's my nice alligator. That's my good gator. How's a good boy? Look at that. My screeches to give him screeches. Him no, him's gonna go over here. I'm gonna give him screeches right here behind his butt cheek. I'm gonna give him kisses. I'm trying to make him jealous, but it's not working. <laughs> go to get your alligator. Why does he stink? Alligator stinks. Why is he stinking? He's a stinking alligator. Ready? Get him. Stinky boy. Hmm. 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 Let's just drop this jute thread. See what the rest of these things are. A fish. A raw trout. And some sort of herbs. A large fish that can be used as in an ingredients in many food recipes. It's like we can eat these. I need uh, HP anyway, so why not? We'll eat the two fire brands. There's two black cats roaming around. Oh, some artisma herbs. Okay. Is that a ladder? It is a ladder. I can't. Uh, I can't reach it though. It's one of those ones that's like slightly up. You can like jump to it or something. Dried up Cody drool. No, he took uh, he took Alamgator outside, and he left him outside. He needs to be washed. Okay, there's apparently a doojank up there. How do we get up there? Okay, maybe we gotta go across. There's a fountain down here. Well. If it needs doing. Oh. Once you understand that laws around here are more like <coughs> suggestions, your whole world opens up. <laughs> Life is yours for the taking. <sighs> laws are more like suggestions. We suggest, we strongly suggest that you don't kill anyone while you're here. <laughs> Ah, yes. That's another suggestion. Man, how long have I been exploring this town? Because I swear, uh, like, we're just... <laughs> we've been exploring this town for a while. Rune attacks deal 10% bonus damage. Heat resistant, cold resistant, electric resistant, plague resistant. Look at that. Now I got two rings on. 
I got two rings. Look at me. I got two rings. Let it be. fishing spot right there. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Wait, what? Door is locked? It's the sewer. You want to see real fish? Visit Sacrament Sewers. 100 years of shit and drought and decay. Sloshing about like in a tub. Mmm, sounds delicious. Satisfying destroying the barrels. It is so very satisfying. Oh, yes. Hello? The gate is closed, traveler. Best stay inside the city tonight. Me, 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 Graveyard? I'm desecrating the graveyard. Murray Gormwater died 808. A good meal is never finished. Mushrooms growing out of dead bodies. Delicious. Those are the dead body mushrooms. The best kind of mushrooms. I've seen what the plague does. I've watched it take everything I've ever loved. And then crack its flesh open and smile at me. Smile at you. With greamy, greasy, grimy teeth. Teethuses is. The stonemasonry is closed. Ron Ellsworth. <laughs> okay. Ooh, a grave to dig up. Oh, digging up the grave in the graveyard, my friends. And we gonna find some bones for me. Oh, we uh, shattered our shovel, and that really freaking sucks. But we're gonna dig up more bones for me. Oh, we're digging, digging bones. We got digging all them bones. Digging all them bones up just for me. Find something good deep and down in this hole. Digging up them corpses just for me. Oh, Cody's back. Cody's back, back, back. Cody's back, back, back. What's he doing, Mr. Cody? He is back, back, back. Codems. 
What's this? What's this? Here? Here, take it. Take it? Yes? Haha, <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> he said, I'll bite you. He said, I'll bite you. <laughs> I got teeth. So you won't get bit? Because that's how you get bit. There you go. Don't say I never did you nothing. Don't say I never did you nothing. Because I did. I did you something. What the hell is this place? There's a campfire. Can cook up some doo janks. Cooking up some doo janks. Cooking up some doo janks. Doo janks. Doo janks. Cooking up some doo janks for you. Doodly 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 janks. Jiggly jiggly doodly doo. Jiggly jiggly doodly doodly doo. Eh. Sarah. There you are. Look at this. Um, it's creepy. It's really creepy. Can we talk about how creepy the it is? The floor of the masonry collapsed, revealing this chamber below. Isn't it remarkable? Remarkable is not the word I would use. Creepy is the word I would use. Not remarkable. Creepy. No one's breathed this air for a thousand years. Yeah, it's probably plagued. I believe a deeper ruin lies beyond this seal, but I'm unsure how to access it. You know, in some cultures, the faithful pleased their gods by ritualistically disemboweling themselves. Wouldn't that be a sight? Ritualistically disemboweling yourself. I saw Granny disemboweling herself underneath the evil fortress last night. And she opened up a door with the blood that hit the floor. And then she walked without her intestines. Because I saw Granny disemboweling herself. In front of an evil shrine last night Where the demons glistened And the undead listened to hear Disemboweling sounds What are you doing over here? What are you doing? Oh, you look like you're up to no good. You look like you're up to no good. I know your face when you're up to no good. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're up to no good. What are you doing? Don't be up to no good. I don't care if you look at me. Your plot. What are you plotting? I can see inside your brain meats. I can see deep inside your soul. What are you plotting? You're plotting something. What are you plotting? Plotter. We still not plotting nothing. So no. Don't give me the bombastic side eye. Bombastic side eye. Dogs are the master of the bombastic side eye. They know all about some some side eye. They'll give you side eye for days. The bombastic side eye. Does he want to come down? No, he's he's over there looking at something that he's not supposed to be looking at. I, I think it's this bundle of wires over here. I think he wants to chew on him or something. But I'm pretty sure I'm too close. So he can't do nothing while I'm sitting here. 
And if he tries, he's going to get in trouble. So. So he bet not. You bet not. Plot. Him's plot. Plotting the, the throwdown of the world. How about you do me a good set and I'll give you the last bit of this burritos. Alright, now lay down. Lay down. Lay down. All the way. Thank you. There you go. You got some burritos. Happy? Put some hot sauce on the wires. The church welcomes all, traveler. Is that? It can't be. A serum in sacrament? Welcome, welcome. I'm the Orison here. Orison Haley. God speaks in countless voices, and I'm but one of his humblest. Try not to be intimidated by those inquisitors marching around. The church is a place of peace. It is when we are still that we're most likely to feel God's hands upon our shoulder. He's gonna be gassy, I can keep him. Nuh-uh, he's gonna be yours, you can keep him. He's your dog. He loves you more than he loves me anyway. She babies him and gives him kisses and and scratches his head. You should see it's the most ridiculous thing in the world. We'll we'll be laying in bed and he'll go he'll he'll do like this. He'll go ee, ee, and then she literally starts petting him immediately. Like he literally whines to be petted and then she literally pets him immediately. And if she stops, he, he just starts whining again. So if she stops petting him for any reason, he'll just start whining again. So she's he's like he, she's just petting him and he's fine and then as soon as she stops <laughs> <laughs> He's such a big baby. He gets his pets, though. He gets all his pets. I'm kind of jealous. I want pets. I like pets. I like pets, too. <laughs> oh, there's a, look, he got a quest down there. He got a little doojank on his head. We got to go down there. Got a little dude down. Oh God, broke my leg. Nothing sings like steel. It's a real honor to service your blade, Sarum. And there's no better blacksmith than Fillmore. May your will be half as strong as my work. Not me. Mine's farmers all the way back. <laughs> but the first time I saw a hammer hitting steel, it was like it was singing for only me. You want to lick the plate? You want to lick the plate? We can lick the plate. Come on. There you go. Lick the plate. Good to be back behind Sacrament's walls. I got cooties. Clearing the way. From now on, how about I stay at my forge and leave the heroics to you? Ah, weird stuff. We karate chop. Got karate. That got do karate chops. What's wrong with karate chops? Karate chops. Karate chops. Chop, 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 chop. Karate chops. Hmm. <laughs> He's going to eat the plate. He probably would eat the plate. He's a plate eater. I'm not even going to judge. He eats plates. They're delicious. Delicious plates. Delicious plates. So delicious. I'm actually going to sell some of these things. Uh, a slippery sea animal that can be used in many food recipes. Human bones. Just make some money. I don't see any reason why not. I don't have any recipes for that particular animal right now, anyway. Upgrade equipment? Well, it's like an upgrade thing. It only costs 10. 
10 doojanks to do an upgrade? What is upgrading it to? I mean, it's only 30 doojanks to up this shield, so let's try it out. Oh, uh, look at that. It's got like a, a filling filling thing. Crafting requirements, armor shard, and copper ingot. Oh, I only had one copper ingot. I used up all my copper on those quests, too. Serum? Selling doojanks for monies. Sell these scrap bombs, too. Consumable damage output. Oh, I'm not really too interested. Smoldering fragment of unknown origin. Spalled axe blueprint. Detailed instructions for how to craft a spalled axe. Um, detailed instructions for how to craft a reckless tall bear armor set. I mean, both of those seem like fun. Uh, let's get both of those. Nothing sings like steel. Warrior is only as good as his weapon. Can I use his forge and do it myself? And craft things, or do I have to? Good uh, day to you. Do I have to go through him? Some people ask how I can stand the ringing in my ears. Better than hearing folks gab, if you ask me. So I can upgrade equipment, but I need copper ingots for that. Kubis the Karate Kid? Kubooties? Oh god. May your true name never be spoken, Saren. Kubis the Always Karate go Kid. With the grain, young one, so you're still on Does he got any wood? He's got planks, but he doesn't have logs. Huh. You know what? Let's grab him. Oh. Well, we can't really buy any more than that. Let's grab ten of them. I'm curious whether they can be used to repair um, resources so I can get like a workbench and stuff. I'm gonna go to that blacksmith guy, wherever he was. I can't remember where he was hiding now. People ask why I'm leaving. King Harold's in the courtyard, going for a walk. While the Queen is in the kitchen, a taste in the baker's stock. When Prince Magnus hides in the stables, the lighting, lightning is so, so dim. dim. But what, but what is, is this that, that I, I see? see? The horse is mounting him. <laughs> <laughs> the prince is getting mounted by the horse. That's so rude. What's the matter, Boobus? You got food. Don't like the look of you. You got waddums. I gave you the burritos. You got some barbecue chips. Some barbecue chips. I seen you get the barbecue chips. Were they good barbecue chips? You like them? Did you like the barbecue chips? Them's your favorite. Barbecue chips. Or do you like the hollow gel up of those? Or do you like the. <laughs> He's looking at me too. Everything I say, he's really paying attention to everything Welcome I say. Welcome to our little corner of sacrament. Some jalapenos. You like jalapenos? Spices. You like spices? Hot. You want some hot? You want some hot jalapeno chips? <laughs> I swear he knows what you want is too. You want? Okay. My name is Gimme Jimmy. I took him out um, after you came up to deliver the food, so he went out at the same time you guys came up, which wasn't too long ago. Oh, 
Oh, there's a tree? There's a tree. Yeah, we need that. We need wood. Wood, we need wood. Gotta jump on down the trees and wood. We need wood. We're just topping down trees in the village. That's a tree. Can I chop down that tree? That's a tree. Can I chop down that tree? No. Well, bang. All right, fine, man. This is another one of those little fairy rings. It's different than the last one, though. Things are slightly shifted. Uh. Huh. This city is so freaking ridiculously large. It's ridiculous. It's redonkulous. It's redacula. It's redaculaculous. It's redanculanculous. All right, can we go up? Let's go up. We need to go up. job once that let me take me to the floodlands. I got the bastard too, but not before he nicked me in the arms, splashing about like a dying fish. Didn't think much of it at the time, but that water, uh, it wasn't long before the black rot set in. Lost my arms to no more than a pinprick. Do you believe that? And now I'm here. They don't call me the butcher no more. They don't call me nothing. I just won't break the barrel. It's not that big of a deal. What's this over here? A bunch of homeless people. Yes, the Dosha. God's punishment will destroy all of Atlan. His loyal children will die alongside these filthy Dosha heathens. Curse them and cast them out. Please, traveler, help my baby. They say the sickness took up, but she's still here. She just needs food and a warm blanket. I know I can make her well again. My poor, sweet child. She dead? Uh, by the way, there are drops, I think, for this game. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, there's drops for this game. Um, claim, 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 claim. Uh, connect. Connect what? Drop enabled stream. It's how to participate. Uh, step one, watch live stream. Step two, claim your Twitch inventory. Step three, redeem your rewards in game. Step four, authorize Twitch in game. Armor shards, weapon shards, fallen embers, flex jester emote, drop number one, dance emote, weapon shard, art shard, who fallen numbers. Okay. I am a drop enabled stream. I should probably put that in the stream uh, details, by the way, which I don't think I did. Um, I should put drops enabled. Sometimes people don't know you have drops enabled unless you type it in. That way it's easier. And then everybody knows I have drops enabled. 
The black bank drops an able, see? Uh, so how do I... It said I need to connect my account or something. Yeah. Oh, they want me to sign up and everything? Okay, I guess I can at least do that. Let's see. Agree, agree. Dang it, I gotta verify my doojank on my email and everything else in the world. Is it cheating that I'm getting the drops from my own stream? Like, is that cheating? Is that cheating? Am I cheatering? Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, come on down, a cheater, cheater. Hmm. Connect your game account to receive this award. I did, didn't I? That's what I just did. My account. I'm gonna have to figure it out later. I've definitely got everything showed up. I mean, that's just there. Got it set up. And I got it. I go to your account page. Account email. Yeah, yeah, okay. Everything's in there. That's right. That's right in there. You got that in there. That's what I don't know what I'm saying. Try refreshing this page, let's say. Quantity one, now two hours, three hours, one, four hours. Well, I got them all. I just need to claim them, so. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. <laughs> Sorry, all you homeless people. I'm breaking your barrels to find your apples. I just stole apples from homeless people. I know you guys are proud of me. I know y'all so proud. The pride in your hearts is just swelling. Do you need any help? You met Baron Winnick? <laughs> Perhaps he could use a new servant. I'll work for just a few coppers, I will. Just a few coppers. What are you doing, growly dog? They work. They work. Cody, the monster dog, him sleeps like a log, snores, and he saws lots of wood. Flips his butt upside down, shows his willy to the world. That's a Mr. Kubis, the monster dog. That's right, I said it. I see it. You show off your willy to everybody because you sleep upside down. Mm -hmm. Brazen. Bold. Bold and brazen. Winter boy. Who's even in charge? I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm just running around. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, we're almost here. That's the blacksmith. And then... Looking for what's his face. We need a whole bunch more resources so we can start activating some of these merchants and whatnot. Which we just don't have. We don't got the resources to activate these guys. Let's go up here. I fear it's happening again. I think you're up for chasing down a few mark. I told Ellsworth I thought it was a mistake letting you past our gates. 
A soldier with no rank is a stone's throw from a bandit. What's the matter, big boy? Hmm? What's the matter? Why you got the big cry babies? Why you being the big cry babies, huh? Why you being a baby? Hmm. Why you being a baby? You want pets like these? You want pets? You want to some Scrooge these? Hmm. So much past. And so little present. I'm gonna play with your ears like this. Rub your ears. And pitch a lot of this and get rubbins. And go scratch your chin and chins. Kisses. Larry Happies. That enough? One more? How much? <laughs> How much more you want? You want to lick some hot sauce out of this thing? There's some hot sauce in there. You want that? There's some 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 Taco Bell's hot sauce. There, go ahead, take it. Go ahead, get some hot sauce. Go ahead, go ahead, lick it. Go ahead. <laughs> they said no, we don't want that. They don't want hot sauce. But orders are orders. Or is that a foreign idea to you? Orders, respect, discipline. Well, as long as you're here, which I doubt will be for long. I've bounties to collect, challenges to complete, and not enough men to carry them out. Every day it seems there's more. No rest for those of us keeping chaos at bay. What do you say? Bounty hunting. Torn wildlife. Our surveys have reported that the rodents inhabiting the urban glades become infected by pestilence, twisting them into torn beasts. These creatures must be slain before they take. Oh, okay, slain the torn rats infesting the urban glades. Alright, can we accept multiple bounties? Because I'll just accept them all. So much past. And so little oh, present. no, I can't. Okay. Exterminate crabs in the Western Mariner's Keep. Orban Glades. Kill risen scoundrels in the shallow. Kill torn colossus inside the war room. What? You must act quickly to get rid of our city. What? I was in the war room. There was nobody in there. No, wait a minute. We're going. Hold Why on just a minute. When you can be paid to do it. This was the war room, right? Or actually, what is this? Oh, this is Rookery Lodgings. Kindler's Broadcap. Leather armor. Simple round table. Perhaps. Oh yeah, we fixed the stairs. That's right. So now we can get up to the, at least like a helmet and armor and stuff. I can't really wear the armor right now though because reasons. We're going to sell that. This is a leather helmet. So I'm pretty sure that this one is also leather. Okay, so this one's better leather. A better leather helmet than the one we had. Uh, we probably want to put up some of these resources. Uh, let's put up the armor shards, the weapon shards, um, a stack of artisma herbs since we have a full stack of them, chipped emerald. Honestly, we should probably put up like pretty much everything, unless we can't access it from here. Come back for it later if we need it. I'd also like to see if I can access this, like, for quests and things like that, without having to go get it out. So it could be interesting to see how that how that works out. You know, let's just put it all in here. 
and we'll see. If we have to come back and take some stuff out, then that's what we'll do, but... It's a recipe... Alright, we need to find the war room. I can't remember where the war room was. Apparently there's some sort of big monster in there that we need to kill. What's up, Dire Prism? Okay, the war room. Where was the war room at? Oh, there's Danos right there. Okay, so Danos and the war room are right next to each other. So we just need to go north from here. Uh, which is up. So we need to go up. Welcome to our little corners. Please. There should be a way up over here. At least I think so. Do you need any help? No. Yes. Yes, there is. Okay. Still need to get here. How the hell do we get there? Is there like a gateway? It's happening again. Oh, it's this right here. We were standing right next to it. I'm an idiot. I hear you beaten to the monster outside our gates. Okay. First off, let's see if we can donate resources to my boy over here from our stash. So. Um, it looks like yes, ish, because we don't have any copper ore on us, right? No, we don't. We don't have any copper ore on us right now. So, yeah, so we're able to donate stuff from the stash because I threw everything into the stash. All right, so supposedly there's some sort of big old beastie monster in here. We're gonna have to kill. That's what it said, anyway. Said there was a beastie in here. Oh, okay. Isoms. Oh yeah, I'm dead. This guy's uh spice him. He's spicy. I don't have any healing uh, healing stuff yet sure left either, sure. really. Like I got a bunch of, like, raw materials, but the raw materials aren't really worth... Cody, what are you doing? Oh, okay. He's got something I gave him. I thought he had stole something. Let's try uh, doing some perfect dodges on them, or perfect parries, and let's see how that works. Maybe we can sneak up behind him and get a nice uh, backstab to start out with.
Oh, that was not right. <laughs> uh, the backstab wouldn't activate. No matter how close I got, it wouldn't. It wouldn't do the activate. I literally got to the point where I was touching his butt cheeks, and it still wouldn't activate. And of course, when I started caressing his his lovely buttocks, uh, he turned around and was like, "Why is there someone caressing my lovely buttocks?" Apparently, I guess you just can't uh, you can't sneak attack him. Maybe I think maybe that's. He's just not sneak attackable. Which is fine, I guess. Ah, dang, I was trying to see if I could get the uh, the pattern to his attack, but it's so it's so exaggerated. He like pulls his weapon back and then pauses for like a full like second it feels like and then he finally attacks. And I can't quite break down like when he's actually swinging. Backstab with that sword would one shot him. He's got some reach on that weapon, too. Like, holy Jesus, he's got some reach. I ain't ever seen nothing with that kind of reach on it. His arm is as long as his sword, and his sword is as long as mine. He's literally got, like, twice the reach that I do. Keeping back from him isn't an option. Not when he can literally reach across the entire battlefield and stab me in the face. got a lot of sweeping, like big sweeping motions too, which is making it difficult to, to dodge around him in circles. So he has amazing single target like stabs that go across the entire arena. And he also has really freaking good slashing attacks too. I mean, those arms are ridiculous. I kind of feel like maybe the, uh, the, the Claymore might not be the best choice for this, unfortunately. I'm going to break all my equipment. I kind of want to try and backstab him again, but it didn't work the first time, and it's probably not going to work the second time. It never turns into a skull. It's just always a uh, a red dot. I'm assuming that the red dot means that I'm close to a backstab, but I'm not quite there. He responds so quick, too, when I'm behind him and I try to attack him. It's like instantaneous. Alright. I would love to keep fighting him over and over again, but every single time you die, you lose durability on your equipment. And it's only going to be a matter of time before everything I have breaks. Do it for God. So, we might have to skip this one, unfortunately. 
We don't have the money to keep fighting him over and over again and dying. Mm, he only gives us two silver as a so reward, too. And so little present. Brutal couplet. Let's do some of these other ones that are... Um, oh, I can have two of those active at the same time. What are the entitlements? Uh, what? The hell was that? It says establishing a connection. Private and division account. Private division is... Yes, okay, so that's correct. Oh, okay. So that's what I had to do. I had to go to a specific NPC to claim the rewards. That's interesting. Alright, well I claim them now. Um, challenges. Thanos has informed us that as much brickwork as Sacrament has been showing its age in order to make the repairs, however, he's going to need clay. I've heard you can find some at various digging sites across Sacra. Collect five clay. Well, Sacrament's too noisy to sleep. Too crowded to breathe. Complete five challenges. Complete pre builder projects. Enchant one weapon. Uh, kill Arisen. Five Arisen with spear. Collect ten mushroom soups. Collect five pine wood. I wish I had those active earlier. I've done like half of those already. It's okay. I guess I'll get them done as I go along. Okay. Kinda feel like we need to go collect some resources. Oh, what's this? Spilled blood? Okay, well... Of rats and spiders, warlord named Derek wants to fight for the Arisen. He's been spotted in the western reaches of Morbid Glades. Uh, we've been summoned to the Magical Selene uh, through the Nameless Pass. Carolyn told us his innkeeper's husband has gone missing down near the shallows. Okay. Let's go see if we can find the innkeeper's wife, or the hus innkeeper's husband. Uh, innkeeper's wife. I'm gone. Oh look, all the resources are back. Well that's freaking awesome. Considering there's a whole lot of resources around here. I wonder if that entire thing um, came back with the... Uh, Oh, not everything came back. This is back. Claymore and some chipped coal. Challenge completed. Enchanted arms. I didn't enchant anything. I must have found one that was enchanted. That means that Claymore is probably enchanted. that fish? Why is it having trouble? Is 
Maybe I'm supposed to do it over here or something. Uh, what the hell are you? That's one of them rats. That is not a rat. That is a really grumpy looking... Ooh. some cops. Fishing, fishing, going to fishy fish. A New York City rat? New York City? Mm. Gangrenous eel. Mm, everybody likes gangrene on their eels. It's the best kind of eel, the gangrene type. Isn't there actually some kind of eel that people actually let rot on purpose? I remember uh, playing, uh, I think it was Dredge. I learned about it in Dredge. It was some sort of eel that literally you're supposed to let almost go bad before you eat it. Some, you can uh, apparently you can go to town and come back, and apparently the loot comes back, so that's not bad. Pretty easy to go farm some more loot. Is that guy gonna be back over here? I fought a guy over here, the big the big axe user. Oh, instead it's a rat. <laughs> Fire up here. This goes back to the town. Horseshoe crabs. up some food. Alright, let's go with the uh, expensive one. Oh, we can only make one. It's 
that's okay. Seems like we have a lot of uh, ingredients, so. Cooking ingredients and selling it would be a good way to make money. Seems like a valid option. Such a fast attack speed. It was like four attacks. Like really freaking fast, too. Need to catch some fish. Oh, fish here. Hey, mind witness beholder. Thanks for the prime sub, my friend. I really appreciate it. Bezos. I got the Bezos dollar. Yes, I go. I got the Bezos, I got the Bezos money, no, I, got the, I got the Bezos, I got the Bezos, I got the Bezos dollars, I got the Bezos, I got the Bezos, the Bezos money in the bank. It's an axe boy. No. 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 Despite some. can't do any damage to you if I'm not up here. Oh, 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 rude, rude, rude. See, that was just foul, 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 rude, rude, dude. Oh, I found something new. It got a little purple. I got a gold loss on death. Oh, man. Chance to gain 14% health damage on damage taken. Focus gain increased by 11%. Reflects 3% damage taken. The stamina increased by 14. Gold loss on death. Huh. I kind of, I don't have any gold right now, really. I only have 98 copper, but... Oh, I also got this... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I had the enchanted claymore. Uh, attacks deal 9% extra heat damage. Eight gain a 13% health on a parry. Items weight decreased by 14%. Items durability increased by 8%. Ooh. Oh, but it's less damage than mine. Mine was 13, and this one's only 11. I mean, gaining 13% health on parry is kind of neat. That's kind of that's neat, I don't know. Serum gloves. Requires level 21. Mesh gloves, 37 defense. Way better than what I've got. Wait a minute. Why do I have my serum equipment now? Where did that come from? This is the serum equipment that I... Uh, I was wearing when I started the game. Is that did that come from the drop maybe? Maybe it came from the drop. I mean I got a bunch of stuff from the drop, like armor shards, weapon shards. Hmm. Yeah, gold is so sparse that doesn't seem worth it. You're right. I 
especially with how often I die. <laughs> Throwing shade on myself. Oh, uh, why did I do that? That hurt. That hurt. It hurt me inside. It's hurt me right here. In the heart. It hurt me in the heart. But it's true. It's true. I can't I can't lie. It's true. I die a lot. Man, I ain't even get down the ladder yet, ya punk. Look at you with your little lance and your shield. Lance and shield over here, and you just waiting for me too. How about I go back up, and then you don't get the you don't get to fight. Oh, you coming up? Oh, you coming up? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Does do? You just <laughs> you're so stupid. You're so stupid. He's so stupid. Can't believe how dumb he is. The Twitch glitch. Why is my sword on fire? Because I touched them. Poor guy. Artemism. Let's go this one. Oh, another claymore, blade oil. I need to take that. Um, I need to take that uh, that armor that's a level twenty one. Either sell it or keep it, or but put it in the stash or something. There was a, a recipe that had something to do with um, deer antlers. That's the only reason I killed that guy, by the way. Because there was a recipe. Ah, uh, that tree got in my way. It got in his way, too. Stuck up against the wall. That was really weird. It was like uh, there was like a. I was backed up against the wall, and he was pushing me up against the wall, and I couldn't move. But there was no wall there, really. I don't know what was going on. And then I tried to dodge, and it wouldn't let me dodge either, because I was like stuck. No, well, didn't have any problem killing him that time. Let's get this tree. We need all the wood we can get our hands on. Yeah, every now and then Twitch has this weird issue where the sound like cuts out and then it comes back later. Like it always comes back. Don't get me wrong, but like it takes, it's it's weird, and then YouTube won't won't have the same issue. Wow. 
Dude, them fire guys are insane. I don't like them at all. And then they try to hit you with like 800 attacks a second over here. I, I'm tired of burning to death. Can I, can I stop burning to death for a second? Okay, die. Stupid fire dude. And your ugly fire face. What the hell is this? Okay, some more money, some scrap bombs, some more herbs. There's apparently something over there that we need to go grab. I kind of want to go through that door, but looks like there's some big old meaty boys down there. Let's let's go over here real quick. Um, what's the point of coming over here? Can I cut down this tree? Is there a secret entrance? I think it's maybe to get to whatever that is over there. What the hell is this? There's nothing here. So much of diggy stuff here. Okay, we got some clay. Let's go repair up real quick. We can we can fast travel back to the blacksmith and then we can come back. We can also drop off this equipment while we're at it in town, and then we can come back and we can do a little bit uh, different stuff. I think we also completed some of these. Uh, um, challenges. Yes, we completed that one. Actually, the blacksmith is below, isn't he? Uh, Mirabelle and Merriweather. There it is. The blacksmith is there. Can we mark things? Like, is there a place marker? Uh, sword. Hey, there we go. Now we got a little red marker on the corner of the other side of the screen. Telling us where to go. Ah. Oof. Warriors. 
is only as good. Good day to you. All right, what can we sell? Um, we could sell the claymore. Uh, we can sell the other claymore. Man, this one's 14 damage. The one I have is 11. If it wasn't for the fact Sarah? that it has fire damage on it and restores health when you parry. I mean, it also has decreased weight and increased durability, but... Maybe I should upgrade it. I don't want this uh, this hat. I don't want it. It's it. The uh, gold loss on death sounds terrible, so I'm gonna sell it. These are worth twelve a piece. These mushroom and meat curries. Which, uh, which isn't bad. Can we upgrade this blue, my blue drink? What, what happens when we upgrade it? Let's give it a try. It's only 10 for upgrades. Oh, we need copper ingots to upgrade it. We don't have copper ingots. Yada yada. Everything is a price. Every man is a cost. How oh, ignore their gates, Serum. They likely never seen one of your kind. I, on the other hand, have met six Serum. Five? Six? That many. I've witnessed the sea births of the Kylish people to the south, and all those northern cities that sail across the sands. I want strength from the water pooled in a giant's footstep. And I've supped wine with Phelan's finest. You and I, we're travelers. What you got, traveler? Copper ore? Stone tusk ring. Armor increased by 24%. Boost the, wearer's, the strength of the wearer's armor for increased defense. Oh, he's also got pine wood. He's got copper ingots. He's got a bunch of things that I kind of need. I feel like I should sell this armor for the money. <laughs> for the money. Um, I like that ring. I think I'm going to buy that ring. And then um, we can grab the wood. And also grab the... Uh, what you got? Two copper ingots? Let's grab the two copper ingots and the copper ore. Seems like we're going to need a, a, a really large amount of that, so I don't see any reason why not to snag that. The clay also, we should probably snag the clay from him. And I think the rest of it we can hold off on. Um, we've got two of these rings that have rune attacks deal bonus damage, which aren't really all that amazing. So let's replace one of them with the tusk ring. Um, and then we can sell the the ring. It's 31 for that. Um, and we can take these two copper ingots and we can upgrade our sword. Yeah, see now we're 15 damage. Nice. We need two more copper ingots for the next upgrade, though. The world is your skin. I fear it's happening again. All right, one last thing. Let's go check and see if we've got enough resources to do one of these upgrades. This island will be healed. One stone. Let's get to it. Uh, so we've got Whitaker's Crafting Shack. That has the workbench on it. We need the workbench. Um, how much pine wood can we add into this? The city's gone to shit. Um, contribute more. Confirm contribution. It's not working. I 
Okay, so 59 minutes and 53 seconds, and we'll have a crafting shack. Nice. Alright, that's GTFO, shall we? Oh, hurt myself. You don't like me you like my freaking huge sword? What's wrong with my huge sword? You don't like my huge sword? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful guy. Alright, let's go fight these people over here that are probably gonna kick my booty shoes. Ellsworth Arms Field Hunts and Farmers and sends them to the slaughter. I wonder, by the time we breach Sacrament's gates, will anyone be left inside? Did he one shot me? He one shot me. Ow. God, he's so freaking good. Like, he moves fast. Minions are gone, which... I was trying to see if I could parry his attacks, but it was not working. Let's see if his minions are gone this time, because if they are gone, then we're now we're fighting the boss by himself, which is, which is probably going to be a lot easier. Would be nice if we had uh, some food, but we don't have any food, whatever. Most of his attacks don't seem parryable. I'm not sure if I'm just misreading them or like like normally when you have a parryable attack, he's attacking you. A lot of the times it seems like he's just attacking the ground. And so when I try and parry the attack, it doesn't work because he's not attacking me. Stunned when he ran into the wall. I really could use more stamina. At this rate, it's going to take me forever to kill him. Woo. 
through the reach on his blade. I wasn't even nowhere near him when he freaking hit me with that thing. Like, that was crazy, the reach on his blade. The reach on some of these guys is nuts. Dude, I'd be like freaking four or five blade lengths away from him and he'll still freaking get me with the edge of his blade. Um, I probably do need damage reduction, and you're absolutely right. Got the parry on that one. I figured out the the combo. Ooh, that was reach on that thing. I'm telling you, the reach on some of his attacks are insane. Such a good reach on those attacks. Alright. I'm getting the hang of it. I mean, slowly. Slowly but surely. I'm getting the hang of it. Um, he has one attack. It's really kind of exaggerated, but the parry point on it is actually really obvious if you pay attention. Um, some of his attacks don't seem parryable. I've been trying to parry some of the other attacks. That one right there is really easy to parry. And I totally just missed it. Parried both of those, but neither one of them landed. Or at least I tried to parry them anyway. Oh no, it's a it's kind of difficult to parry his slashes. I'm not really sure the exact point to parry them at. If I can get the uh, the parries down right, I think I, I think I've got this. Oh, I hit the parry button. Can you imagine how much gold I would have lost if I kept that hat that caused me to lose gold every single time I died? <laughs> I'd be broke. I'd be dead broke. go him into using the attack that I can easily parry, but it's not always easy. You gotta gain some distance away from him, and then once you gain the distance, then he's more likely to use the one that you can parry easily. The other attacks 
are not as easy to parry. Oh, I totally parried that. No way. How many times I parried that attack and I freaking failed it? Yeah, right. Ah, uh, was I late? I was, I was early, actually. I was early on that one. I'm anticipating it too much. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Come on, I parried that. No way. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I wasn't in line with it. I wasn't in line with the attack, so I didn't parry it. I wasn't close enough. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. 18 miles away from you and somehow you still hit me. Well, you make no dang sense. Ah. Well, I got him down to what? Th three quarters? Three quarters isn't bad. I feel like I'm actually doing pretty good against him now that I've got his, uh, his parry thing down. I need to get his other attacks down as well, but let's see what I can do. that it didn't work. Come on, no parry? Bull crap, bull crap, bull crap, bull crap.
I got him down to one quarter this time. We're making progress. Three quarters down to one quarter. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm starting to get the hang of some of his other attacks, too, to parry them. So I think we're making some serious progress here on this guy. I think this time. This time we got him. This time. Kicking me, kicking, kicking, freaking kicking bastard. I was trying to get these other parries. Like I'm trying desperately to see if I can parry any of his other attacks. And I'm getting a couple of them. Like, I can parry a couple of the attacks, but not all of them. Unfortunately, I think we've managed to break everything. If I can if I could parry some of his other attacks, I think we'll be fine. But I can't seem to get a lot of his other attacks parried, which is the problem. Uh, which way is it? It's this way to the blacksmith, right? Don't try to <laughs> Maybe they know. May your will be half as strong as uh, the sin. Hmm. Oh, only 98 for the repair? That's not too bad. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, we need to go to the, the my house or whatever, or whatever it's called. The, uh, um, the Rookery, I think that's what it was called. The Rookery. Oh, we got stats? I didn't know we had stats. Let's bring our equip load up. That way we can actually put on some equipment. Uh, we can go back to our thing and we can pull some equipment out too. That way we can actually have some, uh, some defense, some armor. So that he's not just one-shotting us every single time. Are you feeling ill, stranger? Oh, troublemaker, that's what you are. Yeah. Why can't the lot of you just be civil? One god, one... Mm. My Gordon's a simple man. Knows his way around the kitchen and <laughs> nowhere else. I told him, go and fetch us a load of clams from the coast, down by the... Knowing him. Better here than back in here. Oh. Um, I don't know where anything is in the town. Maybe they know. Am I going to be playing for a lot longer tonight? I'm probably going to be playing this all night. Yeah. I'll play it all night. You know what? Honestly, I'm only at seven hours so far. I'm going to hop. I'll probably pop up a second stream. This is fun. I can already see myself doing a second stream. We'll do We'll do two streams tonight. I'll probably take the chain mail off, though, after the, after the first stream is finished. <laughs> I can figure out where my dang where the dang rookery is. Uh, I mean, obviously, I need to learn the town. And I haven't really there been here very long. This is it, I think. This is it. No. Yeah, this. Right here. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. 
let's go grab some equipment now that we've got more uh, equipment load. Because that's basically what's been going on, is our equipment load has been so terrible that we haven't been able to actually put any equipment on. Heavy, light, medium, or otherwise. So that's why we got no shirt on. But now that I beefed up my equipment load by quite a bit, hopefully we'll be able to actually put on some equipment now. Um, also, let's put this stuff up. We don't need this level 21 gear with us. Um, let's grab the... Uh, what is it? The Wilding Helmet, which is a heavy armor helmet. Actually, the... The, the light armor helmet, or the leather armor helmet, is honestly, like, better, or almost the same armor value for less weight, so that's probably good. And then, um, the armor. Which armors did we have? We had the wildling coat, which is pretty heavy. Oh my god, that hat. <laughs> what is that? What is, I can't even see. How do you even see through that? That's not even... What, what is that? Mm, okay. So I've got 150 armor. Um, I'm in the heavy class, though, with the freaking... With the helmet, though. Hmm. No, even without the helmet, I'm still in the heavy class. It's the armor that's bringing me into the into the medium class, or the heavy class. <sighs> so what is it that I can do? I can do a a crappy roll as a heavy heavy armor user. I can do the crappy roll as a. Freaking mushroom hat, guys. This is great. Who doesn't like a mushroom hat? Okay, so the rookery is right here. It's in this. That's actually not very far away. Okay. It is up here, though. So, kind of stupid to get to, especially since I gotta go all the way up. Is it true? The Risen have taken the old fortress? Yes. Whatever you say. I don't know. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. The Madrigal brings salvation to our I hear you second. beat me to the monster outside our gates. Uh, hello, crazy lady? <laughs> Can I talk to you, crazy lady? Oh, I can't get up there? Oh, hold on. I'm coming. Why the Inquisition has come. Ask yourself if you are worthy of the embrace. I quite like the governor's daughter. Not beholden to anyone. No fear, no hesitation, no husband. I was fetching my armor when I <laughs> pulled a muscle. Important to limber up before battle. Okay, okay, okay. Limbering, we're gonna limber. Ah. Right. We got our armor. We got our weapon. We got a. We got a two jinx. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Man, I am slow when I'm not sprinting. Oh, okay, just don't parry me. Trying to see if I could parry his attacks, but half the time he wasn't even attacking me. I don't I don't like how heavy I am. It's just it's too much. I guess I'm wearing a hat though. I guess I get a hat. I didn't have a hat before. I don't think uh, I don't think I can wear the armor because it's a ten. And there's just I don't I don't know. I mean I could remove my gloves and my hat in my pants and I could still have the armor on. <laughs> And I would be at armor 70 with just my armor. 
But with the other pieces, I'm at armor 80. So without the armor, I'm at armor 80, which isn't too bad. Again, I don't care about your stupid stat thing. Get off my screen. Someone got paid to design that hat. <laughs> Come on, I hit the parry button. Oh crap. Ridiculous. Ridiculous reach boy. I'll be 800 miles away from you and half the time you'll still somehow get me. frames while I was eating the food. That was hilarious. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. That was some bull crap, that last attack that he did. He kind of, like, charged forward, and I guess because I was in his way while, I was ch while he was charging... And it was weird because he's supposed to be charging at me, but instead it looked like he was charging at behind me. So he pushed me out of the way when he charged behind me and stopped my parry from activating because he pushed, because he charged behind me instead of actually at me. And that was, I don't even understand. doesn't even seem like it goes that far.
Ball punk. Ow. I got like one hit left. Oh, no. Oh, he belly bumped me. At the end, he just belly bumped me. Freaking belly bumps. Don't you be belly bumping people to death. That's, that's rude. Be belly bumping, belly bumping, bumping. Got the belly bumping, bumping. Gonna be belly bumping, bumping. Got the belly bumping, bumping. Gonna be belly bumping, bumping. Belly bumping, bumping. Got the belly bumping, bumping. Gonna be belly bumping, bumping. Where did I get two mushroom and curry recipes? I guess I can sell those in town. Freaking insane. I hit him for like nothing. I didn't parry that. I didn't parry that. I felt like I parried that. I think that was a really interesting scenario of I was just a little bit too far away to parry it because his blade didn't hit my sword, but his blade did hit my foot. I really don't like the parry button being a tied to the middle click. I really wish it wasn't. I kind of wish the parry was tied to the right click instead. I feel like it would be better in general for it to be tied to the right click, but it's tied to the left click. 
<sighs> there really is no way to change the parry button off of the the middle click because my middle click isn't reliable. One of the, we, we went through this already, but basically, like I have a problem with the middle click doing its job. Hmm. We can always give the controller a try. Uh, what's the parry button on the controller? Parry button on the controller is left trigger. Left trigger. Dodge is A. B is cancel. Where's attack? Attack is X. Dodge is A and attack is X. soon. Ah, uh, what? I didn't... No, I don't want to clap! Okay. I pressed the wrong button. I'm doing objectively worse with the controller, and if I had infinite tries, I could certainly get better. But I don't have infinite tries, because once I run out of money, well, I can't repair my equipment anymore. And once I can't repair my equipment anymore, then that's it, so... soon. Oh, come on. Hmm. I'm just having trouble with my middle click and not working. I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, sometimes it parries, and sometimes it won't parry. And I was, like, playing around with this earlier, and it seemed like I was having an issue with, with like, middle-click reliability. Like, sometimes it's working, and sometimes it's not. Like, maybe I need a new mouse. I don't know. I mean, it seems to be okay. Maybe I got some gunk in it or something. I don't know. Cheeto dust. Maybe there's some Cheeto dust in there. I got Cheeto dust in my mic. My my, my mouse.
Try to right click when the mal orange bar is full to do a rune claw attack. Okay. Dive in the wrong direction twice. See how I'm saying live. I forgot about that 14% uh, regenerate HP on parry. I totally forgot that I had that on the sword. I have a. It gives me a regeneration. Um, it's uh, was it 13% health on a successful parry. Let's go repair one more time. I think we got this. Honestly. I fear it's happening again. Maybe they know. The world at your fingertips. Ah, the sin. We can sell these two recipes that we got that we don't need. We'll sell these fish for right now, too, since we don't actually have a... Uh, a recipe to actually use them. May your will be a good day to you. Let me see if I can um, upgrade Hello, any friend. of my armor too while I'm at it. Mm, I can upgrade my pants. My pants are pretty good. I got pretty good pants. I can also upgrade my gloves, my mesh gloves. Oh no, I can't. Those require copper. Let's upgrade my pants. Why not? Look at that. Fancy pants. I got fancy pants, guys. Fancy pants. What's next? I've scoured the realm without exploring. Uh, where's that other lady? It was like Mill Millie Bastards always nibble and never bite These two up here. There was some sort of thing that you could do to a weapon where you could like put a I'll gem in it or enchant it or something. I felt the aura. Um Sacrament and door. I have a gem. Oh, sure life and death. Can I enchant? Can I enchant my pants? 
costs one silver to enchant my pants. I don't have a, I don't have that kind of do jank. Let me go um, grab that gem that I have and see if I can put that into my weapon. What's up, yeah? I just want to see what it does. I'm so close to beating this guy. A little bit of, little bit of extra damage will probably help out a ton. Is it true the Risen have taken the old fortress? They need to do something about this terrible cursor. That's one thing they need to work on. I realized the sun was going down. I'm losing my green screen because the sun's been disappearing. Hello? You gonna, you gonna work for me or no? Come on. Don't give me a hard time. There we go. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the middle click parry, but uh, not much I can do about it. Also, my middle click seems to be malfunctioning, so it's totally not helping things. But, I mean, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm working it. Let's grab this leather armor instead that has halfway decent armor value. I guess we could try that. Um, I could also grab some of these herbs and make myself some... Uh, some mushroom soups, which I could use to keep myself healed during the fight. Wouldn't exactly be a terrible idea. And can we wear this armor without going over? Take off the hat? No, we're still in the heavy range. It's only five, like, it's not that bad. What's our total armor value without the, uh, we're at 93 without the gloves or the hat. So I guess technically this is better, this is a better setup than the gloves and the hat and no armor. Um, oh, can we look at this cooking fire right here? Yeah, okay, good. Alright, let's go make some mushroom soups real quick. Alright, with 15 mushroom soups, a little bit higher armor. We forgot the gem. Came all the way down here for one thing. That's my ADHD at, at work, guys. My ADHD at work. I came down here for one thing, which was to get the gym. I didn't get the gym. Because why? You know, don't get the gym. That's not that's not important. Why why why? Why would you do that? Don't even don't you came down here for a specific purpose. Of course you're not gonna do the specific purpose you came down here for. Because that's how it works. Anybody else hate the healing and durability on this game? I mean, it's early access. They got time to balance things. Is it true? There is I mean, the, the durability is eating up my money like crazy, I tell you what. But that's just because I suck and I'm dying a lot. Maybe if I stop sucking and I stop dying a lot, I'd be all right. Yes, I am wearing chainmail og croc, and I made it myself. Sir. Like to see can stab myself with a fork. Actually, in retrospect, fork probably not the best choice, but I didn't feel it, so I guess it was still alright. Let me use the backside of the fork. Ha ha ha, see? I feel nothing. Nothing. 
Why cut and slice when you can burn? I felt the aura. Okay, infuse. So what do these even do? I don't know. Gain 1 to 3% stamina, stamina on damage dealt. Extra electric damage. A pair of ratty trousers. Uh, okay, I like, so yeah, okay. 4 to 15% increased stamina regeneration. Electrical resistance. All right, stamina regeneration sounds nice. Oh, I need one silver to do this. Hold Life on. And death. Okay, we're going to have to sell some stuff so we can get up to one silver so we can actually infuse this. Uh, what can we sell? What can we sell? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much do we need? We don't even need that much, do we? We don't have anything Bumba. worth any money, really. I guess the weapon shards are like, okay. The chipped emerald is worth money. Of course. How about these stupid potions that I never use? It says, increases your stamina by 10 for 60 seconds. You know what? I don't really ever use these anyway. I figure I feel like I'm going to keep getting them all the time, too, so. Greetings, Wolf. Alright, infuse. So do I want the extra damage on my weapon? Do I want the extra 4 to 15% electrical damage? Or do I want to get the additional stamina? Because I can only afford one right now. I feel like a little extra damage would certainly be nice. Let's go. I wish I could do the stamina too. So that gives me 12% electric damage. I got 9% heat damage. So now I've got an additional fire and heat damage at the same time. That should be that should be spicy. I'll burn them and electrocute them. Burn, 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 going to burn, burn, burn. Wait, isn't there a quest for this guy? Like, let me let me just make sure real quick before I like waste my effort killing this guy and then don't get credit. Isn't there actually a quest for this guy? Um. I thought there was. I thought there was a quest for this guy. I guess not. Oh, he wants my ten mushroom soups. No, no, no. I just I just made those for the fight. He's gonna pay me though, one silver and twenty five copper for my ten for my 10 cause of soups though. Oh man. Oh, 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 okay. Um I don't how do I do this? Like can I do this or no? What the hell just happened? Did it work? Did I get the money? No, I didn't. Where did it go? Why kill men for free when you can be paid? To no, do don't eat the do it for God. I think I accidentally abandoned the challenge. That's what happened. Okay, never mind. Moving on. Always keep your food, bro. Broski. All right, we got lightning damage. We got mushroom soups. We're ready to go. We're ret to go. Ret to go, boys. How you did that, but whatever.
Oh, you got me. Hate your little long range attack. Your mom's a bird. How about that? And you look like a turd. Mama's a hoe and you look like a turd, look like a turd, look like a turd. Your mama's a hoe and you look like a turd, my fair lady. Mama's a hoe and you look like a turd, look like a turd, look like a turd. Your mama's a hoe and you look like a turd, my fair lady. You're fighting for a dead man. I was just kicking your butt. Ellsworth can't protect Sacrament. He can't protect anyone. Oh, you do? You rank? You pussy. Where did you go? Where's my loot? I did all that and you ain't give me some loot. All that and you ain't give me no loot. That's some bull crap. That's some straight up bull, bull crap. Okay, well we gotta go talk to to Winnick and Sacraments. Right, let's go talk to Winnick. Oh look, there's a bunch of dojanks all over the place. Everything respawned, I guess, because I went back to town or something. I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pick it all up, though. Money. Money, money, money. Money. Oh, not everything respawned. Some some things respond. Is there fishes there? I still got fishes. Is there fishes? Fishes. Go check and see if some of them mushrooms grew back too up here. There should be like a whole bunch of mushrooms around the corner. Man, where the hell does that ladder go? Oh, this is that one of them ones you gotta kick. And it goes down. Yeah, there's a chest down here too. What you got? What you got for me? Some Oh, this chest is back too. Look at that. Huh. Oh, we got knaves too. Got a bunch of doojanks in there. All right. All right. Mushrooms. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there's some there's some doojanks down here too. And there's some doojanks right here. All right, we need to go rescue the um, the innkeeper's husband. God knows she ain't gonna go get him. Back through the poo water. Poo water. Trying to dodge away and it wouldn't let me dodge. Freaking punk. <laughs> oh, we ain't playing this game, son. Oh, we ain't playing this game. I'm coming for them cheeks. 
I'm coming for them cheeks, son, hun. Gonna hit you with the big sword buns. Oops. You got some crazy stamina though, don't you? Like, holy crap, he just keeps attacking and attacking and attacking. He'll do like five or six attacks before he stops. Rancid meat jerky. Let's see if we can find the husband. He's apparently around here somewhere. See if we can rescue him, bring him back to town. Far from home, I hit the wrong button to parry. Oh, there's an archer too. That makes things nasty. Oh my god, this archer is so annoying. He's gonna kill me. God dang, he does so much damage too. Nothing, did you? No. Freaking turd. Turd. Oh, some fish out here? Okay. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, can't you see? You just need to get in my pocket with me. Oh, oh fishy, fishy, fishy. Can't you see? Got some horseshoe crab meat. Mm. Stop digging the thing, there's monsters trying to kill me. Some sort of knife? Your armor didn't do you very good, did it? 
A single purpose one handed weapon? What? A one handed knife. A well crafted dagger is the greater leveler. It slides equally into the bellies of drunks and backs of kings. Oh, okay. Cute. There's an archer up here somewhere. How am I supposed to get to you? supposed to get to this guy. He's blocking that digging point, too. Oh, there we go. There's a tree up here. Right. Time to get murdered on my way across the tree. Jesus, he just freaking like ripped me to shreds. Oh yeah, in the back of your head. A small experience potion? What the hell? Instantly gain 50 experience. Okay. And I love it. Full on materials. Mm. I need that wood. We can discard the apple. Or I can eat it. One or the other. Doesn't matter. Actually need as much wood as I can get for these upgrade quests. And there's a ton of them. Honestly, I'm hooked. We might be playing this for a little while. I hate to tell you guys who want to see me play Diablo every single day, but, uh, but I think I think this one's going to take over for a little bit, at least until we beat it. I can uh, I can already feel like I'm getting addicted. I'm addicted to this game. I can already tell you. I'm addicted. Addicted. Oh, there's no more pants under there. There was pants under there last time. Oh, what's this over here? Leather. Can we cut down this tree? Can't cut down this tree. I wonder how far the early access goes. I'm kind of curious. Like how far? How far does this go? Like, are we talking? Is this like a full featured game with just that needs tweaks, or are we talking like? You know, is this like missing the end game so we're not going to be able to get the full experience? Well, hello, Axe Boy. Come on. Mm -hmm. Once I learned how to fight you, I don't care about you no more. Ain't that impressive. Focus. 
rancid meat jerky. Hmm. Wretched archer gloves. Eight, but they are only one. They're only one doojank. Well, I wonder if I can wear this. Oh, wait, no, they're both they're both the same, aren't they? Oh yeah, they are. Well, the knave's tunic is worth more, so I guess from an economic perspective, I could probably utilize the item that's worth more. Blood-rusted sword. Well, blood is wet, and um, blood has also iron in it. So, uh, when you expose steel to blood, and you leave the blood on the iron, it does rust in a very peculiar way. A little different than regular rust. I've seen blood rusted iron. It's a, it's a little different. There's another bad guy over there I was kind of just like exploring. There's obviously a lot of stuff to explore in here, so. Oh yeah, hold on, before I get into that. Uh, there was a diggy spot over here that I couldn't get to because the archer was blocking me. I couldn't do it because he was blocking me. See what a little block and punk. Grim mm, radish roots. Copper ore. I forgot to pick that up when I mined it because I'm an idiot. Any more copper ore? I seem to be missing the copper ores. I walk right by them. They almost like blend into the background. Oh, I just don't see them. Yeah, that's right. There was something behind the waterfall. Okay, that didn't respawn. So not not everything respawns, but some things do. Oh, like right there next to the beach. I was right there next to the beach. I wasn't that far away. I was right there. Drown two feet from the beach. Two feet from the beach, two feet from the beach, drowning at the beach, oh, drowning at the beach. Just couldn't make it. Just couldn't make it two more feet. I just could not make it two more feet. Oh, there's a tree here. I need the wood anyway. Hmm. Another tree up here. I mean, uh, I, if I had to describe this to somebody, that's how I would describe it, Rasmus. I would describe it as a souls like ARPG. It's 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 very souls like. I think it's a good thing. 
I think uh, I think incorporating some of the souls like mechanics in this makes it very fun. so confused. Coal is not exactly like the most ridiculously like beautiful thing in the first place. What does it matter if my coal has chips on it? Like am I am I displaying this coal in a in a coal museum? <laughs> I mean seriously though like it's chipped. Oh no, my coal is chipped. Oh man. Oh man, that's terrible. I can't use this coal. This coal, <laughs> this coal won't burn. It's chipped. Don't you see? Don't you see? It's chipped. I can't use this coal. It's chipped. Chipped coal. <laughs> I asked you to bring me coal. I didn't ask you to bring me chipped coal. Why would you do this? That's not what I asked for. Terrible. It's terrible. Let me take a quick, tr quick trip back. I'm gonna drop off some of these resources I've been gathering, and then uh, uh repair because my one of my tools is about to break apparently. We could also drop off the materials I think for another one of these upgrades. Uh, I think the uh, workbench should be done by now, right? We get the workbench on the way? Wait, wait. Oh, no. I thought it was a loading screen. That's not a loading screen. What happened to my game? I crashed? That tank crashed straight to desktop, and I didn't even notice because my loading screen was the loading screen for the game. I was like, wait a minute. Something doesn't look right. I might have to change my wallpaper. Stealth crashed a desktop mode. From Last Whisper. Okay. Yeah, eight hours for my first crash to death time. That's not bad at all. Oh, I didn't even lose that much progress. It loaded me back right here where I was digging up this, uh, this thing. Holy Jesus. Nail-laden club. Six damage. It's pretty bad damage-wise. Uh, deals 11 cold damage on parry. Gain 4% focus on kill. Item's weight has been decreased by 15%. Crushing flurry. Interesting. I mean, it could be upgraded, right? Nail laid in the club. Either that or we can sell it. One or the other. I think it's also pretty good that the first crash happened in an, uh, a spot where it didn't really matter all that much either. It's kind of uh, odd to say it like that, but... I mean, if you really think about it, that crash happened in a very simple spot. Grab all 
this loot while I'm here. It looks like we also got some of the NPCs are back. I only came over here to grab the loot because I knew there were mushrooms and stuff up here. But... Oh, <laughs> those punk bastards. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mean. You'll burn alive. Like you anyway. Oh, fishing rod. A pine fishing rod? Is that better than the one I got? Oh, mine's almost broken. Can always just equip the non broken one. I'm pretty sure there's like 8,000 mushrooms up here. I wanted to go grab the mushrooms before I went back. Perry. Come on. Why can't I parry his attacks? Like, what's going on? It's weird. They're just not... Oh, you can climb up the ladder, too. Okay. Well, I was climbing up the ladder, so you're going to have to climb back up the ladder. back there. I'll take some fish. Sword's bigger than my body? Good. Good. And what's up, princess? Princess La Vida. all these do jigs. Everything respawned. I want it all. Oh, okay. My shovel might break. Shoe crab down there, too. And this place is swimming and stuff. Why is there health bars over top of the fish? Start farming up all these mats. As much of this stuff as I can. Ah. 
more copper here. I need like a trillion copper. So let's grab all that. Give me my fish, fish, fish. Oh, give me my fish, fish, fish. Oh, I need my fish, fish, fish. Oh, I can't even fit that eel in my inventory, can I? Oh, well, it's in there anyway, isn't it? Huh. Alright, let's take a quick look over there at the fairy... The fairy area. Or the, the fairy ring zone over here. Materials here too. Oh yeah, like the fairy rings back. Nice. Oh, we ain't got enough room in our inventory for more mushrooms. We need more mushroom inventory. We need more inventory space. Um, I guess the jute garment can probably go. With we can buy these. We can buy jute garments at the shop. So, like, that's. I think that's okay. We'll be all right. We get more mushrooms. Oh, trees back too. I'm interested to see what happens when we get like the workshop and uh, and some of the other upgrades running because it feels like once we get the upgrades running, the, the whole game is going to start coming together. We're going to be able to start crafting materials. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot more going on. Uh, nail aid and club, some more blade oil. Definitely stuff to sell me for, for money. Let's head over the, the little rainbow bridge over here. Oh god, that was not... No, that was... Holy Jesus! <laughs> he just jumped off the cliff! <laughs> oh man, he re he really went for it too. He did one of his big attacks off the cliff too. He won't even just play him. <laughs> that was not what I meant to do. That was not that was not it. What I meant to do. That was not the thing. That was not it. Mm -mm. Maybe they know. Everything is your price. Good day to you. Poor guy. Alright, sell the sold. Uh, we don't need the knife. Uh, sell the knife. Sell the club. Um, sell the wretched archer gloves. Sell the wielding gloves. The thieving deeter mitts. Uh, the old fine fishing rod. We don't need that. Um, these are both the same armor value and the same weight, so I can sell this one. It doesn't matter. Uh, I can't wear the heavy one, like, no matter Sarah? how much I try, but I kind of want to hang on to it anyway. Uh, so let's... Uh, I don't know if I want to use this one or not. It's worth 33. Mm -hmm. Let's go sell the fish, too, because I don't have any recipe for the fish yet. Sell the eel. Sell the garp. I got horseshoe crab meat. I can use that for uh, cooking. <laughs> the fall death counter. I mean, you're not even wrong. Like, you're not even wrong. You're not even wrong. We got another chip topaz. We could put some more lightning on our blade. Uh, 
Uh, I think I need to go... Let's go find What's-His-Face, and let's go turn in the materials that we have. Wood, etc. Oh, yeah, I forgot to repair. I forgot to repair. Hold on. Hello, old friend. May your will be half as strong as my work. Be healed. Alright, Danos. Time to accept. Alright, that needs spruce wood. Okay, a Fillmore Smithy. We're gonna do this one. Uh, contribute all. Submit. So we're one shy on the wood. Unfortunate. Let's go take a look at the, uh, we need one more wood. Let's go take a look at the, the workshop. Supposedly he completed the workshop. <coughs> Don't try to wear an old fit for the fire. Hmm. Where's my workshop at? Is this it? No. Make the world Always go weapon. with the grain, young one. Sawmill? Okay. I mean, where did it go? Like, where did it go? Blacksmith. We need to go turn in this quest, too. I forgot about that. Let's go do this. Um, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay. I fear it's happening again. Like the Norse and the Vikings? I don't know. I just did my haircut how like my girlfriend said she wanted it. And I did it because of her. She said she wanted it. So I did it the way she wanted me to do it. It looks cool. I you trust her don't instincts. Understand. Derek's a mad dog, but he's no fool. Why would he draw your men to Orbin Glades and then flee? Because and why should I trust anything you have to say about the reason? Some of us join the Risen to build a better world. And some just to tear down the old one. And some give speeches from behind bars. Uh-huh. Serum, you have my thanks. Not many square off against Darek and return holding their head high. Oh, with a head at all. I pray Darek crawled under a rock somewhere to lick his wounds, but... Don't defend a city on prayers. Perhaps it's worth considering Odessa's warning. I've, I've known her since she was a babe, but I'm not sure I know who's in that cell. Mm -hmm. You. <sighs> Again. God, I'd rather sing in the town square than say this, but maybe you can help me. No. Darek's always harbored a deep hatred of my father. I never imagined he could move against Sacrament itself, but he wouldn't share his schemes with me. The people here may be blind or broken. Under the mainland's boot for so long, they mistake it for protection. But that doesn't mean they deserve to die. Winnick said his men captured some of Darek's faithful after the battle. You should see if any of them can tell you more. Mm-hmm. Winnick's face off. Uh, 
Oh, they should be down here in the prison area, right? Listen, this is all a mistake. Oh, sniffing about for the governor's daughter. <laughs> Whose side is she on anyway? Not that it matters. She's right, you know. The real attack is yet to come. Dadak's moving on the city itself. But there may still be time to stop him. Dadak left me to die. Least I can do is return the favor. Tell me, friend, do you want to be a hero? Of course you do. Everyone does. <laughs> Spring me from this cage, and I'll make you sacrament savior. These guards couldn't keep a snare locked up in its own shell. You poke around. You'll find the key. Uh. Uh. Where's that miserable runt wandered off to? He's supposed to relieve me. We've got a date with Elga tonight. Who? Gerard. He was dripping pissed. I told him to go dunk his head in the fountain. Well, that's all right for some people, getting drunk on the job. But that turnip's got the damn keys. So, to the fountain we go. To the fountain. <coughs> Where was the fountain at? It was like over... It was near the water. Can't remember where the fountain was. Serum Crucible. That's the fountain right there. Okay, so we'll shellfish down through here. Right. Over this way. Hey, look, it's a drunkie. Wagon cell key. Drunky, drunky. Look at him, he's drunky, drunky, drunky. Wouldn't it be uncomfortable to sleep in your armor? Like, full suited up, like just laying on the ground? Your armor wouldn't, like, dig into your sides and stuff while you're trying to lay down? You're the one in the cage. Thank you kindly. Now, what was it I promised in return? <laughs> ah, yes. The problem with you holier-than-thou types is you never look down. It's the sewers, piles and piles of them, under your feet. The risen in the outskirts are just a diversion. Dadak's men are gonna pour into sacrament like stinking shit. I'll slip out when the guards rotate. Meet me at the sewer drain, down on the coast. Maybe you still have time to stop them. Maybe not. Okay. He said the sewer drain down on the coast. Wait, what? Wouldn't he mean the sewer chest the drain right here? Because there's a sewer drain in the city. I guess he doesn't mean the sewer drain in the city. Okay. A true city small at every Looks like it's right down there. Ow. Is that chest refreshed already? Man, just going back to town and coming back. Like, the chests will refresh themselves real quick. That's crazy. This one up here refreshed too? No. Alright, so there's a limit. Into the poo water where you can meet your fellow poo. There you are. Your kingdom awaits within. And all the rot that comes with it.
water. Now we scrag me and you. If you find Danak, tell him Ratigan sends his love. Poo water, poo water, let's go in the poo water. Poo water, poo water. Oh, did I forget to empty resources? Well, I do have several spots now. I did forget to craft, though. I need to craft. <coughs> Next time I come across the campfire, let's craft up a bunch. Scrooms. Scrooms. In the sewers. Where everything smells like poo in the sewers. There's a campfire right here that I could potentially cook at, but... Plenty of food now, though. I have not found a unique yet, although there are uniques in the game. I think those were leeches. Looks like a person with a leech on his head and three leeches coming out of his chest. Did he just like un unlatched from the head to look around? That was creepy. That was really creepy. Oh god, no! What? Why? Why? They didn't want to jump. Get janky jumping system. Janky jumping, janky jumping, J J J J janky jump. That's what they call the janky jump. It was that boy. <laughs> he janky jumped. The 
janky jump, janky jump, radioactive janky jump. Let's see if the stories are true. Yeah, they're true. My wiener is large. That's the that's the story, and it's true. Why was this like hidden? Screamer's bone helmet. All resistances increased by 21. Indestructible. Reflects damage 2%. Damage taken increased by 20%. I mean, all resistance is 21 is nice. Uh, reflex damage is, is okay, I guess. Um, it's indestructible, which means it doesn't break, which is also kind of nice, I guess. Um, I can't wear it. It's oh, it requires level 11 anyway, so I can't even put it on. Should never come down here. Never. Listen to Tarek. You gotta believe me. I didn't throw in with the risen to burn down sacrament. And not to <coughs> Please kill me. I don't want to end up like them. Please help me. Please shut up. Never. <laughs> I need the sewer level hander. <laughs> no. That's right, janky jump, janky jump, radioactive janky jump. Does whatever a janky jump does, cause that's what a janky Shit. jump does. Never come down here. Janky jump. Never janky jump. How easy it is for them to interrupt my attack. Oh, he freaking he perfect he perfect parried me. God, his little rapier is so fast. He's Alright, but dang, jeez, alright, I get it. Alright, you got a fast weapon and it's and I get it. I get it. Never come down here. <laughs> Frickin' perfect parried me again.
Why is there items that are appearing on the ground that aren't showing up? Like, I'm walking by them sometimes, and then I'll, I'll be able to pick them up, but they're not there. Like, I can't see that they're there. Any kind of meat that I get down here is really worth it. Hey. what I always want. Delicious rat meat. Who wants beef or turkey on their tacos? You, you just get rat meat. That's, that's how you do it. Stuck, stuck, stuck. <laughs> no, evil rats. They're so fast. I haven't really given the controller an honest chance, to be perfectly honest. Like, I just, I don't, I haven't really given it a good chance. I've been playing with the, the keyboard and mouse for the most part. Not this, right? I didn't throw it. That's the lever handle. Did we get across on that pipe? Those pipes were right there? Or... Probably not. Right? Yeah, that was enough. So where does this, where do we go from here then? I don't know. Um, we can't get across there. We can, that doesn't matter. Is this a door right here? Kind of looks like this is a door. Ooh, stop sidling.
sure how to get up there. Okay, there we go. Progress. Hello, it's me. Don't you recognize me? Wait! Wow. Oh, he did. Oh, he's super dead. You don't get much better than that. That's, that's, that's mega dead. That's on the high end of dead. not alive anymore all the things came out of him and he's I guess he's okay now this purple thing poison Whew. okay that's a lot of goop goop and guts guts and goop Yeah, that's what I wanted you to do, buddy. I wanted you to jump off the bridge to your death. That's what I wanted you to do, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was it. That was the that was the strategy I was hoping for. That was it. <laughs> you, you you nailed it. 
<laughs> you nailed it, my friend. You nailed it. I can't believe you did such a good job on that. That was amazing. I'm so impressed. Holy Jesus, he almost one shot me. Oh, that's right. I was pretty low on HP before he tapped me, so... My pants is broken. Oh no, not my pants. <laughs> Dude, those rats are brutal. They're freaking brutal. They're so quick. They're so they attack so freaking fast. They're freaking brutal as all get out. I kind of feel like my big two-handed weapons is not really good for them because they attack so quickly. It's hard to it's hard to get in there and stick and move. Now the farts can resonate. I wish I found a shaka. <clears throat> hey, where's this guy? Oh, 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 okay. So now, nah. an iron pickaxe, a human hand, a grotesque trophy that could be used to craft or upgrade gear. What? A human hand. Put this iron pickaxe in my dojank slot there. Put it in the dojank slot. <laughs> How 
How the hell do I get up there and get that? There's one up there, too. Bring him back to the bridge. You'll never catch me alive, Red Man. Ah, oh, I died. Your mom's a rat. Your dad's a rat. And your granny's a rat. And your grandpa's a rat. And your uncle's a rat. And even your dog's a rat. Rat do. Rat do. Alone in the world, in the world, in a little rat do. Rat do. Red dog. Alone in the world, in the world, in a little red dog. Red dog. Red dog. Uh, um, uh, oh, I'm gonna push it around. Um. I think maybe, I don't know if I got the time to run to that, though. That doesn't seem likely. Um. So maybe it's just a path to get between two areas. In which case, I need to get up there. But then, is there a ladder? Did I miss a ladder or something? No. Um. Huh. Yo, mama's up, man. Yo, mama's ugly. I mean, maybe it's a timed event back on and then run up there as fast as I can to uh, to try and get oh okay so yeah it's a time event time event time event chip coal chip coal not as good as regular coal. Chip coal. Oh, chip coal. Not as good as a regular coal. Chip coal. Chip coal. Why in the world would you ever want regular coal? Chip coal. Chip coal. Chip coal. Why do you keep attacking in that door? I think it was auto-targeting on that guy over there. And so it was preventing it from being able to target the monster that was directly behind me. Which made it, ooh, which made it really difficult for me to actually do what I was trying to do. Not a rat. Get out of here, rat. No, 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 no. Run from the rat. Run from the ratty. Run from your brother. Run from your sister. And run from your mother. Leave all the ratties and ratties behind. Because we don't like the ratties. Because they got dirty behinds. Right, die, Mr. Ratty. Nobody like you, Nairways. Uh, 
You weren't cute before you became a torn rat, and you're not cute after you became a torn rat. Ain't nobody like you. mushroom right we want that we also want this nice okay can we get across that's the question there's big old things in my way and I can't see can I get can I get over there to that other side it looks like there's a pipe right there am I wrong could be death. But you know what? Oh, 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 that was not, that was not, that was not correct. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get this one. Whatever that is up there, I'm not sure how to get over there. Always secrets. You know what? Keep your secrets. Ow. Evil Lord. Evil Lord. Leeches? Your mom's an evil little leech. How about that? And your daddy's an evil little And you take after your mama. And she was ugly. Water channel key needed to open this door. Okay. Oh, what are you? What are you? Oh, God. No, no, no. You scary. Why are you so scary? I'm gonna kill your little leech friends first. How about that? Get all your little leech friends. You can have no more friends. All right. I don't know if you wanted them friends, but they did. Alright, just letting you know. Well, I tried to parry every single one of those and failed every single time. That was great. That was uh, a demonstration of uh, what it's like to fail every parry. And uh, don't do that, because that's bad. I know I can get his parries. I just gotta, just gotta hit him at the right time. Yeah, that's, that's the whole key to the parry. That's like the whole thing about the parry. This is the guy that I was fighting before. the one that was in the war room. Yeah, I feel like the unneeded... It, it's, I mean, I, I like their setup a little bit. Don't get me wrong. I like the way they have things set up a little bit. But I would like to customize things a little bit. Including to changing the parry button. 
off of middle click would be really nice. I don't particularly like the parry button being on middle click. I'd, I'd much prefer it to be somewhere else. And I feel like it gets me into trouble a lot because I gotta move my finger between the click and the middle click a lot, which causes problems. And then my middle click isn't working all the time, which seems to also be an issue. Warriors only. Hello, old friend. I can upgrade my pants again. My pants. I don't think that's a good use of my money right now. Um, instead, what I could probably do is throw another enchantment up or uh, infuse another gem. Um, I could infuse my pants with a sapphire, I mean, uh, 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 emerald, which gives me stamina regeneration, which wouldn't be terrible. Stamina regeneration increased by 5%. Armor increased by 6 to 20%. Hmm. How about an enchantment? Let's put an enchantment on them. How about that? Mm. What did we get? Healing effects increased by 30%. Items and durability was increased by 9%. Poise defense increased by 12%. And stamina regeneration increased by 11%. Oh, nice. Eyes up. That's a pretty nice little dude, Jenks. It's not bad at all. I felt the. Let's uh, can we sell some stuff? What do we get to sell? I mean, honestly, we could sell the meats and stuff, or we could. Uh, we're getting like a thousand meat down there. Uh, let's sell some of the mushrooms just because. Get those out of our inventory. I'm not sure we're ever going to use this nail laden club, so let's sell this to. You know what? Let's enchant the um, the knave's tunic. Electric resistance 14. Items weight has been decreased by 24%. Does that mean we can actually put on a helmet now? Greetings, Wari. I think I'm gonna sell this helmet too. Let me see if I can actually put on a helmet now. That sounds kind of interesting. What? I think I might. Uh, I think I might have enough weight requirement to put on a helm. You look like the adventuring type. You done it. I really want to try out a spear, to be honest. So, like, eventually, if I do find a good spear or manage to craft a good spear, true? I might want to play there around with that. Taking the old fortress. Or a halberd. You get a halberd. That'd be nice too. Helmet. Um, let's see here. Do we we don't have that helmet anymore. It must have broken. Cause it's not in my inventory either. I don't think I sold it. I guess we could always purchase one. I doubt the uh, the wilding helmet will work because it's probably too heavy. things up.
keep the stuff with me that I need. So I stop running out of space all the time. I don't think I can wear this helmet without going over the, the weight cap. Yeah, not quite. I can always enchant it and see if it gets a weight reduction. Is it true? The Risen have taken the old fortress. I got no gloves on, right? I got no gloves and no helmet. Maybe we do a pair of gloves instead. See if the armorsmith has a pair of gloves for sale. You look like the adventuring type. Get any of our quest done, Captain Maybe Randolph? Maybe it's a path of order. Ingots for sale. Ah, the sick. Sacrament and door. Good day to you. Oh, I need the weapon shard. Which, uh, okay, so it doesn't count the items that are in my stash. That sucks. That sucks. Alright, well then we need a... Uh, I want to go all the way back up there. They should definitely let items count from inside your stash. That's that's a little weird. I mean, forcing you to have to, you know, choose what you take back to town, that's one thing. But, like... Making it so that you have to carry everything on you all the time to do any kind of upgrades or crafting, that's a little annoying. Because that's basically what's going on, right? So I gotta have that on me if I want to do the craft, so... Dang it. Dang it. Is it true? There isn't. Dang it. I don't want to slide on the door. Like, what? Can you go in the door, please? Go in the door. Thank you. Oh, wait. Isn't there, like, an easier way to get in here? I'm going all the way up and around. Didn't I literally pay for the stairs to be fixed so I could have the easier way in? And I'm taking the harder way in anyway, even though I've already paid for the easier way. Yeah, let's take... Uh, I only have enough copper ingots for what? One or two upgrades? I got two upgrades? Okay. So I got two weapon shards. Uh, let's just go ahead and sell some of the stuff that I'm not going to use. Like, I don't think I'm going to use that. I don't think I'm going to use these or this or this. Um, I'm probably going to use a shield at some point if I switch to a one-hander. Um, oh, there's the leather helmet. Alright, can I wear the helmet without going over? Can I wear the gloves? Okay. So I can't wear both. Well, the helmet's higher defense, so I'm going to wear the helmet. 
Where does this take me down here? This is what I'm thinking about right here. I paid for this entrance right here, so where does this boot me out at? Okay, okay, alright, I'm an idiot. That's Maybe literally right next to Captain Red Bull. Uh, you, you know what? You're rude. How about that? <gasps> Alright, upgrade. Hello, old friend. Okay. Upgrade the Claymore. Let's go. Now it's at 18. I can upgrade it one more time. Now it's at 22, and it's hit whatever the maximum tier is. Now it requires a wolf claw to upgrade it further. But it does 22 damage now. Only so. as good as his weapon. Noise. Noise. No, oh, I was down here. Alright, let's get back to this fight and let's see if we can kill this bastard. I don't know how to kill this bastard, I really don't. I mean, upgrading my weapon is going to make it so that I need less hits, though. He seems really fast, and honestly, this seems like it's the worst weapon for fighting him because he's so freaking fast. Ching, 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 ching. Kind of feels like I need something that's, sl uh, you know, like a one-handed item for fighting him. Maybe I just can't backstab with this weapon. Because it doesn't seem like I can. Like. I clicked it, nothing happened. Useless. Doesn't seem like he has a back. <laughs> uh, who knows? You might be right. Every single time I press the parry button, nothing happens. I don't... Either I'm hitting the parry button way too late, or you just can't parry those attacks. I don't... I don't know.
Seems like getting in close and dishing out damage that way seems to be the best way with that guy. Just getting in close and kind of spinning around him in circles. The extra damage definitely helped, I'll tell you that much. I mean, obviously, we had a lot more damage this time than we did the previous time, so... here but doesn't seem like it <laughs> got up here but there's nothing up here so I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Bestial power. Yes. Push ups in the muck. Far from home, aren't we? <laughs> well, right, Rosie. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm coming for your booty cheeks. You better get them booty cheeks ready because I'm coming for them. Coming for them booty cheeks. I'm coming for them booty cheeks. Oh, coming for them booty cheeks. Coming for them booty cheeks. You're proud, because I came for the booty cheeks. I got the booty cheeks, and that's how it matters. All the booty cheeks, all the time. <laughs> Thank you. 
the hell is going on over here? I can't, I can't do nothing. There's so many of them. It's like they're multiplying. Are they multiplying? Standard meat chunk. Oh man. What do you guys want to eat tonight? Would you like standard meat chunk? Um I guess. Standard. I mean it sounds standard enough. Definitely sounds standard. Crestfallen knight body armor. Woo! It's 150 armor value, but it's level 11. It's 112 armor better than what I'm currently wearing. It also requires 15 weight. Holy Jesus. I don't think I'm supposed to be here, guys. Like, no really. Like, really. Like, no really. I don't... I don't actually Come think I'm supposed me. to be here. I'll keep you safe. I will. I'll keep you safe. I think I'm in... I think I'm out outclassed at the moment. Is what it is. Like I'm only I'm only a measly level seven. I don't think I'm supposed to be here at all. I want I want more equip load so I can actually put on freaking equipment. Um and then you know what, let's grab another health and another strength. Uh, and maybe I can put on gloves now. Look at this. I can put on gloves. Guys, I can put on gloves. I can, I can put on gloves. I'm so excited I can put on gloves. There's something hidden right here, look. They don't show it, but it's there. Like, I saw it when I was down there, but I couldn't see it when I was up here. Which is silly. Alright, I wanna go down there. Oh, okay, that's, that's empty of water down here. I wanna go down here and fight this evil little monster. Oh, wait. He's looking at me. Jump, quick. Look at me! Oh, he spawned out babies. Hey, babies. Babies, that babies. Get to that babies that are in there. No babies. No babies. What's up, Wade? Honestly, this game is great. I think, uh, I think if you like ARPGs, you're going to love this game. If you like Elden Ring, you're going to love this game. If you like ARPGs and you like Elden Ring, you're definitely going to love the game. And that's like a and that's like a double whammy of of you're gonna like love the game. You're gonna you're gonna double love the game. Baby killer. I mean they're baby leeches or whatever. They were trying to eat my face. Like that's not. He did no no. Ah, oh, he shoots spikies. I like it. He shoot the spikies. Sp ow, ow, ow! Oh, leeches. Leeches everywhere, leeches. So many leech eyes. That's a lot of ladies. All right, now we gotta deal with Mr. Shooty Spiky McGavin over here. You're not gonna explode, are you? Okay. I don't know. I thought maybe he might explode it, but he didn't explode. He didn't explode. I don't know if that means anything, but he didn't explode.
A campfire. Mm. For the cooking of meat. Cooking the meat. Cooking the meat. God, I don't know what we do for none of this stuff, but we got stuff and we're cooking it, yeah. <laughs> one shot you got one shot no chance you did a whoa pulling levers I need a sewer lever handle okay. what's up here Nothing, because it can't go that way. I guess we're going down into the pit. <gasps> Treasure chest. Kick it open. What's inside? Storm flask. Can be hurled for 30 electric damage at a distance. Oh, 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 he got so many hands. He got extra hands, cause he's a, cause he's a leechy guy. That was more hands than I was prepared for. That was a lot. A lot of hands. Call me a baby killer. Can't believe you. Call me a baby killer. Me? What did I who my baby did I kill? <laughs> Those were leeches trying to eat my face, okay? There's a big difference between leeches trying to eat your face and babies. Alright. These leeches, these mean, evil, evil leeches of the of the leech realm. They look, they bite and they and they're mean and they poison you. Bite me. I don't want you to bite me. Don't bite me. Don't bite. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. You came all the way up here and you got freaking wrecked and you chased me and you thought you had something but you didn't cause you dead and your mama's a hoe and that's all I got to say yo. Can't believe you're such a punk. Such a punk. Don't be a punk head. Okay, what's down here? Besides some rats and, and leeches. Oh, there's a save do jank up there. Okay, I can see it calling to me. Okay. Ooh, what's that? <coughs> That's one of the big leech things. Treasure chest. 
One of them big leaves. Thanks. Oh, what's the matter? You guys can't climb? You guys can't climb? Uh, how about that? Uh, uh, uh. Coming at you hot. Uh. Gonna hit you with that big old rock. Ain't that gonna get? Uh. Gonna hit you with everything we got. And uh, mm, jang, go uh, on. Uh. Gonna hit you with the big bang, jang, ang a lang. Gonna hit you with the bang. Bang, jang, ang a lang. Gonna hit you with the bang a lang. Get the bang, get the lang. Oh, oh, oh. You think you're so cute. That's right. Oh, oh, more babies. More babies. There's so many babies. <laughs> Y'all can't climb the rock face. Y'all can't climb the rock face. Oh my god, there's so many babies, it's ridiculous. Why are there so many? There's so many babies, it's freaking ridiculous. So many babies. Gimme all this loot. I want it. Gimme. Gimme. Raccoon balls. Grubby rap raccoon paws. Did you get that sword as your first weapon? Um, no. You don't get any sword, any any weapon when you start. You get you get bare knuckle brawling, and you get to beat the crap out of people with your bare knuckles, and it's great. I didn't find this till later. Rude, rude! You stopped me off the platform. Why? Wow. Came up here to say hello to you. You are a very inhospitable guest. You are a very inhospitable. I do not like you. Sam, I am. I do not like you. Green eggs and ham. You stupid little daikini babies. Oh, there's a treasure chest down there. Your stupid little daikini. Alright. A thousand internet points, whoever can tell me where daikini comes from. You get a thousand internet points. They're made up and they don't matter, but you still get them. Okay? You still get them. Okay, credit it to your, your internet point account. A human hand. You big fat daikini! Extra points if you can tell me who said it in the movie. Ah, Irene wins. But who said it in the movie? I'll give you the exact line. He said, get your hands off of that, you big fat daikini. You don't have to know his name because I don't even think his name. I don't even. Th I don't even think I know his name. You just have to tell me what character it was. Bilbo Baggins. No, uh, no, uh, Val Kim Val Kilmer. Er, er, Val Kilmer is the Daikini, I think. I don't even remember. No, it was the brownie. The brownie said it. The little, the little tiny little little brownie thing. The little. I don't even know what you call them. They're not fairies, but they're the size of fairies. <laughs> the hell, why can't I get up there now all of a sudden? I'm just incapable of getting up there now? It's terrible. Can you let me up here, please? There we go. Frost flask, medium vial of focus. Okay. <gasps> oh, they 
came down my stairs. Basic hide, or I've got me. Ooh, iron ore. Nice. Some more monies. Ah, oh, there's a chest over there, all shiny and, and beautiful. How do I get to that? Scale oil. When applied to your weapon, attacks deal additional cold damage. <laughs> yes, this is the way we like it. Can I go across this? Like you could totally go across that. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I was. I'm bamboozled. I got bamboozled there. Why wouldn't I be able to walk across that? I should be able to walk across that. Right? 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 right. I guess not. There's totally a. Oh dang it! I didn't mean to jump down. There's totally a chest over here, too. Like, Okay, there might be another way up. It looks like there's another way up. Okay, well, I, I guess that's not the only way to get to that chest, so... I suppose there are other ways. <laughs> other methods, perhaps. I think the camera zooms out so you can see where things are. I think that's what it is. So, like, they kind of give you a hint where things are. Like, the camera will kind of zoom out and you kind of see where the thing is so that you know, like, what's there. And then and you come back later and you, and you mess with it. Hey, we got the sewer level handle. Lever handle. Yay, we did it. 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 Man, that's my dad coming out of me right there. Diddly diddly do. What the hell, Daniel? Diddly diddly do. Aaron, we can still go back to Aaron. It's not too late. What the hell's wrong with you, diddly diddly do? Freaking it. Diddly diddly do, guys. That's right. Back. Oh, oh, you got babies. Babies. No, you never had a baby. Your mama's a baby. Your daddy's a baby. You little look a baby. Too many babies. Okay, that's blocked off. Your mama's a baby. Your daddy's a baby. Your greasy granny's a baby. What about second breakfast? The Lord of the Rings vibes. The, uh, you guys are talking about second breakfast. You guys remember the scene where he's like, Legolas is like, ah, Limbus bread. Limbus, one, one small bite will feed a grown man for five days or something. And, uh, and Pippin and Mary are there and they're like, how many have you had? I've had four. <laughs> I've had five. And then one of them farts. <laughs> it's great. Oh, 
Okay, we've got the key. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, is that what I meant to do there? Ah, 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 ah. Get, get up there. Stop being a turd. And drink it. Eat a potion or something. Okay, we got to get over here to this. This is going to take some effort, but we've got time. All right, so we got to jump this. We got to run over here. We got to pull this out. Okay, then we got to run the play. Then we got to jump to this. Then we got to go over here. And we got to run over here to this. And oh, oh, come on. Oh, no! Bull crap! You know what? Your mama's a hoe. How about that? You got a hoe for a mama. That's all. That's all that is. That's all that means. And that's all that is. And that's all that ever was. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a oh, there's a big guy over here. No, no, he's, oh, he's gonna knock me down. No, 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 no. Back up. Stop trying to knock me down. I only just got up here. No. Corrosive bomb, weapon shards. All right. <laughs> you can sit right back down on the floor where you belong. Cause ain't nobody care that you're wearing a green thong. Cause we don't care. That's a glitch right there. Look at that. I'm able to see outside the game world. The camera's looking outside the game world there. <laughs> Oops. No, I'm out of inventory space for my resources. Alright, what do I got in here? Why are these not um, stacked? 4 and 7, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean, I guess... Let me use one. But then they should be stacked, right? Like, how do I... Sort? No, that's not helping. Hmm. This do nothing for me. This do nothing, sir. What is this? Oh, it's a fish. Okay. Oh, look at all those monsters down there. Look at all the monsters down there. Ah, you fell off. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. leeches everywhere, leeches, leeches. Leeches everywhere, leeches, oh god, so many leeches. No, they're gonna poison me to death, I'm gonna die. Oh no, eat a pie, eat, eat some, eat some. Oh god, oh god, oh god, you're gonna die from poison. No, no. Aw, oh, dang it, I fell down. I gotta go back up again. Can I make any foods? I can make one. The two-handed sword is neat. 
Um, I definitely would say that the it seems like a one-hander might be better. I mean, if I had to be, like, honest, because it does feel like the one-hander or two-hander is a little bit slow. And, um, I don't know. I'm going to save these bombs, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, like, as cool as they are, like, and I think they are kind of cool, um, I think I'm just going to utilize them as money, currency. Be my way, I'll sell them for free, for free monies. Three, two, one, let's jam. <laughs> in your turd archer face. You belong to me, Honora. By my side. Don't go. Don't leave me. Oh, babies! Always break the babies! There's so many babies! Nobody likes the stupid babies! Go away! Stupid babies and stupid baby faces and stupid. Look like your mama! How about that? And you look like daddy! And you look like your brother! Just meat from one of the the leeches. I'm not really worried about it. Um, I guess I gotta go back up. I guess there's no choice. I gotta raise the water level, so I don't really have a choice. I gotta I gotta go back up. I mean, it definitely has an ARPG feel to it. Um, you click with the mouse, like, I mean, you attack with the mouse. I mean, it's very much so ARPG-like. But I also talked about this earlier, is that, yes, it it does actually kind of feel a lot like a, um, a Souls game, like an Elden Ring or or Likewise game. I think, uh, I think it has a lot of, like, the modern mechanics that the, the Elden Ring-style game has. Over some of the older ones, like the uh, like Dark Souls One, for instance, it seems more it seems more refined than Dark Souls One, I guess. That's what I'm saying. They have a lot of the um, of the Souls-like stuff in here, and um, and the boss fights are very much so a matter of like learning the mechanics and figuring out how the boss works, and so it's kind of cool. I mean, honestly, I like the combination of like the the ARPG aspects and the, um, the like the Dark Souls aspects at the same time like it's it's a neat combination of of things. I think it works quite nicely. Huh. 
Okay, so we need to go over here. We need to pull this lever. That's gonna raise our water level up. Okay. So now that the water level is raised, we should be able to cross here. Here and kill this punk who's been tormenting us. Yeah, die. Let's stay dead. Punk. Um, Dark Souls would not be considered an ARPG. Because it's a different... I don't really know how to put it. Most ARPGs are... Um, the camera is like far above the player. Looking down at the player. That's how ARPGs are generally set up. Um, ARPGs usually have you know similar systems to other games. Like for instance, Dark Souls definitely has very similar systems to say Diablo 2. In that you put on equipment, you put on weapons, you you know you use specific skills with those weapons. I mean, so I mean, a, to say that this game is more like Dark Souls than it is an, a, an ARPG is kind of a misnomer, since ARPGs have been around since like 2000, and Dark Souls has only been around since like like what like 2007 or something like that. So it would very much be the opposite direction, which is like Dark Souls games have really been copying ARPGs. And, I mean, the camera alone sets it apart from a normal, like, like you know, Skyrim-ish, Dark Souls-ish, Elden Ring style. Because you're not, like, behind the character or, like, first person. You're way above the character. Um, using the mouse to control your character is also very much so an ARPG. Thing. So being able to control your character with the mouse is... It's just it's just kind of like, you know, the direction that your mouse is facing um, uh, determines which way your character is going to be, like, attacking and things like that. That's very much ARPG as well. Like, it still has a large number of AR ARPG elements. And um, it also seems to be incorporating things specifically from the Souls series, which I've already pointed out. But it definitely makes something very interesting. And, I mean, if you like Souls games, you're probably going to like this. If you like ARPGs, you're probably going to like this. Um, and, honestly, if you like both of them, you're probably going to double love this game. That's what I was talking about earlier. The double love. Honestly, I think it's worth uh, I think it's worth buying. It's still in early access though, so it's important to remember that we're probably not going to get the full game as it currently is. I don't know what the full game is, but we're obviously we're not getting the full game right now, so oh, I can't pick up the uh, the armor shard. Too much loot, too much loot. I'm gonna drop the Artisma roots. He got me climbing the ladder, little punk. Ah. I actually kind of like the story so far. Um, I mean, from 
From what I've been able to gather of the story so far, and I'm not really that far in, so I doubt I'm going to be very much of a spoiler for you. Um, the story so far seems to involve a um, island. Uh, at least it seems like an island anyway. Um, and the island is apparently um, used to be a, uh, a grand place. Like when I say grand place, I mean like it used to be like one of the crowning jewels of the empire from what I can understand. And um, it's not a crowning jewel of the empire anymore. And um, there's no real explanation for what happened other than there seems to have been some sort of plague or something. I'm not really quite sure exactly what the what it is. They talk about people being changed by it. Uh, they talk about like, like uh, the, it's called the Torn or something. And like you'll see rats with like their faces that are opening up weird ways and they have like two heads but like a mouth in between the two heads or something like it's crazy looking um you're apparently a special kind of warrior called a a, a seer a seer or something like that and uh basically your whole j job in life is to uh, apparently fight this plague like that's ex apparently what you're for or something um what should I put my points in there? I don't know I think I need some decks but I don't even know what Dex is for, or what Dex does. It's probably one Dex, uh, one her. Hit points go up, strength bonus. So this Claymore is a strength attribute bonus weapon. Okay. So each weapon has different strength uh, attributes, very similarly to, again, Dark Souls. Um, the system, the, the stat system is very similar to Dark Souls as well. We were talking about that. Uh, it's an interesting thing. You know, like the uh, the poise being added into the game. Um, like the weapons having unique weapon sets specific to them. Um, there's a lot of like little things here or there that definitely scream out at you. Um, Uh-oh, I'm going to die. Whew, okay, that was close. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get up anywhere. Um, there's definitely things that, that scream out to you that they're very like similar to Dark Souls. Definitely. Honestly, um, you know how Elden Ring would set you up with these weapons and every weapon had like a unique like set of attacks well basically how they have it set up is there's like you could basically go with like a fully customizable like weapon set um, because the white weapons that you find have four empty slots and you can basically imbue them with other weapons sets of equipment so like you can take the spin off of the blood rusted sword and put it onto like the claymore for instance so you can take the weapon sets, like how the weapons actually attack, and you can you can actually utilize them, um, like in a like a white weapon, and and customize it to exactly the kind of weapon skills that you want. It's it's actually pretty interesting. Oh, he just knocked my booty cheeks right off. How am I supposed to even get up here and fight you? Why don't you attack me? Come on. Come on, hit me. Hit me when I'm in the water. Oh, never mind. I drowned and killed myself. Oh, never mind. I did. I'm not exactly sure what the stats do. Well, I guess we'd have to find out eventually. All my weapons breaking. I gotta get over there fast before he locks me out of the freaking doo jing. Aw, oh, you little punk. Yeah, 
gave me some pants and some rancid meat jerky. Mm, delicious. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chimkins. Kickable ladders. Yeah, kick it, knock that jank down. I bet you that archer's up here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You've been shooting at me all game long. You've been shooting at me all game long. That's how I feel about that. It's rude. Rude. Uh. The rats respawn. been out there for a while because the monsters are starting to respawn at the beginning of the level. Either that or maybe I got far enough away that the monsters started to respawn. Uh, I don't know. I know I killed them last time I was here. Can I cook anything? I cannot. I got some some berries though. Let me, you know, let me eat some stuff. Let me eat, uh, let me eat that. Mm. I can't eat the raw trout, unfortunately. I can't eat the mushrooms, though. Ten health over ten seconds. It's terrible. Water level again? Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Alright. Let's go this way. Alright, we should have the thing for this now. He jumped up in the air, tried to do his little special move, and I ripped him asunder. That poor little boy. That poor unfortunate soul. So sad. So sad. That poor unfortunate soul. So sad. So sad. So sad. That's what you get for ambushing me while I'm checking the chest. I'm assuming that it's probably going to be some way to respec 
but usually in games like this where weapons are very specific and you have to build like stats for those weapons there's usually ways that you can respect your character like i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and just i'll just be out on a limb here and i'll say that, that you can probably respect because the way that they have this system set up if you can't respect that would be pretty stupid that would be pretty stupid it'd be really dumb actually like it'd be it'd be like on the high end of dumbness Um, I want to go over here and see what the hell this guy's all about. Give me your dude, Jax. What's that? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there's a, there's one of the big boys up there. Hold on. Let me eat one of these. Mm. Let me eat one of these. Let me eat one of these. There you go. There you go. All right, let's go. We got this. We got this. We got to hit him with the razzle dazzle! Hit him with the razzle! And hit him with the dazzle! And hit him with the. Oh no, no, no! He's got to... Oh no! Oh, oh, we're so dead! We did not hit him with enough dazzle or razzle. There was not enough razzle dazzle. There was not enough dazzling or razzling. We failed. Are there expos? And I hear that there are ranged weapons, yes. I haven't played around with any of the ranged weapons. Yet. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he knocked me off a of punk. Y'all see that bull crap? Can I backstab you? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna explode! Oh god! Oh, 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 leeches everywhere! Oh, leeches, leeches! Oh. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, wait. Oh, they didn't poison me enough? Ha ha. I have escaped the leech poison. Boar skin leather hat. Hmm. 39 defense. It's way better than what I got. Can't wear it though. I can't wear it. It's too high level. It's level 11. I'm only level like nine or something or eight or nine. I can't do it, Captain. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, the place is huge. Hmm. Nice, nice. A boar tusk. Elegant but deadly can be used to craft an upgrade gear web. Huh. We're going to have to grab that. Um, what can we get rid of? We can get rid of the, uh, human bone. Uh, or, I don't know. Uh, I only got one human bone, and I've got a bunch of human bones already. I don't have any boar tusks. So, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll get rid of the human bone for the boar tusk. We could always take a quick trip back and drop off some of this stuff. I think that's probably a good idea, too. Our equipment's broken. Anyway, what the hell is this down here? Oh, I couldn't get it because it's it's under the water or something. Hold on, hold on. I'll have to tap the E key as fast as I can when I fall. Hopefully that'll that'll allow me to grab it. Screamers, tatters, armor. Screamers, Tatters, leather, leather Body Armor, also level 11. The sum corner of their minds remember civil, civil society, a reflex to wrap their bodies in these putrid rags. Uh, okay. Let's do a quick fast travel back and get our loot in order. You should be excited, Green. You should be. 
This is Why this is promising. Free when you can be paid to do it. Good day to you. Alright. First off, let's just go ahead and repair everything. Warriors only. Hello, old friend. Second, we can sell off some of these older items that I'm not interested in for now. The extra claymore that we got. The wretched archer cap. I don't really... I like the oils, but I don't really want the bombs. We'll throw the bombs. We'll sell the bombs. The bombs are interesting looking, but... I think it's better if I just sell them. These frost scale oils, though, look really interesting. I don't know what the fallen embers are for. Oh, yeah, scrap bombs, sell those, make some more money out of those. Corrosive bombs, sell that too. We got so much meat down there, but we don't have enough of the herb to actually craft what we need, which is unfortunate. All this armor that we can't use because we're not high enough level. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's actually pretty good armor comparatively to what I have on. 70 instead of 32 for the body piece, uh, 39 instead of 19 for the helmet, and 150 instead of 112 for the armor. Nothing sings like steel. Or honestly, that's 112 better than mine, so that's even better. Like, there's just, it's, it's, it's all better. It's just all level 11 gear, which I can't use yet. What level am I? I'm level 9, but I'm still two levels away from that gear. Unless I've got a level that I haven't applied. Nothing sings like steel. Let's put two more in equip load and then pop another in strength. Okay, so I'm level 9. Make the world your weapon. <laughs> Why cut and slot life and death? I enchanted my hat and my gloves. Experience gain 3%, health increased by 11%, poise defense 13%, plague resistance 21. Uh, cold resistance 10, gain a 15% focus on parry. Healing effects increased by 25%. Interesting. Nice. Okay. I think that was worth the money. Let's go take a look and see if we can upgrade anything. Ah, this. Can't upgrade our weapon anymore because that's just out of reach. Um, I believe we have craft leather in our, our house. Let me go put some of this other equipment away that we're not going to use. I'll grab the craft leather while we're up there. Why kill men for free when you can be paid to do it? Put these level 11 pieces up. We might come back to these later once we're higher level. Um, craft leather. What do we got? Do we got craft leather in here? We got basic hides, jute garment, pine wood, craft leather. We do have two craft leather. Okay. Uh, let's put some of this stuff up because we're full. Alright, the Bortus can go, the weapon shards can go. We're not going to upgrade any weapons right now. I still haven't found a use for the Dracania roots or the trout. Uh, the iron ore, the human hand, the searing claws, those can go in there too. Basic hides, searing tails, uh, Dracania herbs, copper, that can go in there as well. A chip sapphire, we might be able to do something with that. I'm not sure what it does, but we can try. Let's use this and upgrade 
So I got the basic. We did put the armor in there, right? Okay. We gotta check so we can do with that chip sapphire too. I'll be able to put that one of the pieces of uh, equipment. I think it's a combo of Diablo and Elder. Maybe it's time you trade in that silly outfit for uniform. Oh yeah, upgrade first, upgrade first. May your will be hello, old friend. Alright, we're gonna upgrade um my knaves breaches. I like the effects that I got. The healing effects, item durability, poise defense, stamina regen. That's quite nice. And that kills off. Right, what do we got left? So I got one craft leather and one armor shard. We Good can upgrade day, one more time. Sarah. Yeah, we can. We can upgrade the hat. Okay, let's upgrade that. Nothing sings like steel. All right. Well, let's see what we can do with this Make sapphire. Uh, improve. Okay, so the only thing we have is a cold sapphire. Uh, I don't know what it does. Probably cold resistance. Yeah, cold resistance, 25%. I'm not sure if that's worth it. We can't put it into the weapon because we, we lost our gem socket. So unfortunately, it's just... It's useless at this particular point. Hmm. What's next? Again. You never played Elden Ring Nightcrawler? Oh man, that's a good one. Maybe it's time you trade in I did a full playthrough of Elden you. Ring on my channel, on Nightcrawler, if you want to check out my uh, my playthrough. It's uh, it's still up there. I mean, I did pretty much everything all the way through from beginning to end. I uh, even did a lot of the, the, hidden, the hidden bosses and whatnot. Millennia is one of the harder bosses and some of the stupider bosses like like uh, Placidus Axe, which uh, honestly he can go suck it. One of the stupidest bosses in the game. That guy is so stupid. He's so stupid. Oh, this can be infused. Can be infused in weapons and armor. Um, craft or upgrade. Do I have any other items that can be infused? This says craft or upgrade. Um, potions and elixirs. Craft or upgrade. Craft consumables. I don't know if I have anything else that can be imbued into it. Oh, oh, this right here. That's right, the chip shield on them can be imbued into weapons and armors. Okay. Let's try these two. Um, did I put the sapphire in there? I did. Okay. I just want to see what these other things do. Maybe we can imbue those into our other pieces of equipment. This is called No Rest for the Wicked Areas. men for free when you can be paid to do it. Mm, that's terrible, Nightcrawl. Well, it gives you plenty of time to catch up on my streams. <laughs> Are you feeling uh, maybe they are. Bastards always nibble and never fight in. And you get paid. You get paid to catch on streams. Warrior's only as good as his weapon. May your life and... Ah, let's see. What do these do? Armor increased and oh, items bad. weight decreased. Ooh, the feather... The feather decreases the weight of an item. Wow. Maybe I should, uh... Do I still have that body piece that was, like, really nice? I could go with, like, a heavy body piece. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna use that on, on something silly. It. Like, that's that's too good. But I'll, uh, I'll use the armor bonus things on what I got right now. These knave doojings. Okay. 
I think I'm gonna wait until I find a really nice, big, thick, beastly, heavy armor plate, and I'll take that. Uh, I'll take that feather, and I'll use that on the beastly armor plate to to reduce the overall um, weight of it. I think that's a pretty good play for that. I'm not gonna waste that on some piece of garbage that I got early on in the game. Why kill men for free when you can be paid to do it? Nope, that's the name of the game. The name of the game is No Rest for the Wicked. Alright, let's put the feather back. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, we've got a bunch of resources. We can put the sturdy hide in here too. We don't need to take that with us. I don't think I have an armor in here that I could upgrade. Well, this one. Yeah, this one. The Crestfallen Knight's Body. That would be really interesting to do. If I put the feather on the Crestfallen's Knight Body, that would bring it down from, uh, what, 15 to... What did it say that it was? Like a 30% reduction in weight? That could make that heavy piece of armor, like, much, much easier to use. We're, we're almost level 11, so once we hit level 11, we'll come back, we'll, we'll put the feather in that. We'll uh, maybe enchant it, and then um, um, we'll try and balance out our equipment so that we can actually wear it without going overweight. Nightcrawler is maidenless? May oh no, Nightcrawler is maidenless. Maidenless. I'm sorry, Nightcrawler. You're maidenless. You've never played Elden Ring, so you have no clue what we're talking about. So this is um, only on PC for now, but it will eventually be released on console. They did say so. Um, it's, uh, what did they say? Um, it's Because it's, it's early access, it's only on PC for right now. But the roadmap is to obviously have the console versions get released as well. Um, and they, they, they kind of did like a roadmap. In the beginning of this stream, I kind of highlighted the roadmap, but... Um, where the hell am I going? Uh, I already got this chest up here, right? This way. Yeah, this is the way that I go. Seeker forsaken, please watch over me. Mother maker, seeker forsaken, please watch over me. Mother... Maker, seeker, forsaken, please watch over me. Mother, maker, seeker, forsaken, please watch over me. Mother, maker, seeker, forsaken, please watch over me. Mother, maker, seek, forsaken, please watch over me. Mother, I'm maker, pretty sure he's stuck. Seeker, Forsaken. Can I let him Please out? Please watch over me. Mother maker. Seeker forsaken. Please watch over me. Mother maker. Seeker forsaken. I can't, I can't free him. I don't me. know. I don't know why. Mother maker. Seeker forsaken. I'm assuming I'm supposed to free him, Please but... Over me. Mother maker. Seeker forsaken. Please watch over me. Mother Maker, Seeker Forsaken. I bet you we're getting to a boss fight here, sir. We're getting close to a boss fight. I can smell it coming. Oh, I know there's going to be a boss fight coming really soon. And him's probably gonna be really mean and like to toot. Oh, there's gonna be a boss fight. You can color it with rain. Oh, that's definitely a boss arena in the hair, oh lord. Um, let me, let me get the, hold on. I wanna try out one of my new uh, flame scale oils.
you're sick. All of you. Try and stop me. Keep me from Honora. But I'll save her. Protect her from... from you. Holy Jesus. He just crushed his skull. Oh, uh, am I dead? I'm dead. Oh, okay. Well, uh, well, dang. That was, um, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, that was a little rough. It's the guy who ran away to live another day so he could punch me in the eye and laugh about it. Gonna punch him in his eyeball. Where's my food? Put that good jack on there. Spark oil. Watch you already. mode. <laughs> oh god, I never fought this version of him. Oh 
Oh no! This is quite a boss fight. Mm. Hands are getting cold. <laughs> Gotta get the blood flow back in the hands. <laughs> Why am I getting hands? Oh man, fatty. No. Fatty, no. Gotta add right when he transforms. <laughs> it's terrible. Mother Maker Seek. I wonder if he's still transformed or if I gotta fight him back through phase one. Not that it's really that difficult to fight him back through phase one, but <laughs> don't make me do phase one all over again. Alright. That's a pain in my butt. I might need to farm up some food for this boss fight. That's a that's a bit much for not having any food. I totally just let him kill me. Hmm. I got basically no food left, which is sucky. I got one mushroom soup, which I really don't want to use. Um, what do I do? I got to be really defensive on this, this first phase, because when I get to the second phase, I don't really know exactly what to do with him. Please watch over me. That's such a pain in my butt, though. I can't believe I got all the way through the boss fight, and then he just sprouts another, it's like, tentacles of jank and starts coming at me with a different moveset. I hit the button. Oh, crap. Yeah, he did the Resident Evil move. I'm trying not to use my, my healing. That's the last one I got. Pizza you when he should have crunched. Oh, there's some oh, some healing dojanks here. Oh good, I can make another I can make another thing. I can make another one of the good ones. Can't do nothing with any of this stuff though, because I don't have enough recipes. There's got to be better recipes, like cheaper recipes. Seeker forsaken, please watch over me. Mother Maker, seek forsaken. All right, let's hit him with the old frost oil right off the bat. <laughs> He hit me, a little punk.
Oh, how did I miss that? Dang, I missed it twice. Three times. Four times. What is going on with me? Well, there's one attack he has that has so much reach. It seems like it goes like like freaking four or five feet past where the end of his sword is, and it doesn't really matter where you're sitting. It like it'll hit you pretty much no matter what. My poor unfortunate soul. Yes, this is the same first playthrough from my uh, 10 and 11 hours ago, really. Yeah. I've been playing for about 11 hours, yeah. Come on, I hit the button! I hate you! I don't like the middle click as my freaking parry button, it sucks. I press it, it doesn't work half the time. I don't know what to do about it. Also, his some of his attacks are full crap. I hit the button that time too. Come on, like give me a break some of these times and let me hit the parry button. I'm just trying to hit the dang parry button. That's all I'm trying to do. Just let me parry. Yeah, I didn't parry that time either. Parry the platypus over here. I swear there's something wrong with my freaking parry button. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Is it is it like the angle that I'm hitting it at or something? Like if I roll it and hit it, I mean Sometimes it just doesn't go off and sometimes it goes off every single time. And I don't know what's causing it. Nah, the first part I actually got through on the first try pretty much. Except for when he freaking ganked me at the door. But okay, so second try. Because he ganked me at the door on the first try. I, this, on the second try, I literally got entirely through the first part of the boss fight. The second part is what was pissing me off. The second part is difficult. I don't know, I don't know the mechanics for the second part yet. My, my parry button keeps not going off, which is pissing me off. Only during the boss fight, though. Parry. Parry the attack. Parry the platypus. Parry, parry the platypus. Parry, parry the platypus. I'm gonna go back and repair. I wonder if anybody in town sells any, like, cheap food that I can buy for this fight. Because fighting the boss without food sucks. First, let's repair. I don't think I have very much money. I might not be able to repair very many times for this. I mean, I can always oh. sell some stuff in my stash, but. Ah. Yep, not enough copper. Good day to you. That's not even going to let me do a partial repair. Alright, let's sell some of this meat that we can't use. Like, if I. We don't have the materials to actually utilize this stuff, so we might as well just get rid of it. I mean, I think I'll keep some of the rough cut. Serum? Uh, actually, no, that's fine. Hello, old friend. Warrior's only as good as his weapon. Eyes up. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. 
I think maybe if we go outside real quick, we could probably gather some materials for at least a little bit of food for the fight. It's a really long fight with two phases, so we really do need something to sustain us through the fight. We're not going to be able to sustain ourselves on just the HP that we have. So maybe if we head out, I think right outside the base is literally a uh, a whole bunch of little, little flowering plants and stuff, so... Maybe we can do that. Let's go, I don't know where you came from, but... Bye. Yeah. Right here, we got some herbs. There was a bunch of herbs and like mushrooms, like right outside the base here. Herb. That way we can get some sort of sustainability during the fight. So we're not constantly just trying to play the perfect the perfect game. I mean, that's basically all I've been doing so far, by the way, is, like, because, like, I generally just don't have enough heals, so for the most part, when I'm running these boss fights, it's, like, play perfectly, or you die. There should be a bunch up here, too. Come on. Da -da 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 -da. Come on. What's going on? Get up. Get up. There you go. Grab everything while we're here. Yes, Kubas. We gotta go pop the doodles. We're gonna have to restart the stream here soon because it's uh, it is getting on to that point where we want to do part two. has been depleted. Okay. Here we go. Some more herbs. Some more herbs. That's what we need. We need the herbs. We need tons of the herbs. That's our... That's that's the money. The money maker. Wretched archer tunic. 37 armor. Cold resistance. Items weight decreased by 23%. Crab chowder recipe. Copper ingots. Nice. Let's go over there and see what's on that side, too. Try not to fall and kill yourself. Try not to fall and die. Nice. More herbs. More herbs. Good. We can make a... We can make several pieces of uh, doojank now. Food. Several pieces of food now. Thieving drifter garb. Blue. Uh, and heat resistance, 14%. 14 items weight decreased. Poise defense increased. I mean, eh, I mean, neither one of those is better than what I have on already. They're both about the same anyway, so I could just sell both of those for some cash. <coughs> Oops. Got myself. Four herbs. Roots. I'm just going to grab all the resources I can and then we'll head back and craft up. Oh, my hello there. 
Oh, okay. Oh, what are they attacking the completely wrong direction for? Eh, whatever. I got what I was hoping for. Maybe it's time up. you trade in that silly outfit for a uniform. Maybe it's time you trade in your silly outfit for a uniform. Maybe it's time your butthole got a proper wiping with some toilet paper. How about that? Because your butthole's always so itchy. And that's why you're such a turd. Alright. Uh, mushrooms and meats, that's the good ones. Let's make as many of those as we can. We can make ten. That should be plenty enough for the fight. Plenty. Yeah, there we go. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, boy. Alright, let's shove these in here. Oh, we got some chipped quartz. Those are good for, um... Lightning. Some lightning going on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Put this right there. There we go. Now I got ten. I got ten good meals I can use to, to recover while I'm fighting him. That should help out tremendously. Maybe it's time you trade in that silly outfit for a uniform. Maybe it's time your butthole's less itchy on our dick. I always got some smack to say as I'm walking by. Hello, always got some smack to say. Always. Smack talk. Always. How about your mama's a hoe? How about that? How about that? Your mama's a hoe. I fear it's Good. Let's put a good offensive item in here. Uh, let's do the let's do the blade oil just so we get, get some good doojings there. Jealous of my mushroom hat? You should be. You should be jealous of my mushroom hat. Mother. Come on, poop stain. Let's go. I ain't got no time for you, son. Oh no, man, it's not my nums. It's not my nums. No, man, it's not my nums. That was a bad time to heal. That was a bad time to heal. Cause I ain't got no.
messed it up. Way to go, way to go, you messed it up. Messed it up again. Time's messed it up. Down to seven foods. Ow, why you reach so good? Dang. understand the moveset he got. It's just, it's chaotic. It's really chaotic. Down to four food. I thought I parried that. mainly a, uh, a, a, a spinning matter. You basically just spin around him in a circle from what I can tell. Like the way that you kind of deal with him is just to get close and let him attack in the direction of whatever he's doing and just get around him to the other side. It doesn't seem like parrying his attacks is even really an option. So close. So close. Okay. All right. All right. So basically, he's got some pretty cheap butt chat attacks. I can't seem to parry any of them. But what I did notice is every single time he's about to attack, he points his sword in the direction that he's about to attack, which basically immediately makes it into a telegra telegraphed attack. So you basically get close to him. You wait for him to point his sword, and you kind of just like dodge around him away from the direction he's pointing his sword and then as soon as he attacks you attack him from behind and then you rinse repeat this over and over and over again and it actually works surprisingly well I just gotta get through the first part of the boss again unfortunately
Dang damn it. Come on. care about you being all weird. Come on over here and get your booties back. That's all I care about. About your first form, your first form sucks. I don't care about you throwing a temper tantrum either. Always throwing a temper tantrum. Little baby. Hoping, hoping I, I'm stupid. That's what you do. Hoping I'm gonna mess up. That's all you hoping about. Hoping about my own mess. Come on, one more time. Let's go. I want another parry. Another parry the another parry the platypus. Give me another parry the platypus. Parry the platypus. Freaking brutal. Much safer to be close to it than it is not. Mm, getting past the first boss only to waste all my time trying to figure out the second boss. Ugh. Oh man. I'm out of food now. But at least I was able to um, to completely figure out the boss with the food that I had. Now I should be able to. I should be able to do it. It's gonna take some time, but I should be able to do it. Ma ma ma. What the hell is this fault? One more try, Cody. it again. I see you, buddy. I gotta take Cody out. He's he's pushing my arm, and I'm not definitely. I can't fight the boss without Cody pushing my arm. I'm definitely not gonna be able to fight the boss with Cody pushing my arm. I'll be right back. We're gonna take a quick break, and I'm gonna take him out. Uh, we might just refresh the stream too before we uh, get started on the next stream. Or the next boss, because I only got like 40 more minutes before the stream goes into uh, VOD corruption. So 
we'll uh we'll maybe we'll hit that up too. I'll be right back. I'll take him. I'm out here. He smells the possum. Okay. All right, I'll give him to you.
Don't y'all be joking on my chair. Don't y'all be joking on my chair. No, sir. My chair. I love my chair. My chair is my friend. We's friends, my chair. And I. All right, let's see if we can get this second stream set up because we're going to keep going for a while. I ain't playing no games, suckers. Golim. just a second to get the second stream set up. And then we can go for another 12 hours. Nothing like binging a good game. <laughs> Binge! Gotta binge it, binge it. Yeah, we binge it, binging. The bingers, oh, binge. Uh, wiki. There we go. Boom, boom. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Wickety. All right, second stream is up. Let me make sure that this stream is redirecting to that stream. All right. We're going to end this stream, and then I'm going to re-up it, and we are going to just go right back into the next stream. I'll see you guys over there. You guys should automatically redirect, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. <laughs>